I'm so excited I can hardly control myself. Hello, hello. It's been too long, hasn't it? We, uh, how long has it been since I've seen you, right? Well, the John Scott Sewing World is back. And do you know what? I'm not here on my own. No way. I've got people in the studio with me, all socially distanced, mind you. I've got Sarah. I've got Bernie. I've got Louisa. I know, we've got a fantastic show. Now, before we start, I need to explain there's a new format. So the first two hours is John Scott Sewing World. So that's like, as you used to know it before. And then it's been so hugely popular while I've not been here. The softer side, we're doing that straight after. So let's do a quick roundup of what everybody's going to be doing for you today. Now, remember, Sarah will be joining me at 11 o'clock. Sarah, what are you doing today? Well, I kind of gave the game away, John, didn't I? I've, I've got the face mask. See, I've been keeping your slot warm, John. So Thank I've you. been here for the last uh, 11, 12 weeks while we've been in lockdown. I've been here every morning at 11 o'clock doing two hours. Uh, and I've been doing some basic sewing as well as some kind of more intermediate. So today we've got the face mask kits back in stock, OK? You've already been ordering them ahead of time. Uh, I'm going to be demonstrating the face mask kits. I've got an amazing mystery bag for you. Uh, I've got a fantastic product which we call Fabricoat, which is basically going to turn any of your fabrics into an oil cloth. So I'm going to be making a baby's bib with that. Uh, I've been doing some cutesy, lovely little tissue holders, upcycling some old fabric, and I'll be showing you our brand new fabric cutter that's only just recently launched, and we've got a back in stock just for you today, John. <laughs> Quick recap. That's just a quick <laughs> recap, right? So, Bernie, quick recap. What are you up to? So, John, Sarah just mentioned that fabric because it, well, I had to have a play with it as well. So I've got it as well. So I'm going to have been playing with that. I'm going to be doing the Sunrise Special, Ooh. which is our binding tool and some fabric. And I'm going to show you our new panels, one of which is the circle ones. Look, this is massive. Wait till you see, John, how many things I'm going to make out of this one panel. You've only got an hour, Bernie, remember that? Well, I'm so quick. Quick question, how's your mum? How's Anne-Marie? <laughs> oh, she's well. She's still shielding at home, but she's really well. So. And is she still hating my hair? She hasn't seen it, but I did tell her yesterday, and she did ask if you could get a top knot in. <laughs> like I her. can almost get a top knot now. She I? can. Hers is really long. Now. Oh, God love her. Send her our love. And we've also got Louisa. Now, Louisa can't speak to you because she hasn't got a microphone on, but she will be bringing her, you her two latest cushions. Oh, look. I love these. There's the star one. And then just pick the other one up as well. For, oh, how gorgeous are they? I oh, know, stunning. Right, OK, right. Now, before I go any further, I need to tell you about the face masks. I'm supposed to be doing my Sunrise Special my free gift, but I need to tell you about the face masks because these are flying out already. Now, they've done face masks before. Sarah did them before. And they absolutely flew out. So we've got two different shapes, right? We've got the curved shape and we've got the flat shape. Right. But look, you get there's four different versions. Let me open just one very quickly. What you get, this is the flat shape here, right? Look, so you get the whole panel. You get the whole panel, right? Plus you get the elastic, plus you get the instruction, 16 pounds or 20 dollars, right? Now, there are four different versions, right? There are four different versions. There's that one. There's I'll show you them all. We'll show you them all later. But look, oh, gorgeous. That one. There's that one and there's this one now they are flying out already i need to warn you i wasn't supposed to do that now but they're absolutely flying out blue round one is the most popular blue round most popular right now you oh pardon me do you know um do, do you know that during the um like, since we launched christmas but it was june the 8th i think they launched it wasn't it it's a free gift every day so everybody, 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 everybody who buys something today will get this for free. While stocks last, I know, how brilliant is it? How fantastic is that, right? It's a mug rug. A mug cosy, sorry, a mug cosy, a mug cosy. And I'll just show you very quickly, as a quilt as you go. Have a look at this. So all the pieces that you need are all on here ready. It's brilliant, isn't it? And then, of course, um, you get the, because it's quilt as you go, you get the wadding with all of the uh, places, all the uh, placement uh, ones are marked on it. Plus you get your elastic, plus you get your button and you get your instructions, which are in there as well. Oh no, isn't it fantastic? Absolutely brilliant. That, you're not paying for that. Anybody who buys anything today, right? Anybody who buys anything today, while stocks last, will get that completely for free. Now, while I'm quickly here, very quickly, 
please join Club Inspire because it's just the best. It's like, you know, your, your supermarket rewards card, but better, but so much better. So that's your free gift, right, for everybody who buys something today. I've got so much to show you, I can't tell you. Right, are we ready for John Scott's Sunrise Special? Well, here we go. This is the Sunrise Special, right? So this, right, what it is, is you get both of these, right? You get both of these for $17.99, right? Now, I know you must be going, well, what is this, what is this? Bernie's about to show you exactly what this is used for. But look at this before we go any further. Gorgeous strip roll, we call this. This is lovely, look at this, right? Uh, it's 18 pieces, this, isn't it, am I right? Right, look, now, how am I gonna do this? I tell you what, let, Matt, Cam Matt comes back, everybody. Hooray! Right, so look, these are your fabrics, look. Beautiful, oh, that lovely minty green there. Oh, I love, 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 love. Oh, look, the bump. Oh, I think that's back to front, that one, isn't it? The bumbly bees. Look at the. Oh, now I'll show you something. It's made this gorgeous mustard colour. You get all of these. You get all of these. This strip roll plus the ruler, right? For $17.99 or $17.95. A beautiful look. Right, let me just show you. I mean, oh, ooh, I love the colours in that one. Beautiful. Now, I've got a couple of things here that are made of the fabric, right? The, obviously, you won't be able to make these as the strip roll, but just to show you what you can do with the fabric. It's beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. So that's today's summer special. You're saving over 25%. Yeah, 25% off. We've been doing the summer special every Tuesday since we've been in lockdown. I've been doing it for my house. It's been hugely successful, I can't tell you. Now, what's this? What's this? What's this, right? Bernie, Bernie, what's this? So this, John, is our bind and tool. Now, the main thing with this, and it's got other uses, which I'm going to quickly show you, is, you know when you put your binding on your quilt, and you come to the join, and you're going to put that join on, and you don't know how to do it, you don't know how to get it flat, but this tool here actually makes it easier for you to make that perfect. So I'm going to show you now, it's so quick. John said, I haven't got long, so... No, you haven't I'll got be, long. Get on with so it, So I'll girl. be quick. <laughs> so what you're going to do is... I've got my be happy there. And I've just made just a little sample piece. But this is just your quilt. So you've got your two layers of fabric and your wadding in the middle. And then you're going to have your binding. So if you haven't done um, binding on a quilt before, it's just fabric folded in half. The... Be happy strip rolls are perfect for this because they're already two and a half inches. So you're just going to fold it and press it in half. And then you're going to start sewing it on your quilt. Now, the other thing as well on here, and I don't know if you can get how close you can get in on there. There's actually the instructions are printed on there. So you know when you get your packaging, you throw your packaging away and then you think, oh, how do I use it? Because I can't remember. The instructions are actually on there for you to do it. So it's going to tell us what to do. So the first thing it's going to do is tell us to put our binding on. I'm just going to put it on one strip. Obviously, you'll have gone all the way around. And you want to leave a long tail. So I'm just going to sew that on quickly. Just to get this bit in place. And whenever you're doing this, always just do a reverse. Just so it secures it. So I'm going to take that out. And then the key thing on this is, what it says is, you need to leave a gap. And if we look at the instructions, if I've got a piece of card, you'll be able to see them better. There we go, look. So on here, it's saying, attach the binding, leaving a six or a 12 inch gap, depending on the size of your project. So the thing is with this as well, if you've got a little table runner or a little placemat, you can still do this. And you're basically going to use half the tool, but it's all explained on here. But I'm going to say, I'm going to show you now. So we've got this one here, so we need to leave a 12 inch gap. So I'm going to get my ruler, I want to get my heat erasable pen, and I'm just going to mark on there. Now I know that's when I put my other piece of binding on, if you imagine this is a big quilt, this is where you're going to sew your other binding to. If you've got um, a smaller one and you can't leave a 12 inch gap, you leave a six. So we thought about, you know, your small projects as well. All right, so I'm just going to sew this one on and then we're ready to use the tool. So let me just put that on there. Again, just do a quick reverse and sew that off. 
right right and we're now ready so we here we go so what we do is it says on this side to cut the left side so it tells you to place your binding and the tool onto the end now me schoolgirl, I haven't left quite enough on here it does tell you to leave at least a 10 inch tail and have been a little bit short so only the first, first day back, day back shocking but i'm literally like two millimeters over so you can forgive me for that mm. and what it's going to tell you is to make a mark line and i said don't worry because all of these are on the instructions and then it says it tells you to open up your binding and it then tells you to place on there and you're going to cut up and what we're doing is making that 45 degree angle see i did that right-handed and as some of you will know i am a lefty so that's that side ready to do now this is the magic of the tool it actually tells you to flip it so when you flip it round to cut the right side we're then going to go to the other side where i have left long enough tail and again it tells us to put the tool on there and again mark that mark and line and once you've done this a few times you think wow that's fab why didn't i have this earlier so this time instead of lining the mark and line up with the dot that we've marked what we're going to do is actually bring it back now i need to flip oh hang on do i need to flip my fabric over it's been a long time john since i've done this <laughs> isn't it which way did i draw my line on there so i need that one to cut that way that's it so we're going to draw a line up here And then we're going to, and I'm just going to re-angle this just because I am left-handed and for safety, obviously, you don't want to be cutting towards you. Yeah? We'll so tell that to the people on Great British Sewing Bee, Bernie. Oh, were they cutting watching? towards them? Oh, I have, yeah. So this time I'm going to line it up on there. The other thing as well on the tool is there's um, diagrams on there as well. I love the British Sewing Bee. Oh, no, no, I love it, but the, 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 the amount, they're in week eight or whatever it is, and they're still pulling the rotary cutters towards them, and everyone yes, screams at the belly. Yes, it's a bit scary, isn't it? So if I lay my pieces back down here, can we see now how we've got that diagonal line? Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to scrunch my quilt, because if you scrunch up your work there, it, it gives you a bit of working area. Yeah, because that's now the right length, isn't it? So yes. you, need to, you need to make it a bit smaller. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to put one that way. And one that way. And a top tip from me, yeah. to make sure you get it the right way, if you put it together the way you think it's going to go together, and just pop a pin in like that, and then just open it out before you sew it. So is it going to be twisted? Yes. So that means you've put it... The wrong sides together. The wrong sides together. No, I hadn't. Oh. She hadn't pulled it, it out properly. That's I just hadn't pulled it out properly. Can you, can you also use this? You know when you're making lots and lots and lots of bias binding, if you're just making, you're bias binding a hem or something like that. Can you use it to... Um, Join pieces of bias binding together as well if you've made homemade bias yes, binding. You do exactly the same way. You'd, but you wouldn't need to measure with the tool. All you would need to do is just cut, put your tool on the end of your binding open, cut yeah. it one way, and then your bit that you're going to join onto, cut it the other way, yeah. and then you get the 45 degree angle. Brilliant. So, right, I pin that, and I'm now going to stitch this, and then I should keep everything crossed. I'm touching wood. <laughs> it's one of those things that you know when you you do it and think I've done that wrong I've done that wrong and then when it comes out right you do a little cheer I might do a little happy dance <laughs> oh, right, here we go 
And again, it's just a quarter inch seam. Yeah. And then... Da, da, da. Happy dance. That's it. Little happy dance. So you'd press it, you'd get your little iron out when you'd press that yeah. open. Yeah, I there. always press the seam open and there. And then what you're going to do is stitch along there and then you've got that. And also what that does is disappear all the um, layers of fabric. If you do like a straight join, you've got a lump. Yeah, exactly. It makes all the seam allowances go in different directions, yes, doesn't it? Which it is it does. And then just quickly, one oh. other thing we can oh, do Oh, yeah, so much for a quick demo, Bernie. Yeah, well, this is, this is ultra quick. So look what I've made. What's it? I've made a little mat just oh. by cutting my pieces up. So you don't have to use it to join. What you can do is I've got the pieces here. All you're going to do is you're just using the tool to cut round. Oh. Turn that. And then because you've used it to cut round, you've Oh, they're then, exactly the same, aren't they? Yeah. You've then got... Just patchwork shapes, really, How that brilliant. you can then join together and make items like that there. That's the front of a cushion or a panel for a bag or something like that. But it just means you can just cut round the tool. Um, but the other thing as well is on here, you've got quarter inch corner yeah. with a little dot in. If I get my card. Quarter inch there, corner. So if you want a quarter inch on your corner to help with your mitre corners, there's also a half inch mark there if you need to do a half inch corner and you want to mark it where you're stopping and starting. So there's a lot of uses with this tool, not just for joining and adding your binding. And that's our binding tool, John. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. So that's the Sunrise Special. You buy the strip roll and you get the ruler completely for free. $17.99 or $17.95. Now, this is also a little mini plug here because we've got these back in stock. This isn't on our graphics today. You'll find these on the website. We've got them back in stock. The John Scott mugs have been so, so popular. So if you want one of those, just pop along to the website and you can find those there. Right, should we start Christmas? Shall we start Christmas? We're so excited about this. Um, we put the picture up of, those, of this on Facebook this week and so many people have said how much they love it. Now, as always, we've got a brilliant deal for you. If you want to buy the bundle, now they're all available individually, so don't worry. Don't worry if you're thinking, oh, I don't want all of those. But the bundle, 10% off. 10% off. Let me show you what you get in the bundle. Now, this is the panel that Bernie showed you earlier. <gasps> Look, how many different items well you'll see later because Bernie's done them all I don't know how we're going to fit all this into the four hours today what we <laughs> with Bernie and Sarah and everyone right so that's the panel that's the panel and then what it is you get half a meter of each of these so if I just lift them up for you there you go so there's the first one half oh I love 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 half a meter half a meter half a meter half a, half a meter a traditional holly and that's turquoise apparently that one everyone so 10 percent off if you buy that bundle 54 pounds or 79 dollars the panel and eight half meters of fabric there that's your special deal that is your special deal now as i said oh i love it i love it right so that is the whole bundle if you want the whole bundle 54 pounds or 79 dollars I love it. I love this collection so much. Right now, if you want these fabrics individually, you can buy them individually. Oh, I'll keep this one out because this is the panel. Now, what you need to do is you need to go to the website and just click on them, pop them in your basket. Make sure you check out. Uh, now, oh, it's the panel 650 as well. Oh, no, I think the panel. I th oh, if I'll do the fabrics first, I'll do the fabrics first. So look, so um, half uh, you're paying for the half meter. You're paying for the half meter, right? So, but you can buy one meter, you can buy three meters, you can buy 10 meters, you can buy whatever you want to meet because you might have a project. So which one do you like best? We love all of these. They're gorgeous. Look, so there's the first one. Oh, isn't that lovely? They're all, they're all listed on the website. So you just see the one you like. They're all £6.50 for half meter made by Macau. So you know that they're good quality cotton. Oh, that, I think that one has to be my favorite. That is rich and luscious and gorgeous, isn't it? Then we've got the cream, uh, like scatter, uh, pine and berries and things like that. There you go. So each of these, you can go and check them out on the website. They're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, this is a nice rich one. That's a scatter. That one's scatter. 
Aren't they lovely? We've gone for kind of traditional. This is beautiful. Look at this one. That's the mistletoe on red. <gasps> oh, look, Matt Cam. Have you missed us, Matt Cam? Oh, he's nodding. That's nice. Then we've got the mistletoe on cream, which is very, very... Do you know what? It'd be lovely if you could wrap presents in it. And then if it's for a sewer, and then they've got half metre of fabric as well, haven't they? Then we've got the holly berries on cream. And then we've got the holly berries on the turquoise. It's more of a, I'd say it was, I'd say it was more of a tealy than a turquoise myself. But they're all £6.50 for half a <coughs> metre. Oh, that's very, very, very popular. Now, was the panel the same price? Oh, hello. We're just checking on the panel now. Just checking on the panel. Hmm? Oh, oh, it's £8. £8 for the panel. Eight pounds for the pan. Well, I, I, we think of the workmanship that's gone into there. Beautiful, isn't it? But do you know what? Eight pounds for a panel. That's very reasonable. I thought it was going to be fourteen ninety nine, but that's me. That's me. That's me. So that's the panel. That's oh, they're all available. They're all available on the website. All there on the website. Now, before we go over to Bernie to see a demonstration, I've got two other Christmassy things for you. I've got two other Christmassy things for you here. So let's do the advent calendar next. We've done a bundle. We've done a bundle. Look at this. This is so cute. So the bundle is your advent calendar panel. Isn't it cute? I'll let Matt Pan, Matt, Matt Pan, Matt Cam do a dip or a pan or whatever it's called. There you go. So this whole bundle is £14, but you also get with it the beautiful, look at this gorgeous star fabric. This is so lovely. Don't you love Christmas? So you also get half, now this one's the half a metre one, isn't it, this one? You get half a metre of your star fabric. Now they are both available on their own as well. So I'll quickly take you through that. If you just don't want to get this one, if you just want the panel, I'm only rushing because I know how much Bernie's got to show you, right? There's the panel for eight pounds. Oh, you see this, right? See this? Sold out. Sold out on its own. It's still in the bundle. You can still get it in the bundle. Sold out on its own. You see, I did warn you. I did warn you the Christmas fabrics do go very quickly. Uh, right, there we go. The thing is, you could buy one of the other fabrics, couldn't you, and to uh, make, uh, make uh, uh, other things out if you wanted to. Right, then, the other Christmas one. Now, look at this. How often do you see a panel with a Christmas stock on? It's about a quarter of this size, isn't it? Right? This is the bundle again. This is the bundle. So you get your panel, which, uh, burn, uh, which, which is here. I'll show you the panel here. Look, it's a whacking great panel, this one. Look. Is that a llama? It's a llama. So now, what you can do is you can either make one stocking with both of those on the other side and use the red star as your uh, lining. Or you can make two stockings, you, sorry, the cream star, use the cream star as your backing and then use a different one for your lining. But there's also labels on here and everything. These stripy bits at the side here, they're for cuffs. They're for the cuffs and everything. So in this bundle, you also get the cream star fabric. So if you liked it in the red, so you also get that in the bundle for 13, 13 pounds, is that right? Oh, that's such a good buy. That's such a brilliant buy. Now, if you want them individually, Individually, the panel, the stocking panel, here. It's all on the website. That's the stocking. Eight pounds. Look at that lovely little penguin. I love that llama. Bernie, have you made the llama one? No, I've made the Santa one. Oh, Bernie. I was going to take the <laughs> llama one home with me. And how's the, how's the cream? How's the cream? Because the red one sold out. Have we got the cream by the half metre? Only a bit, though. Limited, limited, limited. Six fifty. I know. What a brilliant choice. Now, what I'm going to do, I will go through those again with you, but Bernie's been very busy at home doing lots and lots of demonstrations. So um, I'll let you get on with it, Bernie. Here's Bernie doing a demonstration on, is it you doing the panel first? Panel first. Look, he's wafting it at me. I'm wafting. I'm wafting. Yeah, John, honest, when I open this circle panel up, and you've got the eight, you've got eight pieces on there. And I thought, right, what can I make with this? So I was on a mission to make as many things as I could. Yeah. 
with it. And I've still got one left. So I've still got something else to make, but I won't squeeze that in today. But you know um, what? They make lovely, even if, you, if you're if you not a, a, a big seamstress, they make the loveliest little cushion. Oh, they're gorgeous. Yeah. They love little cushion Well, covers, these I just they? cut round them. One of them I cut a circle. Yeah. And the other one I just sort of squared, I suppose hexagony, isn't it? I just squared the corners what off. What shape is it, Bernie? Hexagony. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's not even a northern word. That's like my word. It's a bad word. <laughs> and I thought those there are ideal for little hangers on, so you can hang them up on your door as a wreath, or even have them um, on as like placemats, or you know you can put some of the oh, do you know, or candle. You know, well, if you have a candlestick, and sometimes yes. the candle drips on your best table. It'd be nice under that, wouldn't it? As well, right? Perfect in the centre. Um, so I used two for that, and I backed it with that. Was that the <gasps> green mistletoe? Oh. That fabric. Honestly, this fabric is a pleasure to sew with because it's absolutely beautiful. It's good quality, isn't it, Macawa? It is lovely. It is absolutely lovely. So I made those, yeah. and then what I thought was I'll whip up a quick table runner. Oh, okay. Just quickly, those two, those two wall, those two hangings. They're just bagged out. You just bagged them out with a ribbon. Did you do anything in the middle? Yeah, I put a bit of wadding in, but you could put some insulated wadding in if you wanted to use them oh, on yes, a plate on a table for your dishes at Christmas, mm. um, or you could even put some um, of a thicker, a stiffer wadding in to make them even stiffer if you wanted to hang them as a wreath on your door. And actually, Sarah's got the fabricot coming up later on. You could fabricot those and put them onto your outside of your front door oh. because they'll be weatherproof. However, fasten them on tight just in case anyone else takes a liking to them. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's not judge other people so by nice. your, your standards. I know, okay, yes, I know. That's how she decorates her Christmas because she goes around nicking all the neighbours. <laughs> she doesn't really. Uh, I need to warn you, it's very, very busy. And I know shopping, I hate it when shopping tellies go, oh, it's very busy. It's very busy. It really is busy. The Christmas fabrics are absolutely flying out. Back to you, Bernie. So I've also got this one here. It was I was just like a kid in a sweet shop. So this one's got the mistletoe horn and the little berries and the leaves and the little pine cone leaves or fir tree leaves, whatever they are, but they are all Christmassy and cute. <laughs> so what I did was I cut a panel of three. So remember we had eight on that panel. So I cut a panel of three and I'm just gonna put that right side down. I've put a piece of wad in. Same size. I've got wadding coming up later in Louise's. I've got wadding on the show. It, yeah, in Louise's hour later. I'm running low on wadding, so hopefully I might be able to order some when I get home. <laughs> I'll just, yeah, yeah, I can nick this one after this one. <laughs> and then I've got that. I need a bit more room. Let's move me. You've got the biggest table as well. I know. And see, I don't want to spill. I've got me a cup of tea. <laughs> Has everybody got those today? Well, uh, Sarah made me this cup of tea. Oh. I was, I was well chuffed. Um... So I've got the wadding on the back there, and then obviously you'd have a bit of stick and spray um, on the back there. Now you could quilt this if you wanted to quilt it, but obviously we're not going to have time to do that today. But then I just cut a piece the same size on the back. Now, what I'm going to do is sew all the way around and turn this through. However, if you wanted to, you could bind it. And again, if you were going to bind it, you can use your oh, yeah. binding tool to bind it. But just because I thought, I know we're really busy today, um, and I thought we're not going to have loads of time, so I'm not even. I'm just going to go gung ho for this. Yeah, go for it. All right. Well, I'll, let me lengthen my stitch. So I've got loads to do, so I'm just going to again reverse, and I'm just stitching all the way around here. So this will take me a minute. All right, you carry on. Around. While you're doing that, I'll just read out a couple of messages we've had because it's uh, Davinia's messaging. Going, Hello, John. Miss seeing you so much. Uh, it's Davinia's birthday today, everyone. Oh, happy birthday. birthday. Uh, and Minnie Harney, uh, she said, Good morning, John. It's so lovely to see you back on our screens and the fabulous Louisa and Bernie too. We've got April Taylor saying, Hi, John. Oh, this is lovely. So happy you're back. All right. Oh, my goodness. Sarah, John, Bernie and Louisa. I've just made my order for my first Builder <laughs> Block set and the Threaders Cutter and the Christmas Fabric Bundle. It's a great day for shopping. That's from April. Um, now, I don't know if this next person's name is really Butch. I can't see where our message starts. 
It's a girl. Oh, no, she's got it's a great day. Well, is it Butcher Boy or a girl? I don't know. Uh, Gerardine, so great to have you back looking gorgeous. Hair looks great. Well, it's lockdown hair, isn't it? And this is lockdown belly, just so you know. I'll, I'll keep talking while you're sewing, uh, Bernie, that's if that's all right. I won't take away from your that's thing. That's okay. Linda Susan says, morning, John and crew. Welcome. Great, John, to be back with all the guests. Karen says, John, we've missed you. Oh, this is lovely. Uh, LJ says, could you use the Macau Linen Effect Steel Grey Fabric for a tea towel? We shall ask Louisa when we come to that in a minute. That was from LJ. And then last one, Hazel. Yay, I've got you on my telly. Oh, Hazel, thank you so much. It's so lovely to be back as well, isn't it? So how are you doing over there, Bing? Are we still stitching? I so am. what seam allowance are you using? So I'm just using a quarter of an inch because that's what I tend to always use for everything, to be fair, unless the pattern says otherwise. However, for a project like this, it doesn't matter too much, John, if you're a little bit wide or you're a little bit under. As yeah. long as you catch your edges in, um, you're not piecing pieces together, so you don't have to have that quarter of an inch. Because I know sometimes that does worry a few people about the quarter of an inch. Yeah. Um, but it comes with practice. And all at the end of the day, you just want to be enjoying it, don't you? So, right. So I've sewed all the way around. Yeah. And I'm just going to clip my corners you're talking about lockdown belly arts i've said to matt cam don't be zooming in on my left hand why what have you done lockdown nails they're oh, shocking i know i shouldn't say because everyone will be looking now but they are yeah, bad now that's it now we're all gonna have a good look aren't we i messaged um the salon yesterday and saying i know you're going to be really getting pestered with this but please when are you opening <laughs> <laughs> oh the thing is though it's not just when they're opening it's how big the queue's going to be on the first yeah, day well, isn't it mine is on by appointment only so there wouldn't be a queue which is quite good yours so is what so? by appointment only oh you can't you can't walk Fancy, in Fancy posh. Dunno. Uh, can i ask how big a gap did you leave in so the, uh, i left a uh, about a four inch gap okay yeah, but they say, don't they, to make it as big as your hand. So if you've got big yes. fat hands like me, you'd make a bigger hole for it. Yeah. And also as well, it depends what you're making, what your how thick your fabric is as well. If you've got something quite thick, say you were using the fabric coat. Yeah. You would leave a bigger gap because oh, you've okay. got a lot more. Or if you're using like foam stabiliser or something like yeah. that or Decaville, you've got a lot to pull through the gap. So you make it a bit bigger, yeah? Yeah. So I'm not going to sew all the way around here because you've just seen me sew all the way yeah. around there. So but you top stitch all the way around the edge? You're just going to top stitch all the way around and then we have... You're, you're right, though, that'd be nice. If you put some of the thermal uh, wadding inside did a bit of quilting, yes. that'd be gorgeous. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Brilliant. So that, so there, we've got a table runner. Fantastic. And I say, that just needs... That bit round there. And so that's it. So we've got the two wreaths. Yeah. We've got the table runner. And I was saying I've still got one panel left. So that's for something to make at home. I'll make something else with that one. Yeah. And then with two more panels here. Oh my goodness. I'm going to make a gift bag. Oh, blimey. So I'm thinking all Christmassy. And again, I've got that um, mistletoe. It's beautiful. The green on there is just fantastic. Gorgeous. That looks like um like one of those William Morris prints from here, doesn't it? Oh, it, it does, yeah. <coughs> Excuse and me. And then I thought I'll use the green yeah, as nice a contrast, contrast. Yeah. for the handles. Um, so all I've done, I've done 11, 11 by, I think it was 10 and a half inch square. I did have the measurements, but my bit of paper that I had them written on fell under the desk. So <laughs> Oh, no. But I'm sure it was ten and a half or ten and three quarters. Ten and a half by eleven. And then I've just cut out an inch and a quarter corner from the bottom, just if anyone wants the measurements for it. And then the handles... Is that for you, like your box bottom? Yes. Do you call them box bottoms? Or um, do you call them sugar loaf bottoms? I, bo I'll box them off. I'll say I'll box my corners off. Okay. That's what I tend to say. So I'm going to show a slightly different way of constructing a bag here than what normally you'd sew. You'd put your two pieces together and sew around yes. and box your corners off. So I'm just going to show a slightly different way, just for an alternative. Right. I'm going to have my outside of my bag and my lining. Right. And then I'm going to insert my strap. So now you would measure this and leave a bit of a gap. Right. But just for quickness, I'm just going to put it in there because it will be, be okay. And just make sure that you don't get your handle twisted. Yeah. And then you're going to put your lining over the top. 
and I'm just going to get my quilting clips because I yeah. love my quilting clips. And I'm just going to put those. So I'm just going to put one on that handle, straighten that one up, and put one. And what I'm going to do is just sew across the top of there and do that on both. Okay. While you do that, Ben, I need to tell you that more than a quarter of the stock of the bundles, and we bought lots. We bought lots because this is my first Christmas show. A quarter of the stock's gone already. Already checked out. Uh, uh, sorted, done. So please, please, please be careful on that one. It is, honestly, I know we always say it's nice fabric, but this, it is gorgeous fabric. Uh, what a lot of people are doing, uh, Bernie, is buying the bundle and then buying excess of the, from the other fabrics to, to, to bolster their stash. Right. So now we can see that we've got oh. that handle in the centre. So now we're going to just do the same on the other one. So you're doing like the lining and the backing and the lining and the main fabric and the lining and the main fabric together to start with. Is that what it is? The lining. So you've got the lining, which is the, the mistletoe, the main fabric, which is the panel yes. and the handle. So rather than sewing a lining together and a bag together, you're doing half yeah. and half of each. Half and half. So another top tip, if you, when you put your handle in the other side, obviously I didn't measure that, but you would measure it to get it exact. Yeah, yeah. What you want to do now, if you butt up your other one to the side of that one, can you see then that I can actually line that up? I don't need to measure it again. I can just line it up. Oh, yeah. And then I know that that's going to be in the same place. So then, like I say, you would pin. I'm just doing this for quickness. And then we're going to put that back on the top, get my clips. And again, I'm just going to sew down this one. These are so quick to make, and I've just put a bit of um, iron on fleece, you know, like fleece wadding in there, but you could do ordinary wadding, um, or again, the foam interface, and whatever you've got, really. I mean, if you run out of wadding as well, um, you could always use like an, an old fleece blanket or something like that. Depends how much rigidity you want. What, off the dog, out the dog's basket? On the back. Or no, like no, no. Just ones off the couch that you're not using anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, you live such a life, such a glamorous well, lifestyle, I'm, you. Well, I actually need to buy um, some new fleece blankets because it's my little puppy dog's first birthday next week. And her, she only has fleece blankets because she chews beds. Yeah. But... Um, so you need the them or the dog needs them? The dog needs them, yeah. Hers are in a bit of a state because she chews them. Um, so I've said I'll treat you to some new ones for a birthday. Because she understood <laughs> that, didn't she, when you told yeah, her? Yeah, she did. Right, so I'm now going to put right sides together. Yeah. And I'm going to get my clips. And then the main things to match up are your two seams here. Yeah. So I'm going to match... That one. Those clips are available on our website, aren't they? Those, they are. Um, they're fantastic. They're they absolutely are. perfect for this, especially because you've got a lot of bulk. And if you're trying to pin through um, a lot of bulk, it can, you know, you can struggle with your pins. So what I'm going to do now is sew all the way around, obviously not the little corners, and I'm just going to leave a gap in the bottom for turning. So yeah. similar when you put your line together, you'd put a gap in. So okay. I tend to... Start there and then I remember. Oh, I'm losing my foot oh, pedal. Hang on. Don't do that. While you're Go doing on. that, Bernie, I'll just show you because going across, across the bottom of your screen, you've got the wadding, um, you've got the wadding graphic. Look, look at this. This is what you get for your 7.99. Is it 90 inches wide? This one, 90 inches wide. It's lovely, isn't it? For 7.99, uh, isn't it? It's only little writing on my telly. I have to squint. I'm afraid. <laughs> Eleven dollars ninety nine for our American viewers. And you. You know you don't waste any of that neither because you zigzag it together. Oh so yes, of course, but don't, it, uh, don't use... seam it. Lay it. Don't lay it over the top of each other. Oh well, look, uh, um, now Cheryl is saying, good morning everyone, loving Bernie's demo. That's gone straight into my basket. Lovely. Crazy Lorraine's messaging, going, morning, great to see you back. Order the panel and the fabric, it's got you on my TV. Linda's going, oh John, it's great to see you back, doing what you love. Oof. 
I love sitting, drinking coffee and eating cake mainly. I couldn't <laughs> tell. For, that's all I've done during lockdown. John and Bernie make a good team. Do you know what's sad, Mary, is it, it, I mean, I know we're making a good team across the studio like this, but it's so nice to be sitting next to each other. It can be so lovely when all this is over and we can sit and, you know, kind of, because we, when Bernie and I were on together last time, we had so many fabulous comments. Uh, Madeleine says, good morning, John. It's great to see you back. I'm sorting out my sewing room while watching you. We need to buy some new things to fill the, sp the gaps, don't you? Christine says, so happy to see you where you belong on our telly with loads of fabric. Christine, thank you so much. You're very oh, kind to me, all your lovely messages. It? Right, back to Bernie. Right, so I'm just. Right, I'm what, are you doing? what are you doing? What are you doing? So I've just got to the bottom now where I left my gap. Yeah, now you haven't so, stitched round it, have you? Have you stitched round that, that box so bottomy bit? No, so no. you leave the box bottoms for to put together. Right. But um, I've just left a gap in the bottom there in the line. Oh, right, got it, got it, just got it. Just to turn yeah. it through. So. I'm just going to box off the outside one, so I'm not sure how we're doing for time, I don't John. know what time. Are we... Oh, a couple of minutes left on this demo. Oh I've got four clocks outside. behind me, and I don't think any of them are the right <laughs> time. If I box these off, um, and then the line and one will be inside, but at least you'll get the effect. And what you do to box them off is... I should have shown everyone that, shouldn't I? You're just going to... Because I've put the squares already, if you just pull it open and line up your two seams you'll feel them nest together and you just sew across there and that just gives a bit of um dimension to your bag just gives it a little extra feature there we go and you would box off those ones as well but yeah. we'll do them after so now I'm just going to turn it through. Now, I left maybe uh, slightly less than a three-inch gap. <laughs> <laughs> Not big enough to put my hand in. But you just turn it through. But you've got nothing, you've got nothing in between the fabrics, have you, on this one? It's just the fabrics. So, um, I put some fusible um, wadding on. Oh, OK. OK, I didn't see on that. On that one. That bit, so I'm just going to be gentle with my scissors rather than trying to... Oh, no. My, I meant to bring Derek Dobb with me. I found him. I could have brought him with me. Oh, I haven't got one of those. I'll have to have a... Oh, I'll bring it with me go. next time. I've got a little porky tool in my bag, but... Well, that's all Derek quickness. the dog is just an old knitting needle, but we'd lost is him. It, uh, right. We'd lost him, and then I found him this week when I was having to tidy up. Uh, that well yes i lost uh, a cutting mat the other day and it's in my sewing room somewhere and i can't find it a whole huge cutting mat a, a 12 by 12 one okay rotate one okay so there we have oh look what a beautiful way to give you christmas presents exactly exactly so what you can do then is you just got to sew that hole up in the middle yeah and then you can press it down like that so it's flush. Yeah. And Would you top, top stitch, stitch around. around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or I like on back. Oh, I know where you've nicked that from. Just to lift that up like that. Have I, I <laughs> have I? Have I? Who I've not seen. I don't I'll know. So tell me later. But yeah, so you could have that little bit of effect on I there like as well. I like that. I like that because it looks like you've bound it, but actually you've just mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter because the lining will just be that teeny teeny bit smaller in the bag, but it really doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. So out of that one panel, we've made right. a gift bag. We've before got... you go on, Bernie, before you go on, I need to tell you that the panel... Oh, no, is it gone? Is at, it's not gone yet, but it's <gasps> absolutely flying out. I'm not supposed to be doing this. Yet. The what? Oh, limited stock, almost limited stock on this one. So please, please, please want the panel. Eight pounds on its own. And how many dollars is that? How much is eight pounds in dollars? Twelve dollars. There you go. Right, sorry, you can carry on That's now, Bernard. Right. I'm just, need just to surrounding myself with everything that I've made with it. Oh, look at you. <laughs> and, I, oh, this... and I've got one more left. I'll have to think of something to make with that one. But, yeah. Be nice Stand on the off. back of that denim jacket you're arriving. You know, when you come in on your motorbike in the oh, morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> be nice on the back of your... <laughs> yeah, I'll embroider it onto the back. Bit of, bit of quilting. A sparkly thread, a bit of quilting. Right, I'll tell you, the okay. one thing, this fabric has like a gold... Um, print on it as well which doesn't always come out as well on the camera. oh in the panel yeah it's but gorgeous the sparkle it? on it is fantastic because in the in the old days when i first started that sparkle would have been glued on and it would have fallen off but actually this is woven into the fabric or printed onto the fabric they can actually get a gold uh, dye to do it with right the the bun the bundle is very 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 popular it's 10 percent off you buy it today the bundle uh, comprises of the panel that i've shown you and then half a meter of all of these fabrics here so we've got the turquoise, half a metre of that, 
half a meter of the traditional. My mum used to have little plastic hollies like that that she used to put on the top of the Christmas tree. Uh, not Christmas tree, Christmas cake, sorry. Uh, then that one that Bernie was using there, that beautiful, that's so gorgeous, isn't it? Then we've got the mistletoe with the red background there. Then we've got the really rich dark green. Beautiful, isn't it? Then you've got the cream backing and the mixed dirt scattered there. And then, and it's Macau fabric. It's, oh, that is just gorgeous, isn't it? It looks so expensive. And then you've got the white version of that. All of that for £54 or $79. It's 10% off. Right, Bernie, 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 you've only got a short amount of time. What are you going to show us next? So I'm going to show you a little bit on the advent calendar. And then if we have time, just a little bit on the stocking as well. I'm just getting my iron and... Okay, while well, you're getting that, I'll just show you what you get in the bundle, right? So this is the advent calendar. You can either buy it in the bundle or on its own. Uh, this is the bundle with red. Now, you can't buy this red fabric on its own because it's sold out. It's only available now in the bundle. £14, $20. Right now, of this collection, a third of the stock went before we even went live this morning because we put it on the website before the show. A third of the stock went before we'd even gone live on air. All right, okay. Uh, so you can't buy the red fabric on its own, but you can buy the panel on its own, and that'll be £8. Right, I'll let Bernie get on with... Uh, the graphics will come in, but... Are you ready, Bern? I'm ready. I'm ready. Go. So, yeah, so this advent calendar, it, the good thing with it as well, it's got the instructions on the top. So across the top oh, of that, actually, it tells on it. I didn't you that, yeah. step by step how to do it. Um, so what I've done is I've made the majority of mine up. I can get it there. And then what I've done is I've left one pocket left to do, just so I can show you how to put the pocket on. Okay, because great. one of the things it mentions is box pleats. And some people might not have done box pleats before. So some of them are a double where you have a little box pleat in. So I'm following the instructions. All it does is it says, press over the top, just to hem the top, yeah. and just top stitch across. So I'm going to quickly do that. So I'm just going to press that over. And I did this like a little production line. So I cut them all out. Yeah. And then I top stitched them all. And then the next stage is it tells you to make the box pleat. So if I just quickly top stitch across there. And then the one thing that's on here, there is a dotted line down the middle. And it does tell you on the pattern, don't cut down the dotted line. That's your fold line for your box plate. So when you're cutting out, only cut the solid lines. Cut don't the cut solid the lines, line. yeah. It tells you on it, it says on the side of the panel, John, it says single pockets and double pockets. Right. So, and also you can reference on the back in as well to see yeah. which are the single ones. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold... But here, yeah. get that on the camera, that's it. We're going to fold that there and we're just going to press it. Is this so you can get bigger presents in? Is that why they yes, do a box? Yes, exactly. Exactly that, John. See, we're on the same wavelength. Yeah. And then you're going to... It's on that one. Now, a little story. I made a panel similar to this a few years ago. And where I used to work, I used to take it in. And we used to get a big tub of sweets. Yeah. And we used to fill it with all the sweets. And then every... One who came in the office, we'd let them get the number. And then after they went out, we'd put one in. And then they always thought they were special, thinking oh, they'd got <laughs> the I first that, chocolate then. of the day. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've pressed both of those. And this is where all you're going to do now is you're going to then take that little fold over up to that dash line. Now, I'll just give it a little finger press first. And then I'll bring the other one over. I, my hands are probably in the way here. No, we can see. So we can, can see. see. Can good. we see no, that good, there? That. You see there? Yeah. So that's where we've got the box. So then, and just be careful with your iron. You're just going to, because your finger's going to be close. And then you're just going to press that. Yeah. And then we've made, you see. So box. you don't turn the bottom over, you just turn the top over. No, at this and point, no. The make pleat. the box first, so yeah. that's your box plate. Yeah. And then you're just going to tack that on with your machine. And I find if you just put a few stitches across there, it just holds it in nice for when you're pressing. Oh, OK. Right, got it. So... So did you use a bigger stitch or just... Well, it's so little, you yeah. just use your normal stitch, didn't you? Yeah. To be honest, I've got it on big stitch anyway, because okay. I knew I was doing so much sewing. And then all you're going to do now is... Press your sides in and your bottom 
which I'll quickly do because <coughs> oh I see you press those in you yeah press, those press in them there. in right. and then what we're going to do is find the number on the advent yeah and what happens is all of the pictures that are on here so we're going to do here we're going to do the elf head and the little robot and that's what's actually on the pocket so you can actually overlay it and then it reforms the picture if that makes sense um, so, I need to tell you, Bernie, the advent panel on its own ooh. is limited stock wow. now. The panel on its own is limited stock. So £8, £12. So the circle's gone limited. The yep. advent's gone limited. I'm yep. moving on to the stock and next. And we're only, <laughs> how many, we're only 50 minutes into the show. Do you know what I mean? When, when everyone else gets up in America and watches it and everyone sees the website and watches it later. <laughs> so please, if you've got e-basket, check out. Right. So you're going to press them all over nicely. Yeah. And then you're just going to position them on here. And what you're going to do is, because I've folded them all in, you're just going to lay it on the top. And then I'm just going to pop a pin in just to hold it till I get it to my machine. And then you're basically just going to stitch down, across and up. So I'm just going to move my pins out the way. And I'm going to quickly stitch this on. And then again, what you're going to do then is exactly the same as we did for that um, table runner. So you're going to layer up your um, fabric with your wadding and your lining and sew all the way around, leaving a gap. And obviously you're going to, oh, I'll a stitch. You're going to then turn it through and then top stitch around the outside so what you can find in is a lot of projects john you find it the the methods are pretty similar to a certain point yeah um so and I think the thing is you're you're putting a pocket with a print on because they so they've printed it twice really haven't yeah, they but it's but then it's great because you can then line it up yeah and also it look nice inside as well wouldn't it yeah. there'll be a, a copy of what's on the outside on the inside of the pocket yes because i i don't know about your job if i'm doing especially a lining um, on something that you're going to see, I think it's nice to see it, to see something pretty. Yes, of course. Or bright. So, there we go. Take that out. And the other thing to do is you're just going to sew up that dotted line. Oh, and what that oh, does course, is then form your two the pockets. Pocket. Yeah, yeah. Of and do a little reverse. So you're going to sew up there, reverse off. Yeah, important so to reverse at the top because if you're going to use it year after year after year, there's going to be little hands going in there trying to get the present out and trying to get all yes. the chocolates out. And, things and like if that. you want heavy presents put in there, it needs to be strong. <laughs> what, like little bottles of gin, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be good, wouldn't it? 20, yeah. Because it's, it's the 24. <laughs> that would be a good Christmas. Or you could put the brandy in for your Christmas pudding. And there we go. So now we've got... So have you just sewn those straight onto the panel as it is? Not, yes. Is there anything behind the panel? You haven't put any wadding there or anything isn't, like that? And the it. instructions tell you to do it this way. Yeah. You could do it with the wadding behind and it qu quilted at the same time if you wanted it quilted. The only problem with that is it's quite bulky. Right. So don't put anything in between. So I would do it without. Then, obviously, you're getting the red for your backing. Yeah. And you're not using all of what you get. You're going to have quite a chunk on the bottom that you can use for other projects. Oh, brilliant. Um, and obviously then your piece of wadding. If, if you were going to quilt it, so you'd do this outside piece with your pockets. Oh, put your wadding behind. Obviously lay it flat. And then because you've got the guides on here, you could actually stitch all the way around the house. Yeah. And just obviously miss the pocket bits. Um, and just sort or even all these brown lines, which is the frame, you could just quilt all the way around there and that'll put your layers together as well. So there's a few different options. But I say you're just going to put it up, wad it on the back, put your backing on, right side together, stitch around, leave a gap, clip your corners, turn it through and top stitch and it's finished. Thank you very much indeed, Bernie. <laughs> right, let's do a recap then. God, these hours, this first hour's flown by, hasn't it? Right, so this is the bundle that Bernie's been using. It's the panel plus your 60 centimetres of your red star fabric, right? Now, you, the red star fabric on its own has sold out. The panel on its own is very, very limited now. 
It won't last the show. It won't last the show. So this is the bundle, £14 or $20. You get the fabric, the panel, and you get the red fabric as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? Right? So that's one panel. Now, the other panel that I had today uh, with for the stocking is here. Let me try and tidy up as I go along. This is the stocking panel here. Now, it's a nice big stocking, this, isn't it? Because like I say, normally on a panel, you get one, the stocking's only about that big, isn't it? You can fit a lot in there. Now, what uh, Bernie's used on this one, she's only used the Father Christmas side, but we've got the uh, bundle of the... Um... Right, we're going to show... Oh, well, actually, I'll show you very quickly, and then Bernie can do you a quick stitch for you, right? So, this is the panel, and you get half a metre of the cream star fabric with this one. Now, uh, I'll let Bernie explain, because you could just make one stocking with two fancy sides, but what she's done is she's used the... Sorry, what was that? Brilliant. Very, you got, we're going to do a quick demo on this, are we? Louise? Uh, not Louisa. Bernie? Yes, I am. Sorry, got confused there. I am. Right. What are you doing then? So, with the, so you've got the um, stock in there, but you've just shown John, haven't yeah. you, as well? So on the panel as well, you've shown, you also get all of these tags. Yep, I'll hold it up for you. So I did what you did. I made two separate ones because yep. obviously I want to get the most for my money. And can you see what I'm using just to cut this shape out? What are you using to cut that shape out? Oh, yes. So it's a little ruler as well. It's, a, it's an acrylic ruler. So although it doesn't have measurements on, you can still use it. If you weren't here at nine o'clock, that was the sunrise special this morning. You get that free if you buy the Be Happy Strip Roll. So, got been here. So, what you've got as well, you've also got these um, gift tags. All right, yeah. So, if you had, and I'm not going to sew this because I know we push for time. Yeah. We've got trying to get everything in, but I had some scrap fabric left off where I cut out the backing for this Santa stocking that you've got that I made, and I've got a scrap bit of wadding. So again, I haven't even cut that into shape. This is a good thing. Cut one piece out, and if you stitch all the way around there, leaving a gap again, doing that same process, leave a gap, trim this all down, yeah, and then turn it through and stitch your hole up, you've got a gift tag. That's how quick, and that's just with the off cuts. That's your off cut. What one um, you can also do as well, it's a lot of sewing machines have that little eyelet stitch, don't they? You could do a little eyelet yes. stitch thing at the top and then put a ribbon through to tie it you to the could. gift or something. Yeah, also a little tag in the top as well. Yeah. You know, you could do that. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. Now, the other thing, John, we haven't even spoke about is our fabric cutter. Can oh, yeah, I talk to me about this because we're going to do it again later, aren't we? But Can I quickly talk about you it? You certainly this can. Is amazing. Like, it has, like um, we were saying earlier on, it has sold out once. We've got it back. In oh yes, now this order. won't be sent out to you until Thursday because what happened was Bernie's had it before, we've had it before, sold out, they've got more stock coming in, but it won't be coming out to you till Thursday. Just so you know. Just so you know. Yes. Back to back to the ruler. What is it, Bernie then? So just getting grabbing a bit of fabric. So basically what we've got here is is a ruler with a rotary blade attached. So if I turn this around, we can see in here that we've got a rotary blade. Now, this is your standard 45 mil rotary blade. So what you have in your rotary cutter, it's the same blade. So if you've already got some blades at home, these, it's ideal for paper crafters as well. It's got, wait, it's got a spring in there. So when you put pressure on there and you don't need a lot, that blade goes down to the bottom to cut your fabric. So I'm left-handed. It's left-handed or right-handed. So I'm left-handed, but I can actually cut here. And you saw me struggle slightly before cutting something with my rotary cutter with my right hand. With this one, you don't have an issue. So I've got up to six layers of fabric you can cut. I've got four layers here. And I'll just quickly show you. So you're going to put it on. And um, my right hand, now my mat's a little bit slippy here on the table. But as you see, the mat... It's the mat move and not this. Not the ruler, yeah. This is holding the fabric in place. You see there how clean that cuts. So the grid on here is 15 inches by 15 and a half. There's also centimetres on here. So if you do work in centimetres, you've got those as well. You've also got all of your angled lines. So if you want to make triangles, diamonds, hexagons, you can actually make them. In fact, I'm going to actually cut quickly. Yeah. So let me put that on. Where's my 60 degree line? So on the 60 degree line here, 
I'm just going to line up my fabric along that 60 degree line. Yeah. And if I put my blade away, now with a rotary cutter, you never cut towards you. Yeah. With this, you can, because it's not going to come off the stoppers at either end that won't let this blade come off. Again. So you just push it down. Right-handed. Push it down and glide, and your hand fits on it, and I'm left-handed. Yeah. I'm using my right hand here. Do you know what, Benny? If you were making a bargello or a trip around the world, wouldn't that be brilliant? Because you've got to cut hundreds and hundreds yes. and hundreds of strips, don't you? Perfect. And, some, and doing it with a rotary cutter, it can be done, but obviously, um, what's the word? Pressure on your wrist sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, exactly. This, you could just cut away, cut all your strips quite happily. And I also love that, the fact that that guard, where the, can we just look at the, the blade again, where Bernie is there? You see the guard there, the, the silver coloured bit there, right? That, the other side stops your hand from going anywhere near the blade, doesn't yeah. it? Because that was the thing on, uh, a lot of people when they're using rotary cutters, they put their fingers very, very close to the blade. Your finger can't go anywhere. The only thing I'd say is if you lift it up, don't lift it up using that handle, because obviously that handle, the blades and things, so if you press it down the blade comes out but it's a brilliant thing now uh, we will be doing more with that cutter later because bernie's coming back at 11. oh 10 percent of the stock has gone just like that with bernie just showing it like that 10 percent of the stock has just gone like that in an instant um right now so bernie will be back at 11 when we do soft uh, when we do softer side uh, with sarah and me we're all going to be muddling in together as it were so let me just recap what you've just seen this hour what shall i do first the whole Yuletide collection here, brilliant. So this is the panel. It's 10% off this, right? So it's £54. Uh, look, so you get the panel, which is beautiful, isn't it? Now, it's sold out on its own. It's sold out on its own. The only way you can get this panel today, we're going to try and get more, but the only way you can uh, get this panel at the moment is in the bundle, right? So that's that. That's the, your panel, which you've seen Bernie. How many things did you make? The door hangings, the bag, the table runner. You can make lovely coasters and all sorts of things. Anyway, in the bundle, you get the panel and then you get half a metre of each of these. You get the turquoise, you get the cream holly, you get that beautiful, that's so William Morris-esque, isn't it? That, the beautiful, beautiful cream with the green leaves on. Then you get the uh, mistletoe on red, which is so beautiful. Then you get the scatter on the very, very dark forest green. Then you've got the uh, cream scatter. And then you've got that beautiful, beautiful, rich green with the golds and the reds and everything in there. And then the same fabric with the cream background there. So you get half a metre of each of those plus the panel for £54 or $79. <gasps> Brilliant deal. 10% off. Now, what a lot of people are doing is they're buying the whole bundle and then they're buying half a metre of each of these fabrics because each of these fabrics are available by the half meter. So if you want three meters, 10 meters, 12 meters, you can order that on. Just go to the website and you'll see all of the pictures and just click on them and tell us how much you want of them. So each of them are available by the half meter. They're at 650, aren't they those? Oh, you've gone to the advent calendar. Oh, she's way ahead of me. She's gone into the advent calendar. Right, okay. Beautiful, right, okay. Right, advent calendar now. I'm tidying up as I'm going along, because you know what I mean. Right, oh, advent calendar. <laughs> what have I done with it? There it is. I'm tidying up and I've gone too quickly. Right, advent calendar's here. So now the panel has sold out on its own. The red fabric has sold out on its own. But you can... And half the stock of the bundle has gone. So you get the advent calendar panel and you get 60 centimetres, sorry, of the red star fabric. There you go. Oh, sorry, it's not very tidily held, but I've only got two hands, you see. There you go. But you got all that, £14, $20. And then last but not least, the stocking. Right, stocking to make this. It's a lovely big stocking, isn't it? The bundle, you get the panel. Now you can either have the Father Christmas or you get both of them, the Father Christmas and the llama. It's funny, when did llamas become Christmas? You know, a lot of Christmas things have llamas on, but you get the, the uh, tags, you get the circles, you get the cuffs, and you get the little tab to hang it with. You can either make one stocking with patterns on both sides, or you can make two stockings. So the bundle has that and half a metre of the cream. There you go. So the bundle is £14.20. 
Now, have we got any of these left on their own? Few of these, few of these. So there's the panel on its own. Eight pans. If it's just coming in. There you go. Or $12. I've been watching um, RuPaul's Drag Race and she doesn't say dollars. She goes, do, dollar. I can't remember how she says it now. But anyway, I'll move on. And then this fabric by the half meter as well, which is gorgeous, the star fabric. That's half meter, £6.50. Bernie, thank you so much, my love. She's crammed so much into her time. But you are back at 11. Oh, look, she's there with a cup of tea. You are back at 11, aren't you, Bernie? Yes, I will be over in the studio while Sarah's on. Yes. Just doing lots of sewing. Doing I just what thought I'll best. make the most of it and sit and Doing sew. what you do best, yeah. right. Okay, then. <laughs> so, straight on. So the next guest, Louisa Gold. Now, Louisa was on my very first show here at John Scott Sewing World, doesn't she? So, let's get these right. Well, oh, these are gorgeous. Now, when we put a picture of these on the Facebook page, everybody went crazy for them. Now, last time Louisa was in, her, pa her patterns completely and utterly sold out, right? Completely and utterly, during the show, sold out. So if you're interested in either of these, please, 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 do not hesitate. They're £22 each. Now, I'll take you through what you get on each one. So I'm just going to pop those back to Louisa over there. Uh, now, let's do the star one, first of all. So what you get is it comes beautifully packaged like this. So brand new in stock, £22 or $28. Now, in the box, oh, I love this. So you get your papers. And you get your grey. And you get your instructions. And then look at these, look at these, look at these, look at those gorgeous colours. Now these are star print, aren't sun they? Prints. Sun print. Oh, sun print, sun print, sun print. Sunglass. Because we just don't understand. Oh, the colours are beautiful, aren't they? Look at the patterns on there and everything. So everything you need to do the front. So because you can either make a cushion, you can make a wall hang, you can make whatever you want out of it, right? But this is to make the front. So this is the, the piece of fabric here to make the front. Now I've got this fabric for sale during this hour, right? Um, because if you want to make a cushion, you want to cushion back, you can do it with half a metre, couldn't you? Yeah. Half, you can get half a metre and it'll make you cushion back for you. And you'll need to buy a bit of wadding, which I'll take you through in a second. So that one is star, diamond star, that one, right? Then, let me put all those. Now you can reuse these. These are really, really good quality. Um, we call them papers, but they're not papers. Oh, that's a lovely cardboard there. Uh, you can reuse those, right? And then, 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 I've also got this one, which is your hexy one. Right, 22 pounds again. This is lovely, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Uh, and again, I'll just take you through what's in here. It's the same, oh, look, so you get your hex, oh, nearly dropped all them. You get your hexy papers. You get your sun prints again. Oh, so they're gonna match perfectly. If you wanted to do both of these, they match perfectly. And the same gray for the backing and the background, sorry, and the pattern for that one as well. All of that for 22 pounds or 28 dollars oh no beautiful 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 now as i said last time louise was on they did sell out now before we go to louisa i'm just going to take you through things that you might need to buy to go with uh this so you might you're going to need some wadding now you're only going to need this much wadding aren't you you're only going to need that much wadding but you can buy this piece of wadding here 90 inches wide 7.99 or 11 dollars 99 cents it's so say again Back from Friday, did you say? I, sorry, you break it, it's all breaking up. I can't, um, I can't hear you. Oh, dispatched from Friday. Oh, dispatched, sorry, from Friday. I'm having a, no, 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 it wasn't you. It was going dip, 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 like that. So I'm not blaming you at all. Right, okay, so that's that. Now, if you want some of the backing fabric, the fabric for the background that you want to make a cushion out of, here's the fabric. Now, this is linen texture Macawa in steel. Get there in the end. $5.99. Mighty home. And then the other thing else you might need are, don't need that one. You might need some uh, best press, which we have here. Mm -hmm. 
Mary Ellen's Best Press. And I think this is scentless, isn't it? Scent free, scent free. $9.99 or $13.99. And then last but not least, something that you'll really need is your glue pen. Now, um, Louisa gave me one of these as a present and they're brilliant for doing this. I know. Five pounds and 49 pence. Now for that, you get the pen and you get a refill as well. You get a refill there as well. So let's meet, let's meet Louisa and let's get on with the sewing. How are you, my love? I'm all right, thank you very much. You get here all right this morning? Yes, Not nice too foggy easy. for you? No, no, it's mizzly, isn't it? Yeah, it was really foggy yeah. where I was staying. So, these, can I say, are gorgeous. Thank you very much. Uh, which one are you going to start with? I'll start with the diamond. Right. Um, so, I'm going to show you two different ways of doing English paper piecing, of right. sewing the two pieces together. Right. So, people who've watched me before have seen me do the flat back stitch or the flat whip stitch right. which is for curves but you can also do it with straight edges okay and um, what it means is that you are not taking the stitches through to the front so I'll show you yes sure. right okay yes, so as you, as you said in my face, so. <laughs> as you said you get all your paper pieces you get 60 in the diamond and 80 in the hexagon and there's more than you need I was gonna say but also you can reuse them can't oh, you? you can reuse them yeah three or four times because you're not sewing through them because of the glue pen right so so how was your cushion? Have you finished your cushion? Have you started? No, have I no, have you? <laughs> it's in my UFOs. Is that what they're called? Um, okay. So in the kit, you're going to get the strips of fabric two and a half inches wide. Yeah. Um, in the diamond one, you get half the width of fabric because you don't need a full width of fabric. But you get the same amount of all the fabrics. So right. as you showed, you've got the same amount. So in this one, I've put all the lighter tones, if you like, in the middle and then I've come out to the darker tones you could do it the other way around if you want so you can put them wherever you want yeah to put them, you really. could have the black in the middle and the gray or whatever so you've got the same amount of each strip yeah. in the kit so some of them you're gonna have lots left over because you've you only are. got yeah. like the pale so that blue one, one you've only got yeah. a, one of them yeah so you get um, eight diamonds out of each of the half strips right yeah so yeah so that one you only need one that you need three and that one you need five right okay is that in the instructions to tell you what to do oh yeah yeah it's all in the instructions i mean if you wanted to you could add a bind into the cushion with the scraps that are left over. oh yeah nice scrappy it would have to be a scrappy binding wouldn't yeah it? nice scrappy if you're binding. doing a wall hanging as well yeah. that'd be nice you can it? add to it yeah. yeah okay so if we you've got your strip of fabric so you're just going to put a dab of glue on the back side of the paper template it doesn't matter which side and then you're going to stick that loosely down on the fabric so you've got a good amount all around the edge and then you're going to roughly cut and it is quite approximate really quarter to a half an inch all the way around like so okay so then if you place them all the same so you're going to do all the same all a few at the same time so if you say place them all in the same direction and do them all in the same order, <laughs> which I obviously didn't do with those ones, I'll do with this one. So you're going to run a bit of glue along the paper in from the edge. You don't want to go right to the edge because you're going to you don't want to catch the glue in the sewing. So then just fold it down and rub it down a couple of seconds so the glue takes hold. And be sure to put a bit of glue on that bit of fabric there that you folded down. And it doesn't matter you've got that bit sticking out at no, the bottom. No, no, your dog ears are very important. So if you keep going all the way round, yeah. And then if you go that direction, then you'll have a dog ear, one going that way and one going that way. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. I haven't on these ones for some reason. But if you do them all in the same direction, all in the same order, so I put my hexagon with the point going that way right. and did it that way round, then they'll all end up identical and then what that means is when you come to match them and put that in the middle you're going to have all the dog ears going round oh okay in a circle yeah which makes it a lot easier okay so this diamond is made up of diamonds funnily enough so you've got the bigger diamonds so you're going to piece them as bigger diamonds first and then sew the bigger diamonds together okay, okay? So how you do, do you can I just do you do all of your fabrics onto cards before you start any of it? I would, yeah. 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 I mean you could break it up. You could do a diamond first, a bigger diamond first and just do the Just because if you're not going to sit and do it all together. Yeah. 
If you think, oh, I'll just make one big yeah. diamond tonight in front of the telly. Yeah, you, you could, could do just... your nine diamonds of that and yeah. then build up that diamond. So these diamonds are built up of strips or rows, if you like. So there's one row, there's the second row, and there's the third row, okay? So I have done my two rows here. So I'm going to show you how to... Oh. So that would be your first row, okay? Okay, so, so you need to work out, you've got to, now in your instructions, is there a pattern showing you where yes. you place the different colors? Yes, there is indeed, yes. I need to tell you the star, the star is beating the hexes at the moment, <laughs> which I thought it would. Give me I'm a chance, I haven't got to the hexes No, yet. no, 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 <laughs> that's just some first glimpses, you know. They're both gorgeous though, aren't okay, they? Okay, so I've got grey thread here because I forgot my blue. Oh, but okay, let's, let's cover this, let's cover okay. this because if you're doing a multicoloured yeah. project like that, uh -huh. do you have to keep changing every well, time you do I a different colour? I didn't use to. I used to use the grey or I've got a, a creamy beigey there. Um, and actually in this technique, because you're going at the back of the shapes, you can't see the stitches. So it doesn't matter what thread you've got. Right. But having said that, I think it was in the hexes actually, I've used coloured thread to the coloured fabric. So I've gone, actually I have it in here, and it does make a difference, I have to say. So yeah, so I mean this one I've used a blue thread, that one I've used a pink thread and yeah. a pink thread. So they're not exactly the same, I haven't used like a thousand threads. Yeah. But if you well, just exactly generally like use them. Thousand <laughs> but yes, so because a lot of people, it's like when quilting, isn't it? People yeah. all just have to keep changing colour. Yeah. But people either use the silver or, yeah. the, or the silvery grey or a biscuity colour to do their hand piecing or to do their piecing with, no matter what colour. Obviously, if you're doing a black and white quilt, then use black and white thread. But if you're doing a multicoloured quilt, then people either use a silver or a biscuit colour. Yeah, don't and they? I love the silver. The silver just disappears. I mean, this is a grey that I've quilted. That's a grey thread all the way across. Yeah. And you can't really notice it because the colours just pop out. Yeah, anyway. exactly. Okay, okay, so we're going to sew our first row together. Okay, and what's this technique called, did you say? A flat whip stitch or a flat back stitch. Okay. So in traditional English paper piecing, you would put, especially with straight edges, you would put two edges, two shapes together yeah. and go over the top. Yes, and that's when you sometimes see the stitch on and the front, which I quite like. Yeah. Are you going to do that one? Well, you're yeah. going to do that one, okay. Whereas this one... Um, I don't know why I did it with this one, but well, I did it anyway. So <laughs> I'm going to put two pieces together, but put them adjacent to each other. Right. First oh, of all, okay. actually, to start off, just bring up the thread behind the seam allowance. Have you got a knot in your thread? I've got a knot in my thread, yeah, sorry. So, oh, I didn't want to thread a needle. Oh, on. no. I need to go to the optician. <laughs> or just arrive with, oh, you did this straight away. I've got a big eye today. <laughs> On my needle. Oh, on you. <laughs> okay, so I've just secured the, st the, the thread in that seam allowance there. Yeah. So to connect these two shapes, I'm just going to take that across to the point. So just fold your dog ear out the other, out the way a minute, and just nab that point there. So it's just connected those two points. Oops. Like so. So just go across the seam a couple of times. So you're just matching the two... I'm just matching the two points. Right. So you've got a matched point right. at the top there. Yep. Yeah. So then, actually I forgot to add these to the add-ons, but if you've got a binding clip or a pin or a little bulldog oh, clip... Oh, we've got, the, we've got those on the we've website, the purple clip. ones on the website. Pop yeah. a binding clip on the other end just to, so they, to hold them lined up really. So they're not going to go askew. And then you're just going to do a flat back stitch or a flat whip stitch. So all that means is you're going to just take, pick up a very tiny amount of fabric from each side of the seam allowances. So you're still going to go over. Right, so you've clipped, <coughs> excuse me, you've clipped the side where you haven't got a yeah, stitch in. Just to hold it. Clip the side line. that she hasn't got the, 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 the And the you're stitch sewing in. away from yourself. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're just going to nip, as I say, you're just going to grab a tiny piece of thread either side of the seam allowances yeah and go across you couldn't do this with big bits though could you because it'd be difficult to hold wouldn't it you could scrunch it up i mean i've done so when these gets a bit bigger obviously you've got bigger things to sew oh, okay. together so you can do it i mean yeah. these the cards you can kind of scrunch it. yeah you don't want to go too big right um okay so go all the way down 
So you want them to be approximately a sixteenth of an inch apart. So you want them quite stitched, quite small stitches. Right. But as I say, because you're not going through, you can't see them on the back. The stitches. So you're only catching because when you do it the other way, you're going through that way. But you're only catching the seam allowance, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. So you're not going through to the front at all. So in theory. And you're not catching the card at all, either. No. So you're not going through the card. So it's just that top layer, that top bit of seam allowance all the way down. I'm just going to make my stitches a bit bigger here just to speed things up a bit, but ideally you want them to be as small as possible. So then obviously when you get to the bottom, they should be lined up. Now if you find that it has moved a bit, yeah. so I can see that that green bit is a slightly past the, the teal bit, what you can do is if you, you want to basically pull in that green bit, pull it down a bit. So if you insert your needle at the normal bit and then insert it a bit further down onto the green and you just want to kind of pull it. So you're just easing it basically, you know, like all that. The, the quilters like to fudge things. <laughs> no, they're easing. It's right. Easing. Um, but one of the kits I've done of yours, the reason I asked is because you did, the, you stitched the one end together then you stitch the yeah. other end together which and I then you stitch in between. Yeah. So which you don't do that on this one. I do do to join the bigger bits. Right, okay. Um, I just put a, I'll just shut up. I just put a pin on the end of that one because it's only a diamond. So, and yeah. Yeah. It didn't work anyway because they were under <laughs> But I did that to show you how to ease. Exactly. Obviously. So, right. So when you get to the other end, do a couple of, in the last couple of loops, bring your thread through the loops just to knot it. And then rather than breaking thread, um, so now you want to join that piece onto that piece. We are doing this right, aren't we? Yeah. It's your pattern, <laughs> you should know. <laughs> so we want to join that piece onto that piece. So rather than breaking thread, just do a little running stitch along the seam allowance of that shape. So you're not going through to the front or anything, it's just to carry you. Uh, and it's not one great big stitch then, no. it's lots of little stitches. Just a little running yeah. stitch all the way along it just saves botheration and yeah so now you've got a secure stitch at that point and then again oops, you're going to connect those two points and then stitch all the way along when you do this at home do you do it sitting at a table like you are now no, you... i sit on my lap to be honest and i've got a piece of I'm not, i've got a piece of skirting board oh, although nice. i happily actually i've upgraded to a book now <laughs> But I have it on my lap, so well, I can. Skirting just, board. Yeah, well, it's only about that big. It's just an off cut from somewhere. I have no idea where it came from. But if I'm gluing, then obviously you need a, a solid. Yeah. Stop you. laughing at me. You need. I'm just solid... imagining you and Justin sitting in front of the fire, <laughs> watching a crime <laughs> horror, him painting crime his soldiers, horror. and you. Um, and you stitching. I wish he did paint soldiers. He's watching, by the way. Oh, is he? All right, Justin. Oh, Justin's the husband. Who cut my hair, which is why I've got a head. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't say that. I've got you my did. Lisa Lamb headscarf on. Yes. <laughs> no, he did a great job. Did you cut his as well? Um, no, he doesn't know. He does it himself. Oh. I have to check he hasn't missed anything. He had his first pork pie, or was it a, was it a pork pie in pie. 12 weeks yesterday? Yes. He's a, a, a pie monster. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so you're going all the way down there, so I'll just carry on with big stitches. So then you make up your three rows so in the instructions it tells you exactly which colors to put where and which order to sew them in so oops right while you do that just say that mo is just message saying just bought the just bought the ruler offer and some red and cream star fabric got 20 percent off my first purchase that's what happens when you join club inspire uh plus a free gift oh yes Yes. Also, if you look at my Facebook page, there's two other, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, there's two other coupons. There's two other coupons on there. Go to my Facebook page. Right. Uh, what's this? June. Oh, lovely June. All right. All's right in the world now. We've got John back. Oh, how lovely. Lorraine says, could you let me know, do you pay postage for separate orders? Yes, you do. 
I think you do, don't you? Yes, you do pay. So wait for it all together and put it through on one thing. But you do pay uh, postage on separate orders. And then I've got on here saying, Morning, John. It's about time we had some great news and you're back. Looking forward to seeing you and your lovely demos, great projects, and your cheeky banter between you and your colleagues. Colleagues, Good luck and lots of love from Rain. Ah, oh, thank you, Rain. Oh, posh, posh surname. John, Bernie and Louisa, so nice to see all of you back. John, during the stay at home, you came on for a quick quip and I put a sh pug shirt on. I love the shirt. Oh, yes, one of my, my Facebook lives. Yes, I've got a shirt with pugs on it, Sandy. Uh, wow, this is a game changer. I haven't sewn in so long and this makes me want to start back. I'll tell all my girlfriends about these great Christmas gifts. There you go. Mm -hmm. And last one for now. Oh, June back. Love, Louisa. Those cushions are delicious. No, oh, thank, thank you. you. Can I also, sorry to interrupt. I've got to just tell you very quickly about these two while we're just in the middle. I know it's in the middle of Louisa's thing, but I'm a bit worried you're going to miss out. This is your free gift, right? Anybody who buys anything today gets a free gift, right? Um, it's only while stocks last and they're so busy today. We are so busy and I'm not doing shopping telly old, you know, jargon. We are really, really busy. So that's only while stocks last. And another thing I need to tell you about while I'm here is my sunrise special for earlier is absolutely flying out. If you buy this strip roll, 19 strips of fabric, like they're two and a half inches wide, right? You get this ruler for free. You get the ruler free, which now if you watch later, 40% of the stock's gone already, already. Nowhere near the end of the show, 40% of the stock's gone. And if you want to watch how to use it, Bernie showed it in the first hour. So you can always watch later again on catch up or whatever. But make sure you get that and check out your basket. And remember, if you remember a club inspire, the points go onto your, onto your um, level of, of points and everything. And also, if you're a new buyer, you get 20% off your first purchase. I know. It's fantastic. Sorry, Louisa. Off to carry on. <sighs> right. So you're going to sew the three rows together yeah. and then you're going to sew those together like so. So when you sew these larger units together, as you said, I would connect that those two points and those two points first. Oh, OK. OK. So what I did was I connected this point and as I did before, put a pin on the end of there and sew that way. After you've done the connecting points. After you've done that. Yeah. After you've done that connecting point there. Oh, okay. Connect those two, and then and with the same, because you've got the thread in, then sew all the way up right. there. And then again, you can do the same there. Connect that point because that point's now connected. You can sew all the way up there. Right. And then again, you can sew all the way up there. Right. Okay. So that's your. So you don't do connected. it all in one. No. Long. I mean, if you wanted to, you could just tag those two points and then go all the way up. Um, but because I had the thread in the needle and I'd connected those two, you might I just well, all yeah, the way exactly. went up there. Yeah. Okay, so that's your connected points. And then you're going to sew those together into two halves. Oh, okay. Okay, so you just sew those exactly the same way. Sew those into two halves and then you sew the two halves together. Right. Okay. Uh, when have you, You're not taking any cardboard out I haven't taken any papers out at all. Papers no. out, sorry. Now I will take the papers out. So I will take the... Show you ta you. Hang on, you take the papers out when the whole thing is done. When the whole together. star Not when the two connected. halves are done, no, when no, the no, whole no. thing is done. When you've connected the whole star, so you've got the whole star together. And then it, when you actually get to that point in the middle, so obviously that's you've got six points matching up there. Yeah. But as I said, if you've... Um, basted your diamonds all in the same order in the same direction as you can see they should all go round in a circle right so it'd be a lot flatter and oh easier. so you've already caught when you do quilting you have to make a spiral don't you, you yeah. have to stick the yeah. snippet so it makes a spiral the so spiral's already that. done yeah. this way exactly Brilliant. so it gives it a, a, bit, a le le less bulk in the center but also you can see your points so you can match them up nicely okay so pretend let's pretend this is a star Right. So I was just going to show you how to take the papers out. Right. So I've got my iron on. With your lovely homemade ironing board. <laughs> I've made a point of using it this time. So best press, I've got my own little thing okay. here, but you've it's got best same, press. It's, it's the same, the same thing. Got, so give it a good spray. Yeah. And all it does is, um, obviously when you take the papers out, it will stiffen the, uh, the fabric up a bit while you're doing that, but also it's imperative that you keep that nice folded edge. Did you best press before you cut it out? Did you best press I didn't the really, I've <coughs> never done that. Because when I did your, the one that's up behind you on the wall, Oh yeah. You was, we, I, it was essential really to best press that because you've got curves and everything yeah. like that, haven't you? I mean, I've never found, had a problem with it, but then I've never tried it and obviously you've tried it and didn't it work. works. Yeah, it's, well, it's no, sort of it's worked. worked. No, it's worked. <laughs> it's just you need to finish it to show it that it really worked. Yes. 
<laughs> I will when I go on my holidays. Right, so, giving it a nice press, you've got that nice folded edge. So now all you do, and if you've, got, if you've had the papers in for a while, um, and the glue's got hard. Just give it when it's pressed, it softens the fabric. Okay. Um, yeah, I was going to say, sometimes the these projects take months. It's well, not exactly, something you can do which in the is fine. Is it? So you just peel back the fabric. You don't have to be incredibly gentle. I mean, obviously, your stitches are tiny and you shouldn't come apart. So you just peel back the fabric and pop the paper Does out. Does it matter where you start? No. Not really. I mean, well, I suppose I will take the middle out first and then leave the edges. Oh, because you don't want so to, because yeah. you need to keep the edge sharp. You don't sharp, want to play then, around yes. with the yeah. edge too much. Trim off any threads. So but all the dog, you've left all the dog ears. No dog ears get trimmed Don't off. trim the dog ears. They're very important to keep the dog ears in. Because if you trim them off, they'll start fraying from the front. And your cushion's going to get a lot of loving, I'm hoping, over the years. Yes. So, as I say, just take all all your fabrics out. Now if you want to, after you've taken all your papers out, sorry, you can then press the back seams again flat. Now I haven't done this for a while. I think I did it when I was on your show last and it actually did make a difference and yes. I probably should do it more. <laughs> but also because I've machine quilted this, um, it all flattens anyway, right. so you're not going to get much bulk, but you can if you've got a little iron. So I think that's what I used last time, and using it, this tiny little iron makes such a difference, as opposed to my big other iron. Yes, you should be a bit more delicate with yes, that Yes, you can be a bit more accurate. So give it a nice press, and then you've got nice flat seams, flat edge, and a nice creased edge. So now you're going to applique that onto the background. So. Obviously, I'll take all the papers out. Do you applique, machine applique, or do you hand applique? I hand applique. Um, I've not tried machine applique. No, 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 no I'm just wondering. But I'm I know um, um, Lucy Brennan did one of my cushions, and she uh, machine applique'd it down with a blind stitch. Oh, okay. Apparently. But the thing is, if you start and hand stitch the whole of the pattern for the front of the cushion, it's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. To, carry on with the hand stitching in fact if you had time you could hand quilt it as well, well exactly so. yeah i mean these i i go between like so that one obviously we um hand quilted that one yeah but i also like the effect that the just the wavy line machine quilting has effect on the yeah because they're quite modern and so you're just going to put that down on your gray so which comes in the bundle which comes in the bundle so yeah. you're going to Fold the grey in half and finger press it. Obviously, I haven't ironed this, so just ignore that. So you're yeah. going to just so you're just finding the centre of the yeah, and then fold it that way and finger press it that way, just to find your centre. And then you'll centre your diamond on the middle. So you would want to press the um, fabric before you started, not only yeah. because to find your centre, but also when you start stitching on, you don't want those yeah. pieces to be in when you're stitching no. on. And then as I said. Um, as you can see on the diamond there's obvious there's obvious halfway marks there's not so much on the hexagons so oh, okay yes. oh yes yeah, so you can line the top point up yeah. with them with so the you've got pressing that you put in and yeah so that's quite easy to okay. set up and so, then what stitch do you use to stitch that on um, a slip stitch so if I show you quickly with this and is it you're only attaching it to that piece of fabric Just there's no that, lining yeah. or anything no, like that at the moment no, no, no. So a slip stitch, if we start it off in the background, obviously pin everything down properly um, or if you don't like being pricked as you sew, baste it down with thread. Um, just a big stitch with threads just all the way around so yeah. it just holds it in place. Ease out the fabric as you're sewing so you're not, or as you're pinning rather, so you don't get any excess build up of background fabric behind your piece. So then in a slip stitch, so I've just, secure the thread onto the background fabric and all you're going to do is pick up a very tiny amount off the edge of your perp of the diamond and then you're going to go directly down into the background fabric travel a little bit behind the background fabric come up again and then catch the very edge of the, the star so you're only catching the very edge of the fabric that you're sewing down and then you're going directly down back into the background fabric and that just creates a tiny little stitch and as if you're using a grey thread like I am here, although my stitches aren't very small, but use a fabric that's a thread that's the same fabric colour as the background fabric, 
and then that should disappear oh, okay. more or less. I mean, I would generally use an Aurifil 80, yes. which is a lovely thin fabric, uh, thin thread. thread, sorry, and it really does disappear into the fabric. It's yeah. amazing. Now, this is when it's ideal to do it on table. You can't be doing this on your knee, on your piece of skirt. No, board. I've started doing this on a table, I have yeah. to say, because you do get a bit of a build-up of black ground fabric if you don't do it on a flat surface. And you literally just go all the way around so the you outside. you go all the way around the outside. And then if you want, again, I've only just started doing this. I have, I used to do it, but then I forgot. You can cut away the background fabric excess off the back. So What, behind the star? Behind the star. So mm. leave a generous half an inch seam allowance and then just cut out the hole if you want in the back. It just, if your hand's quilting it, it will make a difference because you've got less, low, la less layers to go through. Right. Um, but... If you're machine quilting, you're fine. I wouldn't. Oh, I'd be a bit concerned that I've cut because I'd feel that I was weakening the background well, you've fabric. Got, well, you're not because you've sewn all the mm. way around. Yeah. And uh, again, if you're going to machine quilt it, well, any quilt it, you're going to go through all the layers. Yeah. So that'd be fine. Okay. Well, if you're going to show us how to do the next one now, I'll just yep. go through what uh, what that one was here. Um, this one was the diamond star cushion. Uh, it's £22 or $28. It comes in the lovely little box like this. In the packet, you get all your diamonds that you need. Now, you get more diamonds than you actually need. You get your piece of fabric for your background. You get your instructions. And then you get your strips. Now, you get the same amount of each of these colours. I mean, look how gorgeous those colours are. So you can choose where they go. So some of them, you'll only have to cut one diamond out of it and then that's it. The rest of it's yours to do with as you please. Beautiful, beautiful prints look. Some prints they are. Um, so that's that, uh, you get all of that. Now you will need to, if you're gonna make a cushion, you will need to get some, fat. you might have some in your stash, but you will need to get some fabric for the background and you will need to get some wadding, which I'll take you through in a second. Right? Now, the one that Louise is about to start is the hexy one. Same sort of... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Same sort of idea. Again, again $22. Uh, £22, $28. Again, you get your hexes in this one more than you actually need. You get your strips, your beautiful strips of your fabric. The, I love it, rainbow colours like that. You get your background fabric and you get your instructions for your hexes as well there. I know, all that... All of that for £22, $28. Now, just before Louisa starts, you saw her using Best Press there a second ago. This is the Best Press I've got on offer today. Loads of you put this in your basket. Have you been missing? I suppose you've been missing out because um, I don't know if we've had it available for a while. But anyway, look, there it is. Best Press. This is scent free. It's £9.99, £13.99. And it's brilliant because it comes with the... Um, psh, psh, what's this called? Psh, psh. What's one like? Trigger. 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 The fastest milk cart in the West. Wasn't that right? Anyway, moving that on. And then we also saw Louise using the fabric glue that pen. Was Ernie. What? That was Ernie. The Ernie was the milkman, but his, his horse was called Trigger. Oh, was it? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, horse, you're not old enough to remember that, surely. Five pounds and 49 pence. Seven dollars 99 cents. You get an actual uh, glue pen and the refill. And then uh, the other thing you saw Louise using was uh, wadding. Now you won't need anywhere near this amount of wadding because you'll only cut out what you need for your cushion, but you get a 90 centimetres, a 90, sorry, 90 inch width. There you go, 7.99, $11.99. You can use that for so many projects because Bernie used it for nearly all of her projects in the, in the last ad, didn't she? And also then this fabric here, this is the Macawa Linen Texture in Steel. You can buy this by the half metre. I've creased that under the table, I do apologise. You only need half a metre to do the back of one of these uh, cushions, if you're going to make a cushion out of it. Right, Sunrise Special. Here it is, very quickly. It's, oh, I've got questions on my iPad, I'll answer those in a second for you. So this, you get a 19-piece strip roll, beautiful. And you get this for free. You get this free. Now, if you uh, watch on Catch Up, you'll see Bernie demonstrating that at uh, nine o'clock this morning. Uh, it's flying out the door, so please be careful. Basically, you're paying for this and get paying for this and getting this for free. Get it right. This, this, this. Pay for this, get that for free. Right. Let's move on. Uh, we'll just go on with the hex pillow, but I've got it here. Did you say that you could get eight diamonds from each strip? If so, you could make two stars by inverting the colours. Yes. Oh, there you go. Who was that then? Somebody very clever there. Helen. So you could make two stars. Yes. 
Oh, some, uh, you're a mathematician, Helen. Uh, morning, John. So nice to have your cheerful banter for company while I'm working from home. Loving the de demos and very tempted by the offers. That's Teddy in Wimbledon. Teddy, tidy up your sewing room. Uh, does the glue pen leave any residue on the fabric, Louisa? Nope, I'd hate to use something that would sit there potentially damning the fabric in the long term. And then Caroline says, do, does Louisa have a book? <laughs> That's not, a random question, isn't it? Not yet. <laughs> not yet, not yet. <laughs> Working right. on it. <laughs> Let's do the hexi cushion then. Okay, so again, in the hexi cushion, you get a full length, a full width of fabric because right. it needs nine hexagons, not eight. Oh, I see. Which is annoying. But again, you can do a strippy binding if you but want But that means to. you have lots left over. Yeah, then. again, you get lots left over. You can't do quite do two cushions, unfortunately. No. <laughs> that one. But yeah, you could no, do No, but what you could do is you make a cushion and like a couple of coasters. You or could. a cushion and yes. something smaller to go in the same room. Yeah, you, really? definitely. Right, okay, on, so you again, you get your strip and you base them exactly the same way. Put a dab of glue on the end. The glue is, it's water washable. Oh, yes. Yeah, so let's answer that lady's question. But it so. is temporary holding dry as clear. So it comes on, this one goes on pink. Dry as clear. But if I show you, where's my... <laughs> Once you take the fabric, uh, the papers out, there really is no residue. Can you see that? There's yeah, really that no residue there. there at all. I can't feel anything. I can't see anything. What I think is important to stress is these are glues that have been specifically... When yeah. I first started doing the quilting and sewing luck, um, and people started putting glue on fabric, I was like, what are you doing? Because in my day, you just didn't do it. These are glues that have been specifically created for fabric. Don't go to the... Don't go to your local, you know, the shop I mean, and buy a thing. Don't do that. Don't buy one that's made for paper, because that will mark your fabric. Only buy one of these, or one that says specifically made for fabric, because that way it doesn't leave a residue. temporary as well. And it's temporary as well. It's not a permanent one. Yeah. Right, sorry, carry on. Okay, so again, we're just going to trim roughly quarter of an inch to half an inch all the way yeah, around. Roughly, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, to be honest, the more seam allowance you have, the more secure you're so well, going to be. You're that. not going to get When I frayed. did your cushion, I thought, oh, oh. I'm going to leave a bigger seam allowance, yes. right? Thinking because I'm new, I've not done it before. But actually, it got in the way, having yeah. too much seam well, allowance. Well, that's because you were curves. Oh, it's because it was curved. Because the end, because you would curve it around, and obviously you're creating a gather, aren't you? So that would probably get. Oh, that's why. She gave me the most difficult one to start with. Anyway, I did not. Um, I gave you an online tutorial to go with it, and I bet you didn't watch it. <laughs> yeah, where was that? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay, so again, run some glue along the paper, just in from the edge. Go all the way around. Dab some glue on that fold of fabric as well that you've done. So this, obviously, I do do on my little bit of skirting board. Yes. <laughs> the the other thing about the fabric glue pens is a lot of people use them for drunkard's pathway blocks. Mm. and they glue them rather and you can machine through the glue and it doesn't clag up your needle yeah okay so you've got a nice basted tight so when you are basting these actually push the fabric against the card as you're sticking them and holding them down so you just you do get a nice tight fold at the front yeah so do nine of each color none of these need to be fussy cut do they these are all just no no these are all random geometric prints um so this is created in rows that are staggered. Okay, so you've got all your different colours of the rainbow yeah. and they go up and down like so. And again, you can choose which order you put them in. You can you? completely, yeah. But rather than threading, sewing, cutting, threading, sewing, cutting, what we're going to do is you're going to go all in one go all the way along. So if you lay out your hexagons where you want them, now, in the instructions, do you want to show the instructions to this yes. one, actually? Because In the instructions... There's a um, little diagram of the sewing, how to piece them together with little arrows on it. There you go. OK, so when you sew these together, I'm going to sew... I'm going to start here, I'm going to sew that seam, and then I'm going to go along oh, the seam... Oh, hang on a sec. Can we just see what Louise is pointing at on her, her, her one? Sorry. OK, sorry. So nice. I'm going to sew along that line yeah and then I'm going to go along the back of the seam allowance in the running stitch like we did with the diamond along yeah. the top and then I'm going to sew down that seam do a running stitch along the back to get to there sew that seam and go all the way along until you've got one like that right okay so I'll show you that so as I said this is the traditional way 
So, knot in thread. Yeah, are you doing it with the right colour this time? I'm doing it with red this time, yeah. Um, secure in the seam allowance, like so. And then put two shapes together. Yeah, sorry, so the arrows on the instructions show you where to go up and down. Yes, yeah. Okay. So then now, oh, where's my thimble? So you didn't wear a thimble for the last... I did. Oh, I you did. did, you just didn't make a big thing of it. <laughs> Um, so now you're just going to go across the top, you're not going through the paper, you're just nipping the top of both pieces, folded pieces of fabric and this is a whip, traditional whip stitch. So you're just going to go up and over, like yeah. so. I mean you can do this with the diamonds as well, it's perfectly fine. You see I sometimes quite like to see the stitches because yeah. um, it shows it's handmade then, doesn't yeah. it? And I mean, actually, if you use the same colour cotton as the fabric, you're not going to see the stitches no, exactly. anyway. Did I use... Now, have you found... We should get Sarah's design team. You know your thimble, and you yeah. say you can never find where oh, to Oh, no, I've found them. them now. Oh, have you? I was going to say, you get Sarah's design I team to design them. I found yeah. No, I think a couple of customers put them on Facebook, and I found them. So, that's your first seam. Right. So, do bring up the loop, the stitch through the loop, just to secure it a couple of times. Oh, without getting a knot. Ah. Anyway, we're going to ignore the knot. Yeah. <laughs> and now you're going to sew. Where are we? So you want to attach that one. So you're just going to take, sew across the seam. Oh, allowance. like you did in the last one, like do a I running stitch the, through yeah. the seam allowance. Yeah. And then you can sew your next one, sew the seam to the next one, and so on. Okay, so put them together, sew them together. Oh. So you keep going. And so you've got your row of nine. Producer Laura's now got the hang of it. She's doing one while you're doing yours. Oh, cool. Okay, so now in the next row, it's yes. a bit different. So now oh. you're going to again. Oh, so you don't make you don't make mm. eight, one, two, three, four, five. You don't make eight rows. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the magic. Right. Okay, so this time. And again, this is where the arrows on the instructions help you as well. Yeah. So you're not going to sew it completely together. I really should need to go to the opticians. Okay. This time, you're going to sew that seam and that seam. So you're going to go all the way down that seam. And you're going so to do you connect. never knot off? Do you just keep going? Yeah. Oh, you knot off, I suppose, when you come to the end yeah. of your thread. The end of the row. Yeah, the end of the thread. So I'm going to sew that seam. So we're going to secure the thread and then you're going to sew the seam so this one actually this row doesn't involve any seam uh, running stitch in the seam allowance because yeah. you've got something to sew all the way along so and also because you've got one row and you can just scrunch up your papers the papers are soft enough to scrunch up and but sturdy enough not to tear <laughs> so you're going to go all the way along that seam Am I going too fast? And then when you get to the corner, oops, again, bring the thread through the loop just to secure it and knot it, but just don't break it, just knot it. So you just give it a bit of strength in the corner. Yeah. And then when you get, oh, then obviously when you get to that one, then you can fold that one over. So as I said, you can fold the card easily. So you put in those two together. So did you get that? So you're folding that over there and then you would sew that, oops, sew that seam. You, sh you shouldn't need any binding clips or anything because the shapes are small enough for you to be able to hold them together. Uh -huh. So you go all the way down there and again these are very close together, well mine aren't necessarily but they should be. Yeah, but it's, it's not a project you're going to sit at home and rush, is it? You're doing it because yeah. you love it, you know what I mean? So take yeah. your time and stitch little stitches. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. So you could do that one and then you then move on to the next hexed and, and connect that. But you're not going to sew down that one. You're just going to sew along there. Oh, hang on. Just go back to which one don't you sew down? So you don't sew down that one. Right. You're going to sew because your, your thread is here. Yeah. So where you've sewn those two seams, your thread is there, so you're just going to sew that seam. Oh, okay. 
okay yeah so you're going to sew that seam and then you're going to get to there and you're going to sew that seam. so all the uprights are left to start yeah. with then yeah so you're going to sew so you're going to attach all your hexagons all your next row of hexagons all along there right and then when you get to and then get to the end break thread and then you'll sew those that seam but can you fold it over yeah that's what I you weren't watching oh, sorry <laughs> So, yeah, so when you get to that, Blimey. you just fold them over. So you've, you're folding that one. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah? Yeah, got it. And then you unroll it. Yeah, I'm just thinking, though, that's fine when you've just got two rows. But when you've got all eight rows together. Yeah, well, you're so, you've got, so you, you're at the top. So it, oh, you've only I see, got, yeah, so it's all, the work's all down there and you're just working along the top line. Yeah, yeah got it. So, yeah, so connect, if I connect those two and then... You'll see what I mean. So that's the next row to connect. I'll now, could there. you, okay. I, I know it's not going with your design, but could you just do random coloured yeah. hexes? Of course you can. Because that'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? If you just did random, yeah. so you didn't have stripes, you just had a melange of rainbow colours. melange. Colours. I mean, the traditional way of doing hexagons is this, this grandma's, grandma's flower. flower. No, garden, grandma's garden. garden. So you do them in sevens. So you do a centre one and then, so if you wanted to, I don't know, yeah, you would probably have enough fabric, more than enough fabric to do something like that and then put them all together. But you must, you must, as long as you only do the amount of hexes that you've got designed, yeah, you get, you'll have enough fabric, won't you? Yeah. Well, you get 16 out of a strip. So 16 times 9 is... 90, 144, is it? I don't know. Well, you only need 80. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you need 72 for this one. Oh, there you go. So then, so yeah, so then you've connected that one. So you connect them all along and then you go and you'll sew that seam. Go in the running stitch in the back of that seam allowance to take you to that point. And then all, and then that one would be there. So you go in, sew that seam and then running stitch in that one. So you go all along and connect all your rows. So once they're all connected to each other, again, give it a good press, seam press. Um, with your iron and make sure you keep that nice sharp folded edge again and then take out your papers now the thing with this one is so obviously you've got your grey background fabric um, fold it in each way to get your centre point but when you've got the panel there isn't an obvious halfway point on this one so what you would do is you would fold the panel in half so fold that one up to here but not so you fold it in half basically <laughs> so i can't explain it without i should have made a panel but um so that one would obviously be higher than that one so you'd pull up you'd fold up that edge oh, so that edge there just to get a halfway line across right. your panel yeah and then you would put that on your halfway and then you'd fold them the other way and those points actually do meet up so you fold it that point to that point and get your halfway mark and then you put that down on your, sew it down as before with the slip stitch onto your background fabric. Okay, and tell me how you quilted it then. So quilting it. Obviously we're not going to do it today because no. you've not got a sewing so machine. So get your um, piece of wadding, tack that to the back, um, so with curved safety pins. And then what I did was, I love, my, fav my favourite way of machine quilting this is wavy lines. So... I do this with huge quilts as well as cushions and table runners and place mats and everything. So you, you start off at the top in the middle of your cushion or your quilt, off in the wadding, so you've got no ends to sew in or anything else. You're going to start off in the wadding and you're going to do a wave, gentle wavy line. So I use my walking foot. It's not anything free motion. It's nothing clever. It's just a simple walking foot. You're guiding it yourself. So you just do a gentle wave line all the way along to the bottom, go off into the wadding, cut thread, and then I pull it through back to the top again. So you're not having to turn anything around. You're not turning a big quilt around in the machine. You're not turning your cushion around. And you're just going to do wavy lines all the way down that half of your quilt. It's signature look, really, isn't it? Though? It is a bit, yes. And then once you've done that, so you only ever have half your cushion or quilt or whatever in the machine. Yeah. So you're doing all your lines and then you'll turn it round. And then you'll do the other half. Um, Annette says, I love Louise's designs. They're always so colourful. That's nice, is isn't it? Is that Annette? I, oh, bless her. Annette, yeah. And Caroline says, I'm looking very dapper. Do you mean fat? 
To be fat with long hair, is that what you mean? <laughs> and then, uh, John, uh, hi John, miss watching on the telly. Me and my kids listen to you as we work. What, school work? Don't be listening to me while you're doing your school work. Right, very quickly then, what back did you put okay, on the cushion? so I've got a... Oh, this is an envelope back. So that was quite easy. So half a metre of fabric. You, I think it was two 14-inch pieces. But you need them to be bigger than the finished yeah. thing to overlap. So they're two 14-inch, so two... 18 and a half by 14 inch pieces hem one edge of each and then just put them right overlapping um and uh, yeah i bag this one so yeah yeah so just, but what you could do is play put them wrong sides together and bind them couldn't you yes you could put right you, you, sides yeah. together and bind them would you put your no back? wrong, side wrong together. sides together. sorry right no no together. no that's yeah, right wrong sides together yeah. and then you, you could have your binding along the top or you could put a zip closing in so you've I hate got half a meter zip. only because you fall asleep and dribble <laughs> on it but i do a covered zip so you can't oh, all right see then i'll it. let you off then you can't catch your brilliant is there, any, is there any tip is there any like louisa tip that people if they've never done this before is there a louisa tip the glue that... pen i think is amazing um, I mean, you can happily thread based if you want. The papers that I use, though, are a bit thick. So you probably would have trouble getting... Oh, I mean, okay. that's fine. Yeah. But it might be hard on your wrists after a yeah, while. Yeah, because that's the old-fashioned... Yeah. I don't mean old-fashioned. Traditional, traditional way of doing it, where you fold the fabric over and you actually stab-stitch it through. So, <coughs> so when it's finished, you then have to take all your tacking stitches or, out. Or another way of doing it is just tacking so you put a pin through just to hold that onto the fabric and then tack just that corner. Oh, yes, So you're not I've going through that, the yes. paper. Yeah. So you can do that on hexagons where you've got short edges where you can just carry the thread along and you're Yeah, because if it was a bit any bigger piece, it yeah, would be, it might get... Baggy. And also, I'd be, yeah, be frankly going baggy, yeah. yeah. And also, do breast press your fabric. I would suggest, especially if you're doing curves, not so much on this, but if you are doing EPP, do best press your fabric because as you go round a curve, you do take mine bagged a little bit. My ones because I didn't do it properly. <laughs> Louisa, thank you so much. You're very welcome. It's nice um, to be back. <coughs> isn't it lovely to be back? Sorry, I'm <coughs> I'll just have a coughing fit. Uh, it, no, 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 don't worry. It's dry air. Uh, so uh, thanks you ever so much for coming in. Safe yeah, journey okay. home. Thank and, you. And uh, I'll see you. Put your mask on. And I'll see you very, very soon. Thank right. You. So let's have a recap of Louisa's hour, first of all. So the one she's just done, which is the Hexi. Now, why have you put Hexi with a Y? Is that like... Is with the IE oh, and X and Y. That's why my Scrabble won't accept it. Anyway, <laughs> it's hexi cushion. So in here, you get your hexi uh, cardboards, you get your instructions, you get your beautiful, beautiful, beautiful threads. And on this one, you get a full width of the fabric, and you get your uh, steel linen texture fabric from Macawa for the background. Um, all of that for twenty two pounds or twenty eight dollars. So let me. I've got to tidy up again. Right, Diamond Star still in the lead. Still in the lead still in the lead this one exactly the same except you get your diamond papers diamond cardboards uh, your fabric for your background your instructions now some of these you will only cut one diamond out of there so you've got lots of fabric left to make other bits and bobs and then you just reuse the cardboards to make yourself some coasters or an anti-macassar or something like that anti-macassar i only know that because i had to wash mine this week right Okay, that's £22 or $28. Next. Uh, oh, oh, okay, Christmas. I was going to do, finish Louise's, but let's do this one first then. So, Yuletide bundle, did you say? Yep, 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 yep. Right, here we go. So, this is a bundle we've done specially for you. £54, 10% off. 10% off. So, what you get in this bundle is you get the panel, Beautiful, beautiful panel. Now, the panel sold out on its own. Panel is sold out. The only way you can get that panel, we are trying to get more, but the only way you can get that panel is in this bundle now. And in the bundle, you get the panel, and then you get half a metre of each of these fabrics. So you get the turquoise, you get the cream holly traditional, you get that beautiful William Morris-esque mistletoe on cream, you get mistletoe on red, you get like that sc uh, scatter, on forest green you get scatter on the cream then this next one is just exquisite that looks so expensive doesn't it uh, half meter that half meter that right 
Oh, oh, right. The original stock has sold out. Sarah's smiling. A, a whole stock of this is sold out. We are now re. You can still order it. You can still, but it will be on a delayed delivery. How many dates? 22nd, Monday. Oh, hardly any time at all. Monday. Monday. Right. So that's the bundle. That's the one you can still buy it. 50, it's 10% off, you see. 10% off. And, and the, the new bundle will be 10% off as well. So don't worry about that. You're not missing out on anything. All of these fabrics are available by the half metre as well. Um, lots of you coming in for that one. They're all um, £6.50 for half a metre. Very, very popular. I don't suppose we have a, a, a favourite, do we? Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, that one. Oh, Scatter Cream. Scatter Cream is the most favourite. There you go. Anyway, so that's your bundle. And there are your fabrics that are available by the half metre. Just go to the website. They're all there. Fabulous pictures of them. Um, and then next, Advent Calendar. Now, you cannot buy... Oh, oh, so the, the bundle. The bundle one sold out, has it, as well, uh, of the original stock. We're on delayed stock on this one as well. It's not called delayed stock. What's it called? Delivery. Oh, delayed dispatch. There you go. Delayed dispatch. So in the bundle, you do get the panel and you do get 60 centimetres of the red star fabric. So that's a bundle, £14, $20. Uh, sold out, but you, you can still get it. You still order it. It'll just be on delayed dispatch. It's gorgeous. And you saw Bernie making a pocket for that earlier. Oh, it's very busy. Very busy. Right, let me put that away in that way. Then we move on to the stocking. This is one of the stockings that Bernie made. This is still available. Um, now, uh, uh, is that left-handed? It's a left-handed stock. I... Anyway, it's gorgeous. The panel is this. And this and this and this. There you go. So you get the panel and half a metre of the cream star fabric. Oh, the cream star fabric is what you can see on the back of here, on the back of there. So there's enough there to make either one stocking with two both sides patterned, or you can make two stockings with one side patterned and one side of your cream. There's fabric there to make your cuff and your tags. And then you also get the labels and the, the round coaster on that one as well. So, okay. So then now all of the projects you've seen, nearly every project you've seen this morning, Louisa's and most of Bernie's, you need some wadding. This is, this is a brilliant bag. This is 90 inches wide, this look. I can't even hold it out to. 90 inches wide, £7.99 or $11.99. Get that and then you can do all the projects. You do Louisa's projects, you do Bernie's projects. You can do everything, can't you? And, and have it in your stash. It's always handy to have things like this in your stash. Just a little bit, just when you need to do a, a cushion back or something like that, or you want to quilt a little project or a tote bag or something like that. Right, the grey fabric that Louisa used... Can you tell I'm tidying up as I'm going along? Uh, the grey fabric, oh, I'm not going to open this one because I've creased it. This is Macawa linen texture in steel. Uh, 5 99 for half a metre. Obviously, if you want 10 metres, you can have 10 metres. And it'll come, it doesn't come in half metre pieces. We cut it to what you order. So don't be thinking, oh, I don't want 10 half metres. You order it by half metre increments, but it comes joined together. Okay, that's that. Then, the which one? Oh, a free gift, free gift, free gift, free gift. Everybody who buys something, while stocks last, because we're like, there are so many people in today. While stocks last, you will all get this free gift. Anybody who buys anything, not just from my show, anything today, um, this is our, we have a free gift every day, a Christmas gift. It's a quilt as you go, uh, mug cosy. I know, it's fantastic. It's absolutely brilliant. Right, everything else that you've seen is all on the website. Now, it's 11 o'clock, can you believe it already? This is where we go from John Scott Sewing World into the softer side. So straight after this little sting, you'll be seeing Sarah. <laughs>
Now, this is brilliant. If you're into crochet, fantastic little kit. If you know someone else who's getting into crochet, brilliant present to give to them. I've been leaving these on the doorsteps for some of our neighbours, you know. Uh, little crochet kits or embroidery kits. I've been getting my mother-in-law and everybody into them. Uh, then we've got uh, one of our quilting stencils. You get one of our quilting stencils to try in the kit. Uh, we give you a couple of packs of the bobbin holders so that you've got some nice bobbin holders on there to work with. We've included one of our amazing DVDs. Now, Lizzie is our resident sewing expert. She's done a whole DVD with worth of projects in here uh, and just for good measure we've popped you in you know that lovely uh you know the, the free gift that you're getting today john everybody's loving well in that collection we also do this amazing so this is your mug rug so you're getting the mug cozy as your free gift the matching mug rug complete kit wonderful little gift i mean to be honest I know you're all going for this kit just to get the actual sewing box itself. Well, there's a £10 DVD. There's a £15 mug gift kit. There's, a, there's another £10 crochet kit. Some bobbin hooks which never come in wrong. Honestly, it is a fantastic deal. This is how we roll down here, John, you see. We just give the stuff away. It's fantastic. I can't believe it. I'm just standing here with my gobs hitting the floor. Can I, there can't be anything else in that bag, surely. Yeah, it's an, it's an awesome day. Listen, I'm going to bundle it all back up, John, and I'm going to send it over your side because I need to get ready for my first demonstration. Yeah, exactly. So I need, just need to quickly recap uh, today's, as, as I was just saying, today's free gift. Today's free gift. Now, anybody, <coughs> excuse me, who buys anything today will just, while stocks last, will automatically get this. Now, if you don't want it, what a brilliant Christmas present. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to cough a bit. What a brilliant, it's completely free for everybody who buys something today. I've also just got to quickly recap today's Sunrise Special. Today's Sunrise Special is here. Now, this is absolutely flying out. What it is, is a 19-piece strip roll, right? And which would normally cost you $17.99 or $17.95. You get the ruler completely and utterly for free, right? Now, if you watch the nine o'clock show, Bernie did a lovely demonstration. It was supposed to be a quick demonstration. It went on for about four hours, but there you go. Uh, she's giggling beside me. So that, 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 that is $17.99. That is today's Sunrise Special. More than half the stock has gone. And we have lots of Sunrise Specials, as you know, because we've been doing them every week. I've been doing them from my dining room, haven't I, for the last 12 weeks. Very, very, very popular. Now, what Sarah's getting ready to show you is face masks, right? We all know, we've all got ours, we've all got ours, mine's here, Bernie's got hers on there, Sarah's got on hers, hers on down there. We all know what it's like, because you, you have to, if you go on public transport now, in England, it's compulsory to wear a, uh, they don't call them masks, they face covering, don't they, face covering. There's <laughs> wearing hers. Right, so what we've got here, we've got four different panels for you to make your own mask. Now, we've got two different versions. We've got the curved version, and we've got the straight version with the pleats on it, like this, right? Now, I've got four panels. You can choose from four panels. This is such good value, I can't tell you. It's 16 pounds or $20, right? Now, go to the website, have a look at this. So this first one is called, oh, I don't know if it's got a name, actually. It's the but pink. It's just called pink, is it? That's the pink one that makes the, the pleated ones. So, but yeah, so the, the full squares there are the pink ones that make the pleated ones. So now you get your kit, you get your panel, all those gorgeous... Now remember, do two different colours either side, if you can. So there's that one, and then in that you also get your elastic and your instructions. Right? So that's the pink square one. That's the pink square face covering one. Right, now the other square covering one is this one. It's blue. I've got it. Oh, I've got it now. I've got it now. Pink and blue. Right. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Oh, I love... You see, now, I love that, that pattern and I love that pattern and I love that rainbow pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? So you get enough in there to do your masks. Right? Six face mask or face coverings you get your elastic and you get your instructions so that's if you want to do the, the rectangular pleated ones right if you want to do the curved ones then these are the curved ones here this is oh. again the same fab oh come on John one job there we go there you go. got there eventually I do apologize it's the first day back it's been a long time 
All I've done for 12 weeks is eat cake and drink coffee. So anyway, so £16. You can make all those much. You get the elastic and the instructions. That's for the curved shape. That one's for the curved shape. And then we've got the other curved shape one here. So that's the curved shape in blue. But well, it's blue in purple, isn't it? Maybe that one. And then we've also got the curved shape. Oh, nice. Oh, lovely. There you go. Now, when Zara, you did these a couple of weeks ago, didn't you, Zara? And we they did, John. absolutely flew out, didn't It was they? crazy. I hadn't even finished my demonstration and you had bought up every last scrap of stock of what we had. So I went through the whole collection with Fabi's and I chose what I thought... Well, no, never mind what I thought. I picked my favourite designs. So I picked my favourite. So I love the pink collection and the blue. They've all got a beautiful rainbow on them if you're wanting to do something very of the moment. But some beautiful floral designs. And then this time, whereas the packs we had on before, they'd printed five panels on, they've reworked them to fit six of the masks on the panel. So you're going to be able to make six masks for either £16 or $20. I will warn you, just from the preview John did earlier this morning, you guys are going bananas for these. I'm going to see start off with the square design i'm going to tell you how your favorite i found out has been the round blue one would you believe it john i thought the, the pink round one would be, i thought the pink one would have gone first so the round one in the blue is the favorite uh but this is so this is the round version that you say now this is the one that i've been wearing uh how cute is this design so this was one of the patterns that we had last time they've all got this printing on the back see i made my dad one at the weekend uh, and he won't wear it with all the printed pattern he just wants this um you see mine's got all my makeup on uh, Actually, he's my dad here. So I told him, this is how you're supposed to wear it, Dad, with your big rainbow on the outside. And he went to the doctor. He was going this morning. He said, I'm not wearing it like that, kid. I'm wearing mine with the inside bit. Uh, but literally, I knocked that up. They're, they're about a seven or eight minute make, John. Well, you see, I'm about to do them anyway. So the kits either do the rounded ones, which, as John was showing you, is this sort of shape, like you've just seen my dad uh, sporting, or we have the square shape. Now, the square, I find the most comfortable to wear. And what I found is you can put the pleats. I'm, I'm about to demonstrate this one. I actually did them for the kids at the weekend, John. Well, actually, I got the kids involved doing them for the kids. Uh, and I put more pleats in. So can you see? This is the size that the kit makes as, as standard. I made this one. This is our Charlie, so it's quite a bit smaller. This is Oliver's, so it's a little bit bigger than Charlie's, but still not quite as big. And you see, they cup right round their faces really, really comfortably. And of course, because you're making them, I was able to adjust them any size. In fact, I didn't, I didn't make them, you know, John. Oh, our no. Oliver, my six-year-old, have a look at this. There oh. we go. He sits on my knee and he does the foot pedal himself. That's the most exciting bit for him. Yeah. Uh, and we sat and made, that was him making this exact mask. Uh, just at the weekend, he made one. He helped me make the one for his granda. Uh, we, we made one for Auntie Helen. And then, of course, my three-year-old also wanted to have a go. Slightly more challenging, but uh, it, was a, <laughs> it was quite a nice family affair. And do you know what? I put that on my Instagram, and all of my friends, a lot of which who don't sew, have all been saying, can you get me a kit? Can you get, I can do this without sewing, so we can do it. If you've got a sewing machine at home, or you know someone who has a sewing machine, these kits are going to be perfect for them. Here we go. Oh, there's old Charlie, look. Yeah, I have to do the foot pedal for Charlie. He just likes the idea that he's working the machine. That's the Hulk there making that uh, They making look that very mask. alike, don't they? Do they? Oh, they are. They're the, they're the double of the dad. <laughs> 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 right, should I get this out and should we start getting cracked on, John? Yeah, go for it. Right, so I was going to do, I was going to do the square one because I want to show you that one. I'll hopefully get a chance to do both of them. But if I just show you in the kit, John, for anybody who's, I know you have a lot of advanced sores, tune in for a lot of your shows. I've had loads of newbies who've been coming on a bit of a journey with us, yeah. who are just getting into sewing. Um, so these are brilliant no matter what your level. If you're an advanced sewer, you probably already know how to make masks, but do you know what, what absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous patterns. The thing is though, people are making them for the whole family. So you know what I mean? Yes. They're making tens and twenties and thirties of them and it's the cutting out that takes the time or finding the fabric stash that's taking the time. These are just perfect, aren't they? Well, that's exactly. Sarah, she's, Sarah, she's chopping this one out. Uh, so all I'm doing, John, is I'm just cutting. Literally, I am. I, there's no pre-preparation here. I am taking this exactly as you open the kit. So all I've done, I've cut right to the end. 
Uh, oh, make sure I don't cut my kit. And you see, so this is the outside and the inside. Yeah. I'm saying the outside and the inside. I like to think of them, John, as being reversible face Well, exactly. Masks. Once you've washed them, the only reason they have different sides is it's if you've had one on and you take it off and then you put it back on again, yep. you need to know that you're putting the dirty side on the outside, don't you? Whereas this one, once you've washed them, you can wear it either way around, don't you? Well, to be honest, it, that's why it's handy having so many in the kit. I have, um, I have three in my, uh, in my pockets, in my handbag. Yeah. And I just come home and we pretty much put in the washer on every night in our house because the kids are at school now. So they have to have their, their clothes um, wash every night as soon as they come in. Yeah. So we're basically just sticking a wash through the wash every night. So I'm just washing all three and then I don't have to try and remember. And you yes. don't mind when you've made them. And I like the thought of being out and about and people often say to me, oh, that's lovely where did you get that from yeah. well i made it <laughs> so uh right there's my there's my front and my back now those of you who will be familiar with the design have probably uh you know watched loads of tutorials and then it's a case of measuring next well none of us like measuring john no. um, you don't have to measure with these because they put all the measurements on for you so can you see down the side they've got all these little markings yeah all you're going to do is you're going to fold those two markings so you're joining the two pointed bits together so can you see if you've got those two pointed bits joined together i've been joining them and then using our quilting clips to just hold that in place so i'll show you on the other side and um, the two pointy bits here you're just folding them together to join the two points and then all i'm going to do is hold the hold it in place and then you see when you stretch that out you can come straight in and just give that a bit of an iron and it just means all of that measuring all of the thinking is taken care of so now i can just take these clips out you see and it's ironed the seam in exactly the right place and i'm going to do the same with the next bit again so you've got the next pointers and again i'm just going to fold them together and then give them a little iron so easy john it looks it, yeah. I just because uh, when I make mine, I sew the two bits together and then pleat it. But you're pleating yours separately, are you? Yes. So this is how it comes in the instructions. Yeah. I mean, you can, yeah. To be honest, though, you can adjust them however. You, oh however no, no, you no. It's interesting. It's a different. It's, it's a different way. That's all. Well, it's just nice because I'd never made them before. So I know a lot of people were. Yeah. I mean, there was a huge hunt for elastic at first. Oh, wasn't there? Tell Everybody me about was it, just yeah. trying to get elastic. And um, I quite like these kits because I like the idea that. Um, you know, just someone's done all of the thinking and they've matched up the backing fabric to the front. So you see, there's all my pleats in. Just realised I've got this one slightly off kilter, but I think it'll still it'll still work to give us the idea. And then this one in here folds up from the bottom and yeah. you're going to give that a, that, that a nice iron too. So we're going to leave the bottom open, but we've got all those bits folded. Now I'm just going to do exactly the same with the second panel, John. Right. I don't know, as long as everybody can half see what I'm doing, if you kind of need to remind them of the designs. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Uh, which one's the most popular still then? Blue round, still the most popular. Oh, you see, now, how many of these do we have? Hundreds. Half the stock of this has gone. Half the stock of the blue rounds have gone. There it is. So you get the instructions, you get the panel, and you get the elastic. I'll just quickly show you the blue one. I love that we can just see your little floating oh, there head in the box. In the 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 We've box, got yeah. John's floating head and all the patterns. Yes, I'll tell you what, we're good here, John, mind. <laughs> so that's the, that's the blue uh, round one. Then I'll do the pink round one. These are lovely, these. There you go. There's the pink round ones. It's so wide. Look, I have to go, I have to sway for you to see all the different colours there. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Beautiful. So you get, again, you get the instructions, the elastic, which is almost impossible to get at the moment. Um, that one goes in there. Then the square ones, or the rectangular ones, I've got the blue, no. We've got the pink first. <laughs> we should, I, feel like, I feel a song coming on, John. Oh no, you don't want me singing, I tell you now. <laughs> Okay, so that's that one. And then last but not least, I've got the blue rectangular one. Brilliant. Now, I'll just say very quickly that, you know, I, I, oh, oh, I have, to, I have to also tell you, I don't know if Sarah knows this, I had another delivery of, of scrubs bags from you, <coughs> not last week, the week, week before. So that means your ladies, Sarah, that watch you, sent me nearly yes. a thousand scrubs bags. So we wow. thank you so much for all of those. 
Um, and then, so we, so we did the scrubs bags, we did the scrub hats, we did the headbands, and then we all kind of, it's kind of gone a bit quiet in the scrubs front now, but what everyone needs really is uh, face masks. And I work with a charity called Well Child, uh, and they're a na national charity, and they're, it's a, a charity for very, very poorly children. And um, they need adult masks. They need adult masks uh, mm -hmm. for the visitors, for the parents to wear when they come to visit the children. And it's such a brilliant cause, and they're desperate for masks. So if you do make any, either send them to me at my PO box number or send them to Sarah, and we'll make sure that Well Child get them. Oh, anyway, that would back be to the, lovely, to John. Do you know, I must admit, I set to wait the weekend, and I made one for everybody. You know, my dad asked for one, my sister asked for one, and then I was just kind of in my own little groove, so I just kept making. Yeah. Mind, I must admit, since then, I've had quite a few of my friends' messages, so I've given all away all the ones that I've made, yeah. but still, I think it's really, it's really lovely once you get going. Now... I've just cut my fabric. I've cut mine to seven inches. Seven inches seems to be a nice length for me. So I've just popped them on there. So I've got it facing upwards, put the, uh, s put the seven inches on the side, and then I'm going to do exactly the same here. Right. So I'm going to put them f again face down, and I'm just going to make sure where out, because I don't like to pin, John. No. You learn this with I've me. Been I've <laughs> been watching. I've been watching. Yes. Well, the, the thing is, it the... It's the joys of live television, isn't it? We have to do everything just that little bit faster. Yes. And so I've learned using these clips instead, I can speed everything up by at least 20%. I, uh, the thing is, I had those clips as my Sunrise Special a couple of weeks ago. And I boy, know. Oh boy, did they fly out. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> on, we've got them on the website. So if anybody's looking and thinking, what on earth is this that she's using? Uh, we do have these on the website if you want to go. Oh, they're a must. Whether up. you do quilting, dressmaking, bag making, anything really. But I bet Bernie uses them all. Don't you weren't use them all the time? She's not, didn't you? Right. So Kenny says, I've got all that stitched together. And all I'm going to do is literally go right around the outside now. Now, I like to sew. If I go this way, I'll be sewing over top of the pleats. So I'm literally going to take it to the machine, John. Yeah. Uh, right. I'll, 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 you're going to have this learning with me, OK? I'm really, really good at talking. Really good. I'm not really, really, really good at talking and doing anything at the same time. So, so you know how you, everyone thinks it's marvellous when I start actually doing some crafting because I shut up. So if you wonder what happens to me any second now, John, it's because I've started concentrating on me. So You're only doing straight lines. Yeah, my husband thinks it's wonderful. He's, he's had the most peaceful three months of his life because I've, uh, I've been doing so much crafting. I've been so quiet. thinks it's marvellous. <laughs> so where are, you, where are you stitching then? I know you can't talk until you sit down the sides I'm eh, where the pleats stitching are. straight down the sides I am following the line that is on there oh so the seam allowance is all oh yeah the seam oh, allowance is drawn on for you it is all built in for you and I like to just give it a little bit of a little bit of a back go there yeah. and actually if you're a little bit like me John and you're not quite I'm not like I said I'm not a, a particularly advanced sewist yeah. so I just give myself a little bit of leeway and so if you look I'm stitching just just a tiny little bit off to the side of the line just to allow for anything going wrong because it's one of those projects again if you're a complete beginner and you're just getting into this just make sure I don't catch my elastic here uh, it doesn't doesn't matter if you go slightly in because the measurements don't have to be perfect exactly it's just do you know what we should do when this is all this. over you could do the talking and i'll do the sewing we'll stand next to each other <laughs> and you can talk and i'll sew do, are you like me do you go quiet as well when you're doing it yeah oh i, yeah, I stick yeah. my tongue out i can't talk and stick i do concentrating power like that <laughs> Yeah, look, I mean, I've warned them to within an inch of their lives uh, in the gallery. If they get any shots of me with the tongue coming out, uh, people will be getting sacked. Oh, oh. So, uh, yeah, so there's no, trust me, there's no <laughs> chance of any of that. Um, right, so can you see, we've got, I've gone all the way around the outside, and then I like to literally just trim off those corners, and then it's as simple as we're done. So this just folds in back inside the other way. You can see there that we've caught into those edges and the whole thing just folds up perfectly. Now, it's up to you where you want to take it from here. Oh, at the weekend, I was getting carried away and I was doing a nice bit of top stitching around these. I was doing a bit of stitching around the bottom. I tell you what I do like to do and I'll have to show you this, right? So when I've made them, if I'm doing them for myself, okay, I like to put them on. I'm trying so hard not to knock my earpiece out and also uh, not get lipstick all over it. But I like to put them on and then can you see they're a little bit baggy around here. So what I like to do is just take, like I'll, I'll just shape it in there like that. 
So you oh, can just customize it fitting. Holding. Yeah, you see. Oh. Fit it to size. And then the same around the other side, so you can just get it on. This is a really nice, snug, comfy fit, this one. And you can just, again, clip it around the back if you want. And then once you know where you're doing... Oh, look, we've got lipstick all over it already. Um, but once you know where you're clipping it, you can literally come and just sew down an extra little piece. So I can sew down there. And now this is perfectly custom fitted to my face. How brilliant, because a lot of them do, they, they have got, they're a bit baggy at the sides, aren't they? They are, like aren't that. they? Yeah, and then, and then uncomfortable. This is what I've found with a lot of them, John. They've just felt a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. Whereas this way, because you're making them, you are literally custom fitting them to whoever needs it. And it just, it's so much nice. Like I said, the ones that, like, so that's now custom fitted, perfect to my face. That is going to be just ideal for me. Or the ones that I did for the kids, you can see I did a little bit of top stitching when they've gone to bed. Um, but they are perfectly fitted with the extra pleats to go around my kids' uh, So have they gone to school heads. without their masks today then? They're not allowed to wear masks to go into school. But we have to have masks. You know, like I, I took out Charlie for his um, his immunisations the other day. Have oh. a look at how cute they look with their little masks on. They look gorgeous, look. Oh, they're so canny, aren't they? So that is the um, that is the first oh. one. Oh, he's our Oliver. Look, at, look at this. <laughs> so that is the first one. That is the square style. But bear in mind, you've got the choice of either the square one or the rounded one. And the rounded one, I mean, you can show them the kit that you've got at your end. It's actually even, well, I, I, they're both as easy as each other. So with the rounded ones, you've just got a little bit more cutting out to start with. You join the middle panels, and then you put right sides together and stitch around the end, just like we've done there. Right. So there's the whole panel there. So, but again, it comes with full instructions, doesn't it? So it's, it's yep. easy, easy, easy to follow. Do you know what you could do? You could do multi. You could do, you don't need to put those two together. You could put like one with writing, with one with flowers. You know what I mean? You could. Now, I need to warn you, these are all absolutely flying out the door. I think you've got it back to front. I've got it back to front. <laughs> it's nice for you to be well, able to so see lovely. it. They're ever so lovely on this. I was looking at <laughs> the patterns myself. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? All this different flowers. What I'm saying is, you could you could mix and match the colours, couldn't you as well? Right. That's still the favourite. The blue round one is still the favourite. How much the stock? Oh, blimey, half the stock's gone. Half the right. Stock if that hasn't flowers. sold out by the end of the show, John, I'll come back and do another demo on the round ones. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, you're not going to do the round out. ones then. I, I'll get. I'll get. Oh, I, I like to mix and match about. Oh, okay. So then. we'll we'll do we'll do a bit of this now, and then we'll come back. To okay, the, then that's fine. Shall I shall later? I recap the four different bundles then? Go on, uh, yeah. The four different ones while Sarah gets ready for her next uh, kind of demonstration. So I'll do the blue. Oh, you've just seen it, but I'll just do it again because I, I was holding it towards me most of the time. There's the blue round one, which is the most popular, which is rather gorgeous. Right. Then we've also got, and you get the elastic. You do get the elastic with it. Enough to make the six masks and oh, face Lord's coverings. Fair. There's Lord's loads spare. I can see that. There's yeah. loads there. Then this is the other round one in the pink, which I rather like. Quarter of the stock of that one's gone. These will all go. These will all go. I think you're all sitting there watching Sarah's demonstration. And now you'll all start popping them in your basket. And then you've got the, the elastic and the instructions in that one. Then the square ones, which Sarah just demonstrated, are these ones here. So I've got the... Um, that one pink or blue? That one's blue, I think, that one. That's the blue one. Thing is, they've all got blue and pink and all sorts of colours on them, haven't they? Quarter of the stock of that one's gone. Oh, sorry. Sorry, there you go. And then the last but not least is the square pink one. No. Oh, I thought more of these had gone. Right, come on. Come on. Oh, we had more of these. We had more of these than the others. But come on now, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one to get. Oh, I choose this one. This is the one I choose. Look. Isn't that? Because I don't like the curved. Uh, it's all personal taste, isn't it? I don't really like the curved uh, ones. I like the, the square ones with the pleats in that Sarah's just done. But look at those gorgeous fabrics. I'm going to have to have one of those. I think I'll get Bernie to make me one of those before she goes home today. With the elastic and everything like that. Um, £16, they are, or $20. Don't forget, everybody who buys something today gets a free gift. Oh, no. There it is. Uh, it's a different gift every day. This is just while stocks last. 
Um, you don't look at you don't need to look at any graphics or anything like that because if you buy anything today you will automatically get this in because it's christmas christmas are you doing a christmas month is it a month or two just weeks just two weeks oh just two weeks just two weeks of christmas i'm sure i've got more than two weeks of christmas fabrics on my shows but who knows we'll carry on but anyway uh free completely and utterly for free right now the next thing you've got to do this the what what oh no this this is just the most amazing deal. Now, I've not seen it in this colorway before. Sarah's got a Gemini machine, but I don't know how she does it, right? The freebies that you get in this kit. Now, it's $209.96, right? You, well, right, you'd pay that just for the Gemini cutting machine itself, right? Everything else you see is completely free. It's the purple one, and it is gorgeous. Have you got it ready, Sarah? I've got it ready. What we'll try and do is show you a picture, because, yes, I'm using the purple Gemini, but what you get is the Gemini with, have a look at this on the side, the Caddy, John. Oh, How wow. Fabulous. Now, that Caddy holds all of your tools. So all of your, your scissors, your cutting tools, your plates go down the side. They are so limited in stock, by the way, we couldn't even get one of these in the studio. So I was going to say, I was wondering where mine was. No, I've got mine in the white. So I've got the regular white one, but we have a limited quantity, which is why we've put them as an exclusive on oh. this show. So here is the caddy. Can you see mine's literally full of all my tools here? Yeah. It just goes, if I just pop it underneath, your little feet of your Gemini stick in there. And then you see your plates go down the side here. Oh, so it holds your plates. It holds all your tools. It's got all your bits. So what you're paying for today is the Gemini and the little tool caddy on the side. Right. For free, you are getting those extra three sets of dies. So again, I'll show you the picture again. Yeah. You can see there's three. So there's the diamonds, there's the triangles, and there's the hexes on here. Now, to give you a little bit of an idea of what you're going to be doing with some of these, John, okay? I've got some lovely little projects here. So here we go. With your, you imagine there, he's those diamonds. So you know the project that we've seen Louisa doing this morning? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you couldn't be bothered to sit and hand cut out all of your diamonds you can sit and cut them all out in the gemini eight at a time <gasps> eight eight in one pass uh, then also of course with your hexes again we've picked the shapes that are perfect for english paper piecing as well mm. so if you want to do your very simple paper piecing uh, you've got those beautiful shapes in there to be able to do that with uh, and then we've also got where's my little one under, oh it's another hexy one here so i haven't i thought i had one of my triangle ones as well but basically you get the hexes, the triangles, and they all come. You get loads of sizes at once. So can you see, you get all of these. So within the triangles, these aren't the triangles, clearly, these are the diamonds. Yeah. Within the di <laughs> diamonds, you get all of the sizes. So if you were doing it, for example, with English paper piecing, you would pick the bottom two, you would use this to cut all of your papers, this to cut all of your fabrics, and then you've got the perfect little, little seam allowance to go around or the next size up, you know, if you wanted to cut all of your papers out of this, you then cut all of your fabrics out of the next level up there as well. Oh, so it cuts paperwork as well as as well as fabric you for quilts. You can cut paper as well as fabrics as well. All of this. I'm going to show you it all. Brilliant. What I am going to do though, John, yeah. is the reason I really wanted to share with you, and um, I wanted the Gemini on today on such a fantastic deal, is because we're going to do a bit of quilting. Oh. We're going to do quilting the Sarah way, which is called for the quick and easy way, right? <laughs> so I've absolutely loved, I got into patchwork about two years ago, and I absolutely love patchworking. I absolutely hate all the cutting out that you do, first of all, to do the patchworking. So if I just show you, let me just get my little tool caddy off the bottom here so I get a little bit more space here. If I show you this quilt, this epitomises for me my quilting journey, right? all of these different uh, blocks. So you can see all the different styles of blocks that we've got, and they're all made up of squares, half square triangles, and quarter square triangles, all just into different patterns. Now it's the cutting of the squares, the half square triangles, and the quarter square triangles, Accurately, because that's where I learned I went wrong, John. Yes. Uh, as you've noticed, Mrs. No Pins here, I'm a little bit slapdash with everything. And uh, you can't be slapdash with patchworking. No, you, it's, I was surprised when price. I first started how, about the precision, how oh. precise you have to be. And this machine is going to make sure. It's going to make sure Because also, if you think about it, you've got to yep. cut out 400 strips in an afternoon. By the time you get to 200 and something, you're either bored or your wrist is hurting so much. Whereas this, 
the machine will do all of that for you and then you can spend all the time doing the bit you love the most, the sewing. The fun bit, you see. Now you're talking my language. Yeah. We'll come back to that quilt in a little bit as I kind of reference it for you. Let me show you though, this is our builder block system. This is, if you do any quilting, this is absolutely genius. Now, it's 99 pounds on its own. Today, if you buy this, we're going to give you an extra bonus set of our wedding ring. So I think you've got the wedding rings over your side, John. Um, so I, oh, we'll, we'll try and find I haven't, haven't got them yet. We'll find out. We'll, we'll show you a nice picture of them. Yep. What we'll, oh, let's have a look. My Magic Hands Mac Cam is about to pass it in. Here we go. This is the wedding ring set, okay? So can you see, I'm going to walk you through the different dies that are in here. But if you buy this today, you are going to get this one for free. Now, I would not dream of cutting these out by hand, John. I well, mean, can I, can I tell you, that I've done this quilt a few times with, with other quilters and everything like that. And it's the cutting out that takes the time. Mm -hmm. And then the match. And because you've got precision cut, if you look at all those different colours that all join together, if you don't cut them precisely, then your quilt, that's your quilt done for. It goes all wonky and all off the way. This way, every piece you cut, you know, is going to fit together exactly. See, a lot of people wouldn't do a wedding, a wedding ring quilt until they were really, really, really well established. This way, you can do it even if you're just starting on your quilting journey because it cuts everything exactly. Now, this, this little bundle we put together is people who've already got their Gemini machine and they just want the builder block and the, the free. Oh, well, Sarah's got it there. Look how beautiful it is. I mean, th this one here, literally every one of these curves cut to within a fraction of a millimetre of precision. And then all you're doing is joining them together as little yeah. blocks. I'm going to start with the basics instead of going way advanced. But then if we get a chance, I'll get the wedding ring on and I'll show you how we cut the... It's exactly the same technique, OK? But uh, yeah, it's, it's when you see this that you start and think... Oh, yes, I could totally, I could totally see myself doing that. Right, are you ready? Have you seen our build a block system before, John? I have once. Oh. I did it, do it with you, Bernie. I did it with Bernie. Oh. Yeah, when I won the very, well, very first shows. This is everything that's in the box. If I open it up, though, it's like a nice little, it's a system, it's a set of drawers on its own. So you see every one of these drawers, when I open it up, if I take my booklet out first, you can see here that you've got all of the different sizes and they relate to the dies that are underneath okay so you've got this is your if I show you on the front this is your quarter square triangle you've got the same with your half square triangles when we take them out you've got all your half square triangles now you see as a non quilter I didn't understand the difference because they look the same to me until I tried to stitch them together and I now realize why you need half square triangles and quarter square triangles all worked out for you and then you've got all of your squares as well now can you see on the side here John here's an example of just some of the quilt that you can do just some of them and if I show you in the booklet it'll take I mean look it's a pretty comprehensive big booklet but if you're just getting started it's brilliant you can see all of the different uh, ones that you might want to do so there I, I do like a good shoe fly do you know which one my favorite <laughs> is I really I love doing the card trick I do that one all the time. And what I love is it breaks it down to show you what you need and then tells you how many of each of what you need. So how many half square, quarter square triangles and everything that you need. It's the same for every single one of these blocks. So should we start with a, um, should we start with a nice simple one? Right. So, so has that booklet got all of those from the side of the box in it? Or is there somewhere else you can go? So, yes, thank you. So the booklet is like your starter point, which has the first, let's have a look how many has it got in, the first 15, 20, oh, we're right up to 50 blocks and double links. Uh, yeah, so it's got the first 20 in. Right. These other, there's another 80 odd on the website. And you'll be excited to know oh. we keep releasing new ones. So we've had a new one designed especially for you today, John. Oh, yes. Because it's Christmas, we've done we, the royal we. Bernie, Bernie has designed a gorgeous Christmas festive wreath. Actually, should we do the festive wreath one instead of me doing one of the easy ones from the booklet? Because it's exactly the same as every one of the techniques in the booklet, okay? So, uh, do you want me to show you how to find on the website before we kind of get to it? So, if you want the extras on the website, pop to the website there, right? Then all you're going to do is you're going to go to, uh, can you see, in the how-tos. So when we get in the how-tos, we've got all projects and guides. So we click on the all projects and guides, 
And look, so there's the new oh, there's one. there's Bernie's already. Out. There you go. We've got some tutorials from Jenny Raymond on there. Uh, and all you do is you click onto it and then it'll just let you print it out to follow it through. But we've got loads of different ones on there, John. There's, there's, like you said, there's the whole set. But what you'll find is most of the quilt patterns that you follow will say to you, you need half square or quarter inch, half square or quarter square triangles, just in a different size. Now, every block that you do, look at this, you can do it as a three inch block, a four inch, a six, an eight, a nine, or a 12. I do all mine as 12s because they're nice and big and a little bit easier for the camera to see. So I'm going to do a 12 inch today. But you'll see on each one of these blocks, if I take you to the instruction booklet, if I want to do, for example, this one here, roll of the dice, it tells me if I want to do this as a 12 inch, here's the sizes I need, for an eight inch, or for a six inch, it'll tell you exactly what sizes that you need and you can see what colours that you're going to do everything in, okay? Now, if I take this off, so let's do Bernie's lovely new festive wreath. So here so it Bernie's, is. So Bernie's, you can do any size you like then, can you? Can you do uh, Bernie's any size? Yes, you can do size? it. You could do it in three, four, six, that, eight, nine and right. twelve. The instructions she's put on are for the twelve, but then you can adjust it down if you wanted to do it, like just take, if you want to do it for the six, you just do the half But wouldn't that make one. a fabulous Christmas quilt with all different size wreaths? Nice. all on it for your Christmas oh, wall and everything. You have a big one in the, the middle and then you could do like a medallion quilt with all the different sizes going out from there. It'd be beautiful. Nice. Right, so here we go. So, to create a 12 and a half inch block cut so that's ready for you to piece onto your next project, it's going to come out 12 and a half square. You need four cream, four and a half half square triangles. So what we do is we come to the half square triangle one and you, you need the four and a half inch so we look down here and I can see the four and a half inch is this size here. So you lift your guide out and you're going to take your four and a half inch, right? Uh, then I need quarter square triangles. So I come to the quarter square triangle set, pull this box out and I need four and a half inch quarter square triangles. So here's my four and a half inch up here. You just lift the guide out and take your four and a half inch quarter square triangles. Uh, then I need 10 green of the same size. I need two red of the same size and I need one cream four and a half inch square. So I come to the square and I get to my, let's have a look, four and a half inches, the second size one up and it's going to cut me the exact right size. Now you don't need to worry what size these actually are or what size or, or the seam allowance. We've built in your standard quilting half an inch seam allowance and they're all built into everything. So as long as you follow the cutting marks, you're going to get all of those sizes cut out. So let's have a look. For, I've, got, I've got some of my fabrics here. So I've got a little bit of the, uh, oh, it's these Macau fabrics, John. Aren't oh they my life, they are. Beautiful. I saw them for the first time this weekend when I was getting this project ready. I can't believe how, how beautiful. I tell you what, Bernie, these are just gorgeous, aren't they? But I think also if you get a quality fabric, you suddenly realise how much easier sewing is if you have a really good quality fabric. It kind of just works more beautifully. It just fits so beautifully together. And, and these Macauers, they are incredibly, incredibly good. Uh, they're fantastic good quality. Uh, anyway, are we carrying on? Yes, cracking, yeah. right? I'll pop that. Let me just pop my box to one side, okay? So I've got a little bit of cream. Uh, I've got a little bit of the red. So let's start the four cream, four and a half, half square triangle. So this was my half square triangle, you see? So can you see, all we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to pop that on and we can get one from there, switch it round and get one from the other side. Uh, let's have a look and then let's have a look we want 10 green four and a half inch quarter square triangles so what we can do is is you can fold your fabric up multiple times to get the best yield out of your fabric so that's what I always like to do can you see I'm going to see I can get four cut out of here so what I'll do is I've got my machine and let me show you how we build up all of the um all of the sandwich so you're going to take your base plate and take your metal plate all of these plates come included by the way folks right so you put your base one down then your metal one we're going to pop our fabric on and pop the uh, the die on top of the fabric now really what you want to be doing is just getting a little bit of tape and just holding that in place. Can you see, I like to tape over the die, over the fabric into the, into the metal plate. It's the same here, I'm gonna pop this one down, I'm gonna pop my first piece on, and I'm gonna go over the die, over the fabric, and into the plate. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our clear plate on the top of that. So you've got your clear one on. Do they, can then I just ask, these clear plates come, come with the machine? Everything you need comes with the machine. Everything that we're seeing all comes you with can, the machine. Uh, if you want to buy extra sets of plates, if you want to get spares, we have spare plates on the website. Um, but everything you need comes included with the machine, including full instructions. And we have a ton of video tutorials like these showing you exactly how to cut all of these. Can you move that box out the way? I can't see what the machine's doing from here. <laughs> stuff all over haven't I there we go uh, right I'll I could hear it but there. I just couldn't see what was going on there so did go. you just feed it through then it just fed through the machine you offer it into the machine the machine should we have a little look inside so the machines can you see it's got these two little sensors that drop down so what happens is uh, let's have a look should I put it through again just so that you can see it all go through again as you offer it into the machine as soon as the machine senses it it automatically oh. engages it feeds it through once we've got it through and out the other end, the machine will say, OK, guys, we're done now, and it'll cut the mortar. If you've put too much fabric on, yes. will it stop? Uh, so the best thing is, if you put too much... We, it can cut up to eight layers of fabric at once. If you were to try and put 15 through, it starts to feed it through. Once it gets to that fabric, it'll sense that it's too much, and it automatically stops and then auto reverses it out. Oh, so it doesn't ever get stuck so inside. It's, it won't get stuck. And if for any reason you somehow manage to get something stuck, you have to go to all the rigmarole of sending it back to the manufacturer and everything. Well, actually, that's us. So all you do is you ring us up, our customer services sort you out, we can have it picked up from your house, do any sort, it's like our sewing machines if you buy our sewing machines, we do all the repairs here on site and we get it sent straight back to you. So it's not like you're buying a machine from this ginormous company that are headquartered in Europe or the US that you can't get in touch with, you need some support, you're buying the machine directly from us and we'll do all the support. And of course this is a limited edition colour run. I was we going to ask only that had, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it? we all, we we only produced a, a finite number of these and the last of these is what we have on your show we were saving them for a special occasion Aww. and we decided today was the special <gasps> occasion but they're limited aren't they they're, there's not many very of them. limited so please yeah. if you want this so that right. cracking noise that it went through is that normal perfectly normal okay. because what it's doing is you can hear it's 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 like essentially with your scissors it's cutting everything perfectly so look at this i've got me two layers of the first one i've got my four layers of the air uh, of the green first four layers of the green fabric but actually we wanted to go with the next four so look how brilliant this is i can so, so you waste a minimal amount of fabric all i'm doing is literally switching it round and getting it in place with the next one exactly the same here switch it around so can you see john i when I find the whole cutting thing not only really frustrating, but also very wasteful on my fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this way, you can make sure you use up every little scrap of fabric that you could possibly need to, um, just by just the way just the way you do them. And the thing is, it's, it takes sixteen seconds to pass through the machine. I've got two questions. The first what? question is: Are the dyes sharp? Because uh, they're no. cutting through fabric. Brilliant! You would think, wouldn't you? Look at this. I am literally pressing down hard on this. It's not the uh, die that's sharp, it's the pressure in the machine. Oh, so, wow. Because oh, you think if it's cut so precisely, it would need to be a sharp knife. It, you? You, would, you would think. Now, um, my dad engineered this machine. Oh. So my dad, oh, let's have a look, he's stuck on there. Uh, my dad is an engineer and my dad worked on this machine for years. Basically, as crafters, I explained that we wanted the, str the most amount of pressure you could ever possibly have in a machine, but we wanted it to be really easy to use. So things like just offering the plates and it takes it automatically. Uh, something else important that we did is, most of the machine companies, if you think they're a machine company, so what they do is they invent a machine, think about, think about your phone, John, right? Yep. By the time you've bought it, you know they've already invented three models further up. Oh, yeah, yeah, And you yeah. know in 18 months you're going to be buying the next one and then buying the next one. We don't do that. We're not a machine company. We're a dye company. Our innovation keeps coming in the form of new dyes. So what we did is we took the brave decision from the outset to design a machine that had the most amount of pressure you could ever possibly get in a machine. So that machine that we're selling today is exactly the same specification machine that we 
we started selling five years ago and I can tell you you're hearing it from the horse's mouth it's the same machine that we will be selling in five and ten years from now there's no Gemini plus no Gemini big bite or extra oomph or whatever you want to say <laughs> that's got the most amount of pressure you could ever have in a machine and all we'll do is whether you know you're going for the basic starter pack of your uh, half square triangles quarter square triangles and squares for your quilting or you want to progress up onto things like the double wedding rings or we have a drunkard's path die set a rob peter to pay paul all these different types of quilts they're just different shapes of dies once you've invested in the machine you're absolutely sorted there you go Perfect. So. Okay, so what you're seeing on the screen there is 209.96. That's your pack. Now UK only this deal is, I'm afraid. Sorry, America. Um, but what you're getting is you pay that. Oh for the yes, machine. Mach that's because they're machines, John. Just to let you know, we've oh, yes. only made them purple machines in the UK voltage. Oh, of course, it's, it's like hair dryer, yeah. isn't it? You can't take. There you go. And I now need a hair dryer, and I've got all this hair. <clears throat> but that—that's what you pay for the machine and the the caddy to go by the side. So you're getting the free three free sets of dies thrown in as the deal i know it's just brilliant isn't it uh, sh sh should we do you want to have a look at the three dies no i'll we'll carry on with the fabric i'll carry on with the fabric then okay so uh the fabric that sarah has been using has been this beautiful it's brand new today macau's yuletide range we've got a special deal on it to start with uh 54 pounds or 79 dollars and for that money you get now you can't buy at the moment you cannot buy this panel on its own we are trying to order more as we are live on air. Sonny's on the phone now trying to get more. But at the moment, we have no more. So the only way you can get this panel is in this bundle. So you get the panel, which has got the eight different wreaths on it. Beautiful. In fact, they are all different. Normally on a panel, you get two of each, don't you? Aren't they all different? Yep. They're all different. Look. How buy beautiful. two. What? You need to buy two. Oh, you need to buy two. Well, you can't. You have to buy two bundles if you want two. Buy two bundles. And then what you then get in the bundle is half a metre of all these fabrics here. So they're just beautiful, aren't they? Do you want me? I'll, I'll hold them up, actually. I'll hold them up for you there. So you've got the turquoise in the holly. You've got the cream. You get half a metre of each of these. The cream in the holly. You've got... This is just beautiful. This is the one Bernie was using earlier for her tote bag, wasn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. That's so William Morris-esque, that one. Uh, that's the mistletoe on cream. Then, this is this just sums up Christmas, doesn't it? Mistletoe on red. Then we've got the scatter on the dark green, which are earlier... When, because you, you can buy all these individually as well, but in the bundle here, um, individually, this one was the most popular earlier. Uh, so that one there is, these are all in the bundle. Half a metre of all of these are in the bundle. Then you've got the scatter on cream. Then this is just exquisite. Now, uh, this looks like, <clears throat> excuse me, a high end range of fabrics, which I shan't mention, but they've got a shop on Regent Street. It looks like one of theirs, doesn't it? It's just absolutely exquisite that's one in the green and then we thought now these these two have got gold thread a gold dye in them as well they've got not gold sparkle as in that's a it's a classy a classy gold you can buy gold dye now you see they use gold dye to make them that's the one with the cream background there so that's your bundle for 54 pounds or uh, 79 dollars you can buy each of them all individually if you want to where you can have half more than half a meter so if you want to do a whole christmas theme on them then you can just go on the website they're all there all the pictures of them they're all six pound fifty per half a meter but if you order four meters you get a four meter piece you don't get the um it's just absolutely brilliant at six pounds and fifty pence say this again oh i wonder why bernie was sitting here are you going to be doing some crafting with them yeah some more so okay, so you can see on the table at, they're all the things you made well this you, is it you? because all the, that panel say that one panel with the eight on so I've been, I've had my iron out yes. while I've been watching and I've ironed my bag and I've got that to finish off. I've ironed my runner, I've got that just to finish off. Oh yes. But I thought I'd show how to make one of these with that last bit that we've got left and then we've used the whole panel. Perfect. For now though, we're going back to Sarah. <clears throat> yes. So I'll get uh, ready and then... You get ready and we'll yeah. come to you in a second. 
Yes, well, uh, while you've been chatting, John, I've cut out <coughs> all the rest. So okay. can you see? I cut out the four of the... Uh, so this was the four and a half inch half square. You needed four in the cream and four in the uh, Christmas green. And then with the green ones, mm. I actually just cut out loads more. So you needed ten of the green and you needed... Let's have a look. Four of the cream and you also needed two of the red. And then one square. So it's now like a jigsaw piece, basically. So what I'm going to do is, if I bring this in here, uh, I'm going to follow it. And now here's how I like to do it, right? Just look along the top at a time. So if I'm just moving along our pattern for this, I can see I'm going to have uh, one of these like this. And then I'm going to have the next green piece like this. Then the next one, we're going to come one cream piece. And then we're going to go with three of the green triangles. Now, what I love about the builder block is we've done all of if you if you notice when i put this together this won't fit together this square looks bigger than this one and actually this doesn't look like a square it looks like a rectangle and that's because of how we've built these dog ears in so you'll see when i come to start and stitch it together if i start off with the first panel and i won't actually let's have a look i won't i won't lay the whole thing out i'll just lay the fur the top line of the panel and we'll stitch this together so that you get a bit of a feel for it so here we've gone along the front of the first one now as i'm sure they'll tell you in uh, regular quilting you're going to start and sew the smaller pieces together first now watch what happens if i put these two here together and you've got that half an inch seam allowance built straight down here. If I come and stitch this straight down here, I am literally going, John, from the point. So again, if I just come at this from the point of view of someone who was completely new to patchwork and quilting, right? I just getting the right, you know, getting it exactly right a quarter of an inch is not the world's oh. easiest thing to do. Yeah, yeah just, just so at uh, home, <clears throat> sorry, I did say half sorry. an inch a minute ago. She yes. means quarter of an inch, don't you? Like the <laughs> traditional quilting quarter. I'm looking at me half inch, uh, I'm looking at me half inch Square by triangles. triangles. Yeah, exactly. It's Thank quarter you, of an inch John. seam allowance on all this, like traditional quilting. Thank you very much, John. I am looking at it thinking that's clearly not half an inch. You know, as, as you said, half an inch, I'm thinking, no, John, it's just normal quilting. Yeah. Just normal a quarter of an inch. Then I realise what you you've done you kept me right and um, so if i go down here with my quarter of an inch all the way down what you'll see is when i open these out now just give them a bit of a finger press you see that is now exactly the same size as this one here it's built in that seam allowance for me so that now again just a nice little finger press and then i come and connect these two together these now look exactly like the half inch You've got me confused on inches. The half square triangles. Yeah. Yep. So they're, they're going to work together perfectly. And it's the, it's that lining up. Look at this, you see. I don't like to... I'm just going to hold it in place with one of my quilting clips. And I'm just going to stitch straight down it. And it just connects it all together. Now, like I said, when I first started... I only started, again... Um, I started patchworking because we'd started selling the builder block system. So uh, I'll be really honest, I had to learn all of this because uh, I had to go over to America and sell it on the big American shopping channels. And I remember doing it, it was an overnight show. So it was two o'clock in the morning because they, it was a paper craft day and they said, oh, it's gonna be all the paper crafters watching. Uh, so we don't get many sewing people watching and we, we're not sure how much people want to do this. Well. Little, little did they know, we literally <laughs> launched this at three o'clock in the morning, sold hundreds. All of the sewers had stayed up to watch through the night to get hold of this because what people are saying is it is completely revolutionary for the, the sewing market. You know, yes, there's the AccuQuilt system and people love the AccuQuilt. It's just so expensive. Whereas what you've got here is you've got a much more affordable version of the AccuQuilt. So if you think... If you were doing this with, a, with an AccuQuilt die, you'd be having to buy a big, thin steel rule die for every one of these shapes. Whereas we've got every one of the shapes in the different sizes to do a three inch, a four inch, a five inch, all the different block sizes, they literally all come from that one die set. So it just becomes something that, you know, you, like I said, you can do hundreds of blocks from that one size. And today you buy the, um, you buy the builder block system, but then actually you're going to get that double wedding ring in there as well. So it means that you can start off with the more simple ones, but you can progress on to some of the more advanced ones straight away, quickly and easily. 
But the thing is, the ones in these these basic ones are ones that you need for any qu any quilt. I'm sure Bernie will agree with me. Any quilt you need half square triangles, you need quarter square triangles. It's just a base, absolute basic. So no matter how advanced you are, you're going to come back to the your, your beginning one because you're going to need those in every single quilt that you do, aren't you? Bernie's nodding. Yes. Bernie, Bernie and she's so gone quiet. You've, so you've got a I mic, Bernie. We give you a <laughs> mic. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's these staple pieces for any pattern that like you say that you look at that will have them in. Obviously, yes. unless, well, even if you're doing the double wedding ring, you've got little squares in. Yeah, but, exactly. Um, yeah, they are staple for quilting. Mm. But Definitely. if you think of any 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 quilt whatsoever there's always even if it's just in the border there's always half square triangles quarter yeah. square triangles and things like that see so or, or just basic squares you're going to always be going back to the original look at that so there's oh, look, the she's top the finished. part oh i'm late i'm late it's coming together john it's coming together do you know what i was just thinking as well when you were picking those up if you're doing a quilt where you want to fussy cut yes because you can see through the die the middle of the die is clear you can put your fabric out so if you wanted like a little the little hedgehog in the middle of all of your triangles. You're not, not on the fabric you've got there, but you know what I mean? If you've got a fabric with a motif that you want to repeat, you can make sure that you cut it exactly over the hedgehog design on every single one. So you know yes. that the whole quilt, all your half square triangles are all gonna have your hedgehog right in the middle of them or something like that. I tell you where that comes into its own, John. Uh, a lot of my friends have made with their old baby clothes, have cut up the baby clothes to keep the baby clothes yes. really nice. And I think, oh, Craig, I've lost me two little red ones. Oh, no, you did have them there. Oh, a I, d ago. I did have them. I did have them. They've gone walkabout. So, my nice two little red ones will go in here, John. Uh, <laughs> they will turn up in just a second. Uh, I've, do I've done a, a true Sarah style. He's one I prepared earlier, though. So, you don't need to worry. Right. Uh, so, or, or I can always just cut some more as well, can't I? Uh, so, can you see? These two are going to go on here. And then your last two white ones are going to go down here. And you can see how that whole block now i'm not going to stitch it all together because you've seen the you've seen me stitch the top piece together yeah. and all you do is exactly the same with these side pieces then onto the middle middle pieces then onto the end i've actually got the one here that i did on at the weekend so can you see there it is now when it all comes together there's the top panel that you've just seen me doing there. There was that lovely top panel. We'll find the red ones in a minute. Uh, and then all I've done is sewn on the next one and sewn on the next one. Now, I am not the most proficient and advanced quilt, John. But what I like is the fact that I can look at this now. You know, this I, I don't do many quilts. I've only done one, in fact. Um, but I like the idea that I could make this into a little cushion cover. Yeah. So I can start at the, the very basics, but have all the cutting out. I mean, you watched me cut out all the bits for that block in what? Three or four minutes? Oh, if that. Three if or four that. minutes, yeah. if that. With, let me just get this out as well, tiny, tiny bit of weight. I mean, look at the waist on that. And that was me not cutting. I mean, some of these are the, just the salvage. The tiniest amount of waste on your fabric. Yeah. That's what I love about it. You're not using any of the waste out of that fabric. It just... It just really does use up every little scrap and piece that you've got. I just think it, it is actually incredible. And also, what you're saying about um, you're not the most proficient at getting... You know, if you're making somebody a quilt, I think sometimes if there's a little quirk in it... Because if you wanted it perfectly, you get a factory to make it, you get a machine to make it. Whereas if you've made a block and there's just something slightly out... I think that makes it completely personal, doesn't it? Absolutely yes. personal. Um, anyway, so it's 2996. Don't, don't look at this yet. 2996. There it all is. You get the machine. Now it would cost you. It would cost you 2996. It would cost you 2996 anyway. But you're getting because you're getting the lovely caddy on the side. Very very limited. We haven't even gotten those caddies in the studio here. And then you get the three dies completely for free. So you get the hexy one. You get the triangle one. And you get the diamond one. All completely and utterly fair. I know now if you've already got a machine and you want more dies because we were saying the machine will never ever change it's just the dies that will develop over and they'll all they'll all work together these are fantastic right so this one here you get the um, patchwork one and you get the uh, double wedding ring one right so it's 99.99 now the we double wedding ring one is normally have I got this right 99.99 uh, so you get the other one for free Completely utterly free. Thirty percent. Uh, is it thirty? Forty percent. Forty percent off that one. Um, now we're going to do uh, this next. The which next? Mystery bag. I've got a few issues with my earpiece. Eh? What? Look. 
Look, 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 look. This, the, these, I watched the other day when Sarah was doing these, right? Um, mystery bag. Now, you know some people do a mystery bag and they go, oh, it's worth this much. And they don't show you what's in it. They just, you have to, you have to just guess what's in it, right? For 35 pounds and 67 pence, right? $42.58. You get so much. Now, what were you saying about this um, sewing box earlier, Sarah? That this itself is 25 pounds. Oh, 24 99 so this is twenty four ninety nine. If you buy this on its own, it's twenty four pounds and ninety nine pence, right? So for an extra eleven pounds, right, you're getting all of this. Now you don't get this canvas bag. That's just for it to look nice. So you get, oh, right now if you've got today's free gift, which was the mug cozy, you get a mug rug. Um, uh, uh, yeah, mug rug. A mug rug to go with it. It's all in. It's all in this. Uh, how much? Fifteen pounds, fourteen ninety-nine. That's that's in the box. So already, right? Already, we spent more than thirty-five sixty-seven if we bought those two individually, haven't we? Already. But then we've also got these: the medallion. These are more dies. Sewing essentials, quilting stencils. These are the quilting stencils. Those are now the next thing I know about these because these these are twelve ninety-nine each. I know that. I know that. Right? How do I know that? Because I've got these, right? They're twelve ninety nine each, right? And they're brilliant. They're, if you don't know what they are, they're brilliant. Look, these are, these are little clips for you to put on your bobbin. Oops. So when you're doing your bobbin, you don't want your threads all coming loose, do you? That goes on your bobbin. And then this one here, you can keep, your, it looks like a little baby's dummy. You keep your uh, thread and your bobbin together. So you know sometimes when you finish a machine, sew machine sewing and your bobbin's run out, no, you, you finish your sewing and your bobbin hasn't run out, pop it on the end there with the thread and then it stays and keeps them together. I haven't finished, I haven't finished this more, I know. Oh, look, a little crochet kit. Little, you get all of this, 7 99 that is normally, and you get all of it for 35 pounds and 67 pence or 42. Oh, now this is Lizzie, isn't it? Now this is, Lizzie's coming on the show in a couple of weeks time. She's coming on, it might be next week actually. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to tell you, we've got the most gorgeous fabric. She's working with the most beautiful Japanese fabrics. How much is that then? Blimey, blimey, you're getting so much all for 35 pounds and 67 pence. Oh, do you know what? That's Christmas done, isn't it? If you've got friends, I know it's only June, but that's Christmas done. If you've got sewing friends, whether you don't keep it yourself, if you don't keep it yourself, give them out. Right, uh, what are we doing next then? That's 35, 67. More builder block. What are you doing next then, Well, Sarah? I promised, you know how we've looked at the basics? So yeah. that builder block in here, this is going to be all of your half square, quarter square, and also your, basically your squares. So your triangles and your half and your quarter, and then all of your squares, and the instruction book. Bear in mind, when you buy that today, John, you get the wedding rings for free. Yeah. So what I thought I'd do is, I know a lot of you will be buying the machine and the dies today. So assuming that you've made that investment, you're going to want to know how, you know, you're going to want to see some of the advanced stuff. Yeah. So let's go advanced and have a little look at how to do the wedding <gasps> ring ones. Oh, no, right? this is going to be fascinating. Yeah. Oh, and this, this is when... I look, and I think, do you know, if you've always wanted to make one of these quilts, actually, that's not a lot of money to pay to have someone do all the cutting out for you. Now, let's have a look. These are, they store in a different way. So can you see the long, the long, thin sets, okay? And when we open this up, just like your other builder block, it's going to come with your instructions. And then also, if I lift this off, you can see it's got the map of all of the dies on there. Now, when we open this, go to the instruction booklet. In fact, you know what? I think I'll do it overhead so you can see, right? You can see here, it tells me, right, here is my double wedding ring. Uh, in the first fabric, I need eight arcs and eight squares. And in the second fabric, I need four melons and eight corners. Now, luckily, not by fluke, you can cut eight layers of fabric in your Gemini. So that could all be one cut through your Gemini. What so, size block is that? So well, so th th then you can do it in a large, a medium, or a small. No. So your large is going to do your nice big 12 inch. So for example, it tells me you need it in a arc squares, melon and corner. So those are the four. If I lift this here out, do you know I did my nails especially for you, John? Now I can't get in anywhere. <laughs> uh, when I say I, I, I filed them nice. <laughs> right, so should we do the large one so it's easier for the camera to see? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it tells me here, this is my large melon. There yeah. we go. Uh, that's my large melon. You see, there's my small melon. <gasps> melon. There's my medium melon. So I've got them all. Then this is the arc. So this is your medium arc. We want the large arc. So there's my large arc coming out as well. So there's my arc. And then I want the large square, which is this one here. 
and I want the large corner, which is this one here. So you've got all the four dies there for the large. You've got the large, the medium, and the small in each size. How so then brilliant. that goes to one side, and this, isn't this becoming really, really easy now? So I've got some of them Christmas fabrics left over. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do them in the Christmas fabrics, right? Yeah. So let's do, should we do the um, the rings in the lighter colour? So we'll do this in the nice mistletoe that's got that gold speck you were talking about. Yeah. So that is fabric A in this one. So it needs in fabric A, I need eight arcs and eight squares. So my... I forgot to write down which one they are. Well, obviously it makes sense. That's your arc and that's your square, isn't it? Because it's not a melon <laughs> or a corner, right? So here we go. I can fold this into eight pieces so that I know one, two, three. So that's in four, right? And then if I fold that in half, that will give me eight. So I'm going to cut eight of the arcs and I think I'll get eight of those little squares on the corner and we'll cut those all in one go. So all you do is where have I put my plates? I've got them out ready. Here we go. So if I get these out ready, you're going to take your metal plate again and we're going to get this on here. We're going to line all of these up and then you're just going to use a little bit of tape to hold this in place. So make sure this is cutting through all eight layers of your fabric and stick this down onto the base. So there is onto there and then I'm going to do exactly the same here going down onto here. So there's my first cut. And I'm going to pop the clear and the top plate on. And then remember, you offer this into the mouth of the Gemini. Once you offer it in, the Gemini is going to take it and automatically feed it through. Now, I've got a little few tips for you, John, while we're going I'm on listening. here. Okay? Now, if your plates start to get warped, like bananas, right? Yeah. You can avoid that by remembering to turn them and rotate them every time you use them. If you're a bit like me and you don't remember to do that, you know what you can do? You can uh, boil the kettle. You can put these in the sink, put your plates into the sink, pour boiling water on them and sit something heavy on the top like a brick or a big stone or something. Leave it for the water to cool. Once you take them out, I put them underneath my chopping board and I put my Gemini on the top and I leave them overnight. And what it does is it rewarms the plastic and it lets it mould it right back nice and flat. So if you're finding that you put, I mean that, that's pretty good that one if I look at that. Every time I've used it, you see it's been well used and every time you're just flipping and rotating every time you use it. And that'll mean you get equal use out of the top and the bottom. Right? You see, now can I just butt in here? This is why people trust you, because yeah. most people who are selling things would go, oh no, I'm so many users, you need to buy a new one. Yeah. She's just told you how not to spend 9 99 by putting it, you know what I mean? And she's the owner of the company. Do you know, it's just like, she should be going, buy another one 9 99 buy another one 9 99 but she's giving you the tips that, you know, I think it's fantastic. Now, the other thing I've got to say to you is when you buy it, it will mark your plastic sheets when because I know I was in the Eversham shut store yes. just before lockdown and everything, and the lady came in she said, I've just bought this, and all my plates have all got marks on them. It will mark your plates, won't it, Bernie? It does it mark does, your plates. Yeah, it, it does mark them. And that's, I always liken them to like the um, ink in your printer. It's a, it is a consumable, so you look after it and it will last longer. But it will, but, but don't be will, frightened, because then it be will frightened. make marks yeah. on it. It's not going to go through yeah. clear. Anyway, back to Sarah doing her uh, melons over there. Look at this, I'm so tight, John, right, that I don't want to waste any of this fabric. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting four layers and getting all of these lined up perfectly. Oh, because you don't need to worry about seam allowance, do you? Because it's all incorporated. It's all built in. This is what I love, right? I, I've been really honest. If I didn't have our builder block system, I would never, I, I can't see a point at which I think I would be advanced enough to attempt one of them double wedding rings because one bit, one tiny little bit out, and the whole quilt's ruined. The, the block's not gonna fit together, it's not gonna work. And you're cutting circles and corners in each one. Whereas this way, I know that every one of those is absolutely perfect and you'll see it all come together uh, everyone's going to be perfect size and what I'm doing here is I'm using up every last little scrap of the fabric I want you to see you're not going to people sometimes think oh it's you're more economical if you if you cut your fabric out or whatever whereas I'm not I am using up every last little scrap of this fabric so that I've got the minimum amount of waste. So just by taking my time, you see, and cutting those um, four layers and then the next four layers, I can get these, I can get it all lined up perfectly and then straight through we go again. I'm, di I'm dying to show you how this all comes together, right? So there's my fabric. You know, I can still get a few bits out of that one as well. Keep all the scraps as well because you'll use 
This is the good thing about fabric cutting, you use all of your scraps up with all of these as well. Right, let's have a look here. Here we go. So I've got my another four of those, another four of those, and then let's just keep these all together. Right, we're going to follow the instructions now then. So what we're going to do is, can you see, we're going to go, <laughs> that is then going to connect on to this part here. Then we're going to get our section in the middle. Then we're going to get this part here. Oh, let's have a look. I'll just catch that little bit of fabric there. Bear in mind, these have all got the seam allowances built in. And then you're going to get the other one coming down here. And then we've got our two squares in the corners. So this is how, this is everything. You're going to do that four times. And I've got all the pieces cut. You watch me cut it all in just literally a couple of minutes. And what will happen, and I'll do a little bit of sewing for you is when we stitch these together, obviously, you're going to just find the halfway point in this one, and you're going to find the halfway point in that one. Just mark them together. I should really not do a Sarah jobby here, John, and there. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and, and sew them together without a uh, without pinning it. Uh, this but, is where a lot of people use um, a fabric pens, fabric glue, fabric glue yes, pens. Yes, good just, idea. You literally just what, ease it round, pop it down, sew through it, and it's done for you then. No pins or anything. I did a, um, what is it I did? I did one a couple of weeks ago and I did exactly that, John. Uh, do you know, I wonder, have uh, have we got a fabric, uh, have we got, Bernie, have you got a fabric glue pen over there? I have, okay. I'm, on, oh, I'm on my way, I'm oh. on my way. Thank you. Oh, oh yes. I'm wrecking the set while I'm coming. Right. <laughs> it over. She's coming in, let me stitch it, there we go. There you go. Perfect, and we had these on the show today, didn't we? Yeah, yes. yeah, we've got them, we've got so. them on today's show from Louise's Hour. Look at this, so if, I, if I pop this round, loads easier. And I'm gonna line, I'm gonna start with that middle piece, line those two middle pieces up, and then like you say, John, just easing it round and fishing them together. So it just shows you, you could even do something that feels very, very advanced, like the double wedding ring here, um, but having the builder blocks just made it come, to, come into place really easily. This is the, this is the glue pen here that I've got from the show. The, gra the graphics going across the bottom of your screen there. Right, I'll just, I'll sit and do me sewing, John. Okay, now I'm, I'll I'm show you do me, the, I'll do me, uh, there's, there's me code word for, you need to talk now, I'm, I'm <laughs> I'll go into Sarah <laughs> I'm so mode. so busy watching there. There we go. There you go, here's the, here's the glue, fabric glue pen. Five pound forty nine. Seven dollars. Was it nine seven dollars ninety five? Ninety nine. Seven dollars ninety nine. Right. Let's have a look. So can you see because that seam allowance is built in, John, I've got that first couple of pieces perfectly together. It comes exactly the same for the next piece, and I can just join the next two pieces together. And that's going to, again, connect on the next piece. I think you can see the idea on how this whole thing's coming together, John. But yeah, I wanted watching. you to see just how the, the cutting became super simple once you kind of know what you're doing. Here we go. So I'm just going to fit those, those two together there and then just connect them all up. You see how much easier the glue pen makes it, though, just getting the... the Tremendously. The, the kind of curve going into yeah. exactly the right place. I never ever use pins now. When no. I was used to curves, it was always pins. I couldn't even. Click. And hundreds of pins, you not just the one of the two pins. Once I discovered glue and the glue pens are brilliant because you can just, like Sarah's doing there, you can just mould it into place. Yeah. And then it just breezes through your machine. Right, here we go. So I'm just keeping going on the next one. There we go. And I'm off round. Who would have thought? Who would have thought I would have been doing? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's all right. I've just caught me threads. I've just caught you underneath. Do you know what? I'm going to need to pull the bobbin out. And okay. Me well, bobbin, what, what, shall I just take you through then? That it's 99 pounds and 99 pence. You get both. You get both for that price. You get the Gemini builder block and you get the... Um, uh, I'm getting confused now. Uh, you get, <laughs> you can see what was going on here, it's incredible. I'm having, I'm having a 99 pounds and 99 pence through, for the builder block, that's what it is, there you go. 89, oh, $89.95, that's good. Saving 40%, right? That's the builder block bundle, so you get, it's, it's oh, wait, that's good. Uh, right, while they're sorting that out, and I've got all excited about this, so I put it on my Facebook page yesterday, right? Um, you saw Bernie using early, if you happen to be with us at nine o'clock, 
You saw Bernie using this earlier. I love this. Now, I'm not going to take this one out of the box. In a little while, you're going to see Bernie and Sarah using this. It is the most fantastic, fantastic cutter. I love using this. If you've got lots and lots of strips to sell, uh, to cut, then this is the most fantastic. But you can do triangles, you can do squares, you can do all sorts with it. Because, oh, I'm, oh, should I take it? No, I won't take it. I'll wait for them to get their set. Oh, go on then. They say, go on, go on. I know how well it's packed here. Now, what I would do is save your box so when you store it, because this, it's got a handle on it, but I wouldn't hang it from the handle like that. Just, isn't it brilliant? Isn't this brilliant? So you've got your quarter inch, your half inch, you've got all your marks on here. This is a rotary cutter. That's a rotary cutter there, which when you uh, press down on it, you see the blade, you see the blade there, the blade goes down and cuts into the fabric and you slide it along and it cuts your fabric with such precision. Now you can use it as a left-handed or a right-handed person. Uh, and, and also if you're left-handed and your fabric happens to be the right-handed way around, you can literally just uh, use it on both hands. Bernie used it on both hands. It's 59.99, but, 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 you get a free gift with it. You get a free gift with it. Now, I can't tell you what it is. Well, I can tell you what it is, but I can't tell you what color it is. You get two meters, a meter of each, of one. You get a meter of two different fabrics and it could be any, any of these fabrics. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they just gorgeous? Uh, it could be anything else. You might get plain fabric. You, it'll be at least, the fabric will be at le worth at least 20 pounds. That's right, isn't it? At least 20 pounds worth of fabric. So you could get some plain fabric. You could get some uh, so happy, uh, be, be happy, not so happy, be happy fabric. Or you get any of these tools. It just depends. It's a mystery bundle, but you get two meters of fabric completely free, worth at least 20 pounds. At least 20 pounds. Right. Are you all right over there? Oh, yes. I just had to pull the bobbin out. I just got it all caught. I just had to pull the bobbin out, John, and, uh, and re thread it back in. Right, let's have a look. Sounds like a song, doesn't it? Pull the bobbin out. Uh, right, can you see how this is starting to come together now? Now, once it fits, and it's going to be exactly the same when we do this last piece. Do you know, I feel like we've got time, John. Well, it's quite nice. Usually I'm, uh, I'm everything in a mad rush, but I was, uh, I'd left plenty of time to you do this to today. And I think you're very brave doing curves on live TV for, as, a, as, a, as you describe yourself, a non-quilter, really. To do curves, it's very, very brave. Uh, well, you know, what's the worst that can happen, John? I'll get yeah. me bobbin stuck and we have to... Uh, exactly. <laughs> you have to talk for us for a few minutes while I... <laughs> oh, that's difficult. Uh, right, so let's have a little look at this piece lined up in the centre. I'm loving it though. Do you know? I'll be really honest. I'd never tried a rare. Uh, I'd never tried the double, the double ringed wedding quilt. The the, the wedding quilt. The wedding rings before. I've got the uh, I've got the actual quilt down here, John. I might have to uh, pull it back up and send but it. But what you could also do, you know, you've only one. used the two colours. You could use four colours in it. Yes. You know what I mean? Just photocopy the pattern and colour it in the colours, and you still know which you have to cut out of which colour and everything. And it's just so easy and can be so dramatic a, a wedding, a double wedding band quilt. And I just think it's 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 occasions like I'm get I'm guessing these are all what you would make people as like a nice wedding present. Oh yes, example. yes, and you yeah. start making it the year before normally because it yep. takes so long to cut the whole thing out. And yet you've just watched me cut all the pieces for a whole the first block. So say you, I mean you watch me cut the pieces live on air, and this was an unplanned demonstration, John. Yep. You back me up there. This was just a case of everybody's been loving the builder block so much. Let's go and do the, uh, the show them the advanced version. I felt like I'd promised, so I should really kind of squeeze it in. Um, so it's just nice to see that even picking it out, even as a beginner, as I keep calling myself, uh, I'd be I've been able to pick this up. And look, you can see all that coming together straight away. Now, look at this. This is where you really start to appreciate uh, the, the design of the builder block. See that? You can see now, when that goes in there, how that's going to fit perfectly. Mm -hmm. So you can see, if I just get that on there, I'm liking the idea of glue, and I'm half tempted to, uh, to glue. I'm, I'm going to do it, John. Oh! I'm going to just do it. I'm quite liking the glue because it's making life so much easier. Well, the thing about those uh, fabric glues is you can sew through them with the, on your machine without it uh, clagging up your needle clagging or anything up. like that. Yes. So there we go. So I'm going to pop the fabric glue on this piece here and I'm going to get these sewn on and then the next piece is sewn on and every, all of a sudden everything's coming together. You've still got to talk for us though, John. I'm, I'm fascinated. <laughs> I'm too busy watching. <laughs> 
I'm t- you managed to have talked all the way through doing those curve seams. I don't know what you're worried about. <laughs> oh, I can't talk and sew, and she hasn't stopped, does she? Yeah. Um, I just think, I think it will give people confidence to do a quilt that, like, a lot of people see the wedding band quilt and go, oh, I'd never be able to do that. Even adv- advanced quilters would all be thinking the same thing. But I just think knowing that it's all being cut out for you and you know all your pieces are going to fit together properly, that it's just ideal that anybody could give it a go. Obviously, don't do it as your first quilt. Don't do it as your first ever quilt. That's quite common, though, John, that people will do that one as their first quilt. It's surprising if you, when you see comments online, there's a lot of people who say, I've made it, it was my first one. And like, why would you think that you're going to... Why would oh, you put yourself through would, that? Yeah, yeah, that you would think it would put people off because of the curves, but then it gets them hooked. Yes, no, 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 exactly. exactly. <laughs> but also with the glue yet. pen, it's not yeah. like the old days. Like we say, you had to pin and pin, to pin the middle, pin the quarters, pin the eights, and then... Nightmare. And also, less handling means, because it's on a curve, um, you're not stretching your fabric so much, are you? Exactly. And if you're using paper templates as well, you every time you cut, you're cutting that paper down. Oh, yes. And, and when, yeah, it's so not it exact, can, it's not precise, no. is it? No. So with, no. with the builder block, it's just... And also, when you're cutting it out normally, you're cutting out one or two at a time. You're not, not cutting eight at a time, no. are you? I mean, minutes for one block. Yeah, that, exactly. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? I love build block. Is she, is she ready to talk again yet? No, Look no, not yet. Almost. I'm on my last, I'm on my last <laughs> curve. We'll just keep chatting, John. Yeah, have you, made, have you made a, wed- a double wedding? No, I haven't. I've made blocks for work, but I haven't actually made one. Because I just um, think so playing I'm, with colour and everything, you can make it so exquisite, can't you? Could, yes. You could do autumnal, you could, oh, not autumnal, but seasonal. You could do it through the, the you could oh. do 12 circles and do one for each month of the year and have some, you can also put something, fussy cut something in the middle because the middle bit's a bit, bit you know what yeah. I mean? All sorts of things. So you, you could, could have do. like the, se- like if you had sort of four, obviously big sections going through the seasons all the way around, yeah. that would be fantastic. Mm. And then obviously for a wedding, as well if you're going to embroider the names of the couple and, and uh, hand embroidered so when to. they get divorced you can unpick <laughs> them <laughs> oh and you cynic <laughs> oh I'm a cynic don't you worry um, I know it's brilliant it's such a brilliant now, because you're getting that completely for free you're paying for your builder block but you're getting the That's wedding that's a good point to which I've kind of forgotten to talk about that this is yeah. this is your bonus how often do we say I mean I was saying to you it's because I was thinking obviously it's £70 I was thinking to be honest it's the £70 well spent to save you all the cutting but actually yeah you're right you're not even spending £70 on it because I dare say most of the people watching today would want to get if this is your first kind of foray into the uh, into using the builder block for your quilting where everybody should start is that um your basic system, your, ha- your square, your half square, your quarter square triangles. Yeah. We've just thrown this one in as your freebie so that you can then advance onto something, well, a lot Yeah, yeah, lot you don't need to do it straight away, do you? Because do you? most people don't even do half square triangles to start with. They do a n- nine squares, blocks, don't they? Yes. Just squares, yeah. a, a nine pack, sorry. And they work block. together as well. So you can use your original builder block and make a 12 inch block yeah. and make the 12 inch block double wedding ring and put them together to merge them into into a quilt as well. Fantastic. I just think it's brilliant the way it all works together. I've got more messages. Oh, hang on, I've got I've got more here, more messages here. So Sally says, uh, I bought the face mark kit last time round. I'm not very good at sewing, but made them really quickly. I'm going to be telling you about those in a minute. Uh, so easy to put together and very easy to wear. Dan is messaging, going, will they go through the junior builder block blocks? Uh, yeah, so the only one that won't go through the junior is your largest square. Okay? Uh, yeah, So perfect. the others all will go through the I junior. I presume the junior is like a, a baby it's Gemini. It's a mini version of the Gemini. Yeah. Uh, Lynn says, I've just placed my order for two square face masks and some extra fabrics. I really want to make myself a, oh, a, a purple face covering. That's nice. Uh, Roslyn says, is it possible to get the purple caddy by itself? Uh, oh, I don't think it is, John. Well, I'm pretty it, sure I, everything we had, we saved for you oh, to give no, with the Rosalind, Geminis. Oh, no, you already got the purple one. You need the caddy. Um, as, hi, Sarah and John. I've just made the round face mask. So simple and comfortable. That's from Pamela. You see, they're going a bomb, the, um, the face mask, aren't they? Or face covering, should we say. Okay, the caddy's not available on its own, I'm afraid. 
Right, John. I'm doing my last stitch across the middle. Yeah. Because where I went a little bit heavy handed and, uh, and pulled one of them apart. So I've just stitched that back again down the middle. Yeah. Let's get this out. Now, bear in mind, guys, I have been live on TV. And again, I'm telling you, I'm a relative, I'm a relative beginner sewist, right? Can we just appreciate, though, that I've just done the whole curved with the builder block. And I tell you what, that does not look too bad to say that we did that live on air. So you can see in all of those curves, and should I show you again the one it, it, before we cut it all out? If I put the two next to each other, let's get me instructions back out and you can follow it all. I'll push it back up so that you can see it, right? So we had the uh, side one, then we had the large one, then we had the middle, then we had this one here then we had another one of these coming this way and we had our two corners here we go <coughs> one in that corner one in that corner and all, because they've all got the seam allowances built in when you stitch it together that's how it's going to be and then you know what it needs john what it needs the edges trimming off you know what I'm going to use, don't oh. you? Oh, you know what I'm going to use? Uh, Bernie's left her fabric. Yeah, because she's just nicked mine. I've she left been, hers over there. And she's I've just been desperate to get him with it. Watch this, right? So you see how those edges... Now, I know... Bear in mind, I'm not making this into a quilt. This was for the purposes of me demonstrating yeah. to you, right? Yeah. But if I want to get this now, and I want to get this perfect line up, I'm going to line that up at the edge. Uh, here we go. Right on that edge. And we're going to square that off. It's literally, this is, you're talking my language now, John, because you, I love it. this I is love how we that. would do, yeah. this is how I would do cutting if we were doing cutting in, uh, in paper craft. So then I cut that to the, uh, let's have a look, it's six and a little bit, uh, six and a quarter, not a little bit, it's six and a quarter so that we can join that onto the next one. Square that off, I'm going to square that off at this end and then look how quick and easy that was. Now these yeah, are brilliant as well, not only do they save time, but a lot of my ladies that write to me say they've got arthritis, because we're all getting, you know, getting to a certain age, aren't we? You know? And um, th these are brilliant if you have any issues with your hands or your dexterity, these are just fantastic. Look how, look how quickly and easily Sarah's well, you know, just done that. Do you know what I liked about it, John? Right. So when I'm using a paper guillotine, I cut on the push and I also cut on the pull. Yeah. When I'm doing fabric and I have my rotary cutter, right, uh, I find that yes, I can, I can cut that way. But if I've missed any of it, I can't come back. You're not this. allowed to. You're not allowed to. This you are. Yes. Because it's got that stopper built on the edge. It means that you're allowed to come right back towards you. It will never come any further forward, and it's only going to cut when it's engaged yes. and pushed down. So it just makes, I mean, look at that. Uh, wh why, why would you cut any other way when you can do it like that? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly, brilliant. Right, so that deal is $59.99 or $89.99. You get the uh, cutter and you get two meters, two mystery meters of fabric, one meter of each. It could be this, it could be... Uh, uh, now, next though, next though, after this is the uh, builder block, right? This is a fantastic deal. If you've already got your Gemini machine, why don't you get a builder block for 99.99? That's how much you pay for it anyway. But look, you get a free wedding, I know, double wedding ring uh, quilt pattern and, and, and dies and everything. It's just fantastic. You're saving so much money on there. That's 40% saving on that one. And then now, if you've not got your Gemini machine yet and you've been thinking of getting one, why not get this limited edition one? It's $209.96. That's how much you pay for it normally, but that's because you're getting the Gemini cutter and the caddy. And the caddy. You've got all of that in. Plus, you've got the diamond dies, the triangle dies, and the hexi dies. I mean, how brilliant is that? How brilliant. And now I need to warn you, those purple Geminis are flying out and we've got the last of stock on this show. So once they've gone, that's it. That's it, right? So, right. So now the other thing that's absolutely flying out is the face mask. So I just need to quickly recap the face masks. We've got the square ones with the um, pleats and we've got the curved ones. Now, rather than you cutting them all out from fabric and working out where the pleats go and everything, Everything is done for you from Fabby's. Everything is done for you. So I'm starting. They're all the, they're all the same price, all £16 or $20. So what you get is you get a panel with all of the pieces on, with the seam allowance on, everything on you need. You get your instructions and you get your elastic. I know. Aren't they brilliant? Make six masks. Fantastic. If you're having to make for a whole family, 
then it's all it's all cut out for you so that is the pink curved and then I've also got it in the blue curved this is nice isn't it there we go there's the blue curved 16 pounds again you get the elastic and the instructions here's Matt Cam doing his don't know what that's called panning it's blue panning. round is still the most popular how? It's been popular from the word go. It's been the front runner from the word go. So they're the round ones. Now, the ones I prefer are the oblong ones. So we've got oblong pink. There we go. Oh, oblong pink. Again, it's the same thing. You get, you get the panel with all the squares on. It's even got all the pleats marked on. So you don't even have to measure the pleats. The pleats are all marked on. The elastic and the instructions. Aren't they gorgeous, the fabrics? Beautiful. So that's your pink squares. And last but not least, you've got your blue squares. Which of these? Half the stock of this one's gone. There you go. Oh, got right way up. There we go. I'll be with you in a minute. Just chat amongst yourselves. There you go. Blue squares. $14.99 or $19.95. Right, now, you do know, now you need to be careful with this, because you do know if you buy anything today, it could be anything, not just from me and Sarah, it could be anything, anything at all, you will get one of these, one of these completely and utterly for free. It would normally sell for $14.99, it will just be added to your order, you don't need to do anything, it will just be added to your order, and it's until stocks last. Only for today, only for today. Right, now the next thing, now I've only got one here, but this, we've got a bog off, we've got a bog off. This is fantastic, right? This is called Fabricote. And if you've never seen this gloop before, it is brilliant. Now, it's, it's $14.99 normally for one, right? $14.99 for one. You're getting two for $14.99. Now, what, you, what color are you using over there, Sarah? Also, I haven't got any of these here with me, but on the website, <clears throat> Look at all those gorgeous fabrics. Loads and loads of Rose and Hubble craft cotton fabrics. Fantastic for quilting and everything. £3.49 for half a metre or $4.99. I know it's a, oh, a bog off. I think it's about the bog off. Oh, buy one, get. What? Bog off. <laughs> the fabric, buy one, get one half price. Oh, I didn't, I didn't read that this morning. That is brilliant. Oh my word, I've never seen a bo a bo ha 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 before. Never seen one of those before. It is a new one to me. <laughs> right, okay, now uh, we're going over to the expert now, the supremo of Fabricote to show us how it works. It's a brilliant, brilliant thing, isn't it, Zara? Oh, it's awesome. And the fact that you're getting, you basically buy one, get one free on the pot. Because yes. you, I'll be really honest, you're going to use a lot of it because you're going to give it multiple coats to build up. Now, I was explaining this today. I, I was doing this a few weeks ago and I had my, our other presenter on Joe and I said, oh, it turns any fabric into an oil cloth. And he said, well, I don't understand what's an oil cloth. So in case anybody is watching and has literally got no idea what we're talking about, can you see this is a beautiful fabric, but it's got that waterproof finish to it. So it's brilliant for little sandwich picnic bags or if you want to do it for like cosmetics bags this is we've done over, over a cosmetic bag here or look at how fabulous this is so this is like a nice uh, picnic place setting to put your knife and fork and that in as well and it's going to be perfectly wiped clean something we go through a lot of in our house we need wiped clean everything John with that with the kids <laughs> around right but I always find it frustrating that oil cloth never comes in the fabrics that you want so this allows you to turn anything into oil cloth any fabric it puts the layer over the top so for example right he's a lovely little bib i thought we'd do a nice little bib for me niece I'm, oh. I'm all into little cutie projects you see right so a nice little cutie bib look how fabulous this is you only need the front to be wash washable this one here this is one of debbie thompson's oh god just that she's used this lovely fabric that she's got and she's coated it with the fabric coat same there with little cosmetic bags for example watch what you're going to do right i've taken the uh, rose and piece of the rose and hubble. So I'm going to put the rose and hubble on the front, and then I've got like a nice, pretty material to go on the back. Right. So it's up to you which one you want to be the front. I thought we'd have the plain one as the front this time. And all you do is you take your fabric coat out, and can you see? I've got a little spatula here, and you can see it's like a big gloopy mess, for want of a better word. Right. So we put it down, and you literally spread it on like you would if you were buttering some toast. 
So you're just spreading it over as though you were buttering toast. Now I like to actually cut out the pieces because you, you've learned today how tight I am, John. Now I like to use a little <laughs> bit of fabric, right? Uh, I like to cut out the piece in the size that I'm going to do first. So if you want to cut it out exactly to the right size and then you can, uh, you can start and coat it and you can see how easy it is just to spread it on. Now what I would say is, because I personally experienced this, uh, the first time I used it and then I tried to sew it with my sewing machine, uh, it was kind of getting stuck a little bit um, because it's obviously, it, if you, it's the same with any oil cloth that you sew, um, you basically it's, it works a lot better if you've got a special foot which is for coating your Teflon fabric. If you've yeah, got like a coated foot. fabric. So what we've done is we've put the bundle today of the different feet on. So if you uh, if you don't have a special, uh, like a Teflon fabric foot, we actually do a whole bundle of different feet, John, yeah. where you can be doing, you can be getting all your different types of feet uh, ready for, whether it's your Teflon or we've got like a, a concealed zipper foot. So I'd done, I'd done zips before, but I'd never done concealed zips. Oh, okay. Realised I couldn't do them with my regular zipper foot. Uh, so it's got the concealed zipper foot, your pin tuck foot. You'll see the details. We'll be talking about that a little bit later on in the show. Um, but it was just to tell you that we have that on there. Okay, brilliant. So can you see that? I've completely coated all of that. Now, it, th now that's waterproof, right? But what you'll find is the more coat you give it, the more waterproof it becomes. Okay, this so, is where I'll get technical. So what you do is you do the first layer, here we you go. leave it for 20 minutes and you do the second layer. You leave for 20 minutes and you do the third layer. If you want to do three layers, you don't have to, but three layers will give you that exact uh, waterproofing, right? And then you leave it for 24 hours. Don't touch it for 24 hours, right? Then you can sew it together and it's perfectly fine because it's no longer tacky and things like that. But that's how, you can do it with one layer if you want to, if you just want to slight tune to it. If you want it a proper oil cloth, you have to do it three times, but leave the space between each one and then leave it for a whole 24 hours to set, right? Then the next day, get some brown paper or some parchment paper, give it an iron, right? That fixes it. And that means it then becomes machine washable as well. So you can put it in the washing machine after that. Which Sorry, I'm just- pretty, pretty essential for them bibs, John. Exactly. Well, what I've got here is, I did one of our little diamonds and I thought I'd show you the difference after multiple layers. Oh yeah, yeah. So that one there has had one layer on, right? This next one has had two layers. So you can see it becomes a little bit more. We're trying to catch the light on it here so that you can see the shine on it. Yeah. This here has had three layers. So that is going to give you that perfect oil cloth finish that you were talking about. If you want to go whole hog, you can layer it right oh. up to four layers, right? But as you said, 20 minutes between each layer, but then I've got the one, I actually did got all this ready at the weekend. So uh, here is my, if I just take that one, put that to one, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to drop it down there. Yeah, we'll pick that up in a minute, right? Here is the one. She'll tread on that later. You won't be on a box <laughs> shoe when she's driving home. Uh, here is the one that I did, like literally overnight. And then I'm not going to have time to stitch all this together, John, because we'll, I've got loads more other stuff that I want to show you. But yep. all I would do is take the beautiful patterned one I would just lay this over the back and then you are literally going to stitch all the way around, turn it through and that'll make it into a perfect bib. And I'm making this bib for my little niece. Do you know, um, you know, I keep saying I do only do beginner stuff. Do you know what I made for her the other way? About three, four weeks ago, I did a Bargello quilt for her. No. Yeah, yeah, here it is. That's the Bargello quilt that I made live on air. I took it home and finished it off. When I say quilt, John, it was a tiny little play mat. So Still you'll quilt. learn I do everything Still in quilt. small sizes. So that's her with on her little quilt, a little play mat. And uh, now she's going to have a matching. I'll finish this off this afternoon. She'll have a matching bib to go oh, with it. I've got a Bargello um, quilt, not without the backing, in my window as a rainbow. You know, we all put NHS rainbows. Oh, I made lovely. a ba rainbow Bargello for my uh, front window. That's what I've got as my rainbow. Anyway, the... Um, the uh, bog off, it's absolutely always... I'm not surprised you're getting a bog off. It's Fabricote, right? You get two for the price of one. So normally you buy this for 14.99, you get both of these for 14 pounds and 99 pence. And you know the fabric, the Rosen Hubble fabrics had earlier, here they all are. I know you only had pictures of them earlier. These are just some of the ones we have on, uh, on the website. You can go and get all these beautiful, beautiful colors. Now that's the funny, that's the, that's the, bog, bog, what do you say, how do you say it? Bog, oh, hup, bog, oh, hup. I'm like the grandma in oh, Catherine Tate, hup. I want to that place. Yeah. That's what it means, but how do you say it? Bog up. Oh, yeah, no. And not with, not with our accent of here. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. 
Anyway, look at all those beautiful colours. All of those are available on the website. I'm not going to go through what they're all called now and everything, mainly because I can't remember. But <laughs> all those gorgeous Rose and Hubble fabrics, all on the website. Buy one, get one half price. That's amazing. That is a fantastic deal. Right, what are you doing now then, Sarah? Uh, well, I'm oh. going gonna, gonna to start and cut out, uh, I promise I'd do another face mask, right. so I'm going to start and get the cutting done, uh, but give us give us two or three minutes to just get it all cut out ready that, to show that's you. That's good, because I'm going to show you today's Sunrise Special, which is also flying out. Having, I mean, I don't want to sound like other <laughs> shopping channels, but everything is flying out today. It's so incredibly busy. This is John Scott's Sunrise Special from nine o'clock this morning. What you do is you buy this 19 piece, I've got one open somewhere. I'm not quite sure where it's gone. Anyway, a 19-piece beautiful uh, design roll, their strip roll, which would normally cost you $17.99. Then you get this little ruler, complete. Oh, sorry, it's shiny, 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 completely for free. All the instructions are written on the ruler. Look, uh, you get that completely and utterly for free. Now let me just pass. Pa I'll show you these um, strip roll here, the fabrics in here. They're just beautiful. Good quality cotton again, really, really good quality cotton. Look, so you've got planes, you've got patterns, you've got bumblebees. That, I love that colour, that's a kind of mustard colour, isn't it? Beautiful. So this was $17.99. Obviously they're width of fabric, two and a half inches wide, width of fabric, so they'll be 44 inches long. Absolutely stunning. Oh, I love that monochrome. Oh, look at the bumblebee in there. I thought it was monochrome. There's a little flash of yellow in there. So that is today's Sunrise Special, £17.99. Now remember, everybody who's bought something today will get a free gift. I, I can only, I can, this is so generous and so brilliant, isn't it? There's a different free gift every day, it's £14.99. No, it doesn't cost you £14.99. If you buy anything today, that comes for free. Completely and utterly for free. It's a mug cosy. And if you're not sure what it is, let me just show you inside. You get a little panel with all of the uh, bits that you need to make it. But then, this is what quilters you go is, you see, you've got your uh, interfacing here, or your, it's not a wadding, is it? It's more like um, a felt, but literally everything is, can you see that there? It, everything is drawn out, so you just place the piece of fabric on there and stitch through, and full instructions, and the button, and the piece of elastic, everything you need, completely for free, completely free, but it's only while stocks last. So the quicker you check out with all your uh, goodies, the better, then you'll, you don't need to fill anything in, it'll just be added to your order. Right, have you cut out yet, or are you busy chatting? Oh no, she's still busy chatting. Shall I take you through the face mask then before Sarah does her demonstration? She's gonna be doing the curved one now. So here are the curved ones. So in the kit, you do get the panel, you get the instructions, and you get elastic. These are the blue, most popular, this is the most popular one. This is the most popular, curved in blue is the most popular. From the word go, 16 pounds, 20 dollars. You can make six masks, six masks or face coverings. So that's the blue curved. Then we've got the pink curved. I've never done so much putting away and getting out in my life as I've done today. Right, here we go. That is your pink curved. They're lovely fabrics in there, aren't they? Beautiful. Uh, okay, then we've got the ones that are just a rectangle with, I say just, they're a rectangle with your knife pleats in. So I've got that in the pink. There you go. There's your pink one. Remember, you, get your, all you, you don't need to go out and buy elastic or anything. All you need is a sewing machine and some thread. And you'll make them in no time at all, I'm telling you now. So if you are making for the whole family or for a charity or anything like that, then... You're going to whiz along doing those. And then last but not least, the rectangular ones in blue. Aren't they lovely? I love that one there. Mind you, I love that one down there as well. They're all lovely. £16 or $20. Oh, no. Fantastic. Right. Are you ready for me, missus? Oh, I am. I'm all cut out now, John. I'm all oh, sorted. She's ready. ready to go. So, demonstration on the curved masks now. Well, I did promise earlier, we did the square one. So, here's the square one that I did with the little pleats in it. Yeah. Uh-huh. And the other one 
I'm going to take it off. Uh, I've got lipstick all over it already. The other one is the curved one. Now, can you see when the panels come, John, uh, basically they, all of these are reversible. As right. my dad was so expertly modelling earlier, he doesn't like the fanciness on the outside. He wanted, uh, do you know, it must be a, ma a man thing, because I noticed Craig, when he had his on at the weekend that I'd made him, did exactly the same. So, yes, I think it's... You'd think Craig would have a sequined one, wouldn't you, with all flashing you would, lights? You would think, you know what he's like, but uh, yes, so I, I've basically got these cut out. Like I said, these are the ones that I was making loads of at the weekend. So, here's what you're going to do. You're going to cut them all out. We're going to take these and just line them up together. And again, I like to just hold them in place. Now, I haven't even done my cutting out particularly neat, but it really do doesn't matter that much. Um, because all we're going to do is we're going to kind of follow roughly to the line. If in doubt, come inside the line. So can you see, I'm going to start here and I'm just going to come ever so slightly inside the line. Now, I do like to do a little bit of a back stitch as we go there. Can you see I've got my sewing machine set on to go nice and slow, John, so that I kind of... Um, I kind of whiz it through and make oh, no, any mistakes. It's best, better to be safe than sorry. Well, it's, ni it's nice for the camera to be able to see what I'm doing as well. And you can see that I'm just going ever so slightly. Uh, you don't, it's not designed to leave a quarter of an inch uh, seam allowance, but I just leave an extra, extra little bit just so that I um, basically just makes it a little bit more comfortable for me to do the sewing there. And there we go. And then we're going to go back on ourselves a little bit. So you're just sewing them together, first of all, in this part here. So I'm going to do the same with the outer one. Right, whilst you do, do that, with the <clears throat> Bernie's over here cutting out the rectangular ones using the back in stock, brand new. Do you know what? They, they, they've had this once before, before I came back. Absolutely flew out, right? We've got more stock in. It's a delayed dispatch till th only till Thursday. It's only two days, I think. And Bernie, it saves so much time, doesn't it, Bernie? It does. I'm away with... Well, I thought, well, if Sarah's making that one, I'm going to crack on and prep some of these straight ones. But it just makes it so much easier. Whereas, like, if you, if you have got issues with keeping your ruler straight, so if you've got your ruler on, and if it slips... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it can happen. Um, to the best of us, it can happen. But with these, obviously, you've got all the lines on for you to show what you're cutting on and then all you're going to do is take your cutter remember i know i keep saying it i'm i'm a lefty yeah. so i'm doing it from this left but you side. can do left hand or right hand but you can do it either for. side and that metal part there actually is precise at zero so if you're measuring anything you know it's going to be accurate so if i line my metal trim up there with the edge of my pink square that I'm cutting out. I, see, look at oh, that habit. I was going to say, what should be that for? <laughs> Do you know, I did that the other week when I got this, and because obviously we get one. So. Yeah, all right, yeah. all right. So you still got to nick mine this morning. Now, you I know just, I did. You just pulled the, the runner thing back to the beginning, but you could have done it from the top down. Could I you could. go backwards or yeah. forwards? Yeah, so I'll do it. So I'm just going to move it along, and then I'm going to line it up again, just in between them two squares. And this time, so basically, because you can put your hand on there, you're just pressing down. And you don't have to press it. hard, do you? No, at you all. don't have to press hard. And because the stoppers at the end on both of there, you can see we've got stoppers at the end. That is not going to go. No. Anywhere. And also, if you don't press it down, the blade's hidden away as well. Very yeah. quick question: Is it easy to change the blade? It is. Do you want me to take? Uh, have we got time just quickly to show? show yeah, quickly. Oh, not really. No, just explain yeah. it then. So. so all you're going to do is just unscrew that. Yeah. And if you unscrew that more, that will come off. You can then take the blade out, put a new one in and screw it And it's just up. your normal 45 millimeter rotary cutter blade. Exactly the same blade. So if you've got some spare, if you got this one before and you got two spare blades with our three, was it? I can't remember on the packet. They will fit in here. Packet's been sitting on that desk all morning. Right, yeah. back to you, Sarah, because I, I can see the clock. I've got I, a clock I, I behind heard me. that. Have we got time? I was thinking, whoa, they hijacking me demo. <laughs> <laughs> the Sorry, Sarah. Yeah. Whoa, guys, whoa, right. So I stitched both of them together. And if you look on the overhead, you can see how I've just come ever so slightly in the inside. And then what I'm going to do is just trim off those corners just to make it a little bit easier. Then can you see we're going to put fair, uh, we're going to put um, oh, what do you call it? Right sides together. So I'm going to line this up right at the top. 
Now, we've had quite a few comments from people saying, do you need to be a proficient sewer to be able to sew these together? Hopefully, you watching me do this will realise that that is absolutely not the case at all. Right. You don't need to be an expert. You don't need to be proficient in the slightest. Uh, by the way, these are seven inches. So I've got the right sides together. I've cut my elastic to seven inches, and I'm just going to sandwich it in between those two pieces of fabric there and put a little clip on. If you don't have these clips at home, you can just use a you can just use a pin, but to be honest, uh, uh, this is gonna make your life so much easier with the clips. I sat and knocked out um, seven or eight of these at the weekend, just sitting, I, I was just sitting an hour at the sewing machine and just having, you know, not having to follow a pattern, not having to read any instructions, John, having all of them because of the, their fabric panels. This is what I like about uh, this company who designed these fabric panels. Everything's thought through, the fronts are ready, the backs are ready, all you're doing is cutting out and then piecing together. And once you've made one, it was surprising how easy it was to follow the other side. And you would assume that the uh, the rounded one, the square one, sorry, would be the easiest. Actually, I found, I mean, I'm going to take this straight and, and start and stitch it already. I found this one was just as easy to sew as what the other one was. I'm going to sew it all the way around, John. Yeah. But I'm also going to leave uh, a couple of inch gaps so that I can turn it all inside out. So as long as you keep kind of half an eye on what I'm doing, you're all right. Well, maybe you can pop me up in the top corner. If you pop me up in the top corner, you can see me doing the sewing together. <laughs> but I'm okay, not doing anything too advanced. I've got to advanced. ask you a question while you're sewing as well. Go so on, Alex there. Bailey has said, can you use the dies through the e-bosser? I don't know what that means. Uh, yes, you can use our mixed media dies through any other type of machine. Brilliant. So if you've got a different machine, it's going to work absolutely fine. I think you've answered the next one from Elizabeth. Can you sew the hand? Can you hand sew the face masks? Uh, yes, you could hand sew the face masks if you wanted to. Um, I would say you you want to make sure you thoroughly hand sew them because you don't want yeah, them. Yeah, maybe, maybe go around a couple of times to do a back yes. stitch or something like that. Yes. Right. Uh, Evelyn says I enjoy listening to the joy in John Scott's voice when he discovers all the deals we get with you and Crafters <laughs> Companion. And Hazel Blair says I love today's show and I bet John has loved being back. I have indeed. Uh, Sarah, you are doing well with the sewing keep it up girly thank you oh i'm definitely i'm definitely keeping it up and i'm doing more well you saw us sewing at home with the kids at the weekend it's become a bit of a whole family affair now oh. please i can tell you and um, my sister's been ordering herself a sewing machine as well she's been doing some sewing so uh yes we've we've all been getting into it oh. Now silence as we get to the end of the stitching. How much further yeah. have you got to go? Uh, I'm not. I'm almost to the first end. Can you see? So I'm yeah. into my uh, elastic there. I'm going to just go around there, and then I'm going to come down this first end. And when I'm going over the elastic, I am just doing a little bit of a back stitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very it important to do there. that, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I found though, John? Most people you talk to have a sewing machine of some sort at home. Yes. So whether it's their mum's old one or a one that's been passed down through the family, maybe it's a one they haven't had out in years. You know, I was messaging um it was one of the other kids from school's mum she'd seen i'd done it with our oliver and she said oh i must get started i bet they're really expensive to kind of get started with a sewing machine and i said not at all kathy i said our our ones we start at 129 pounds for a machine so she's selling at the school gates so as well. it, <laughs> i literally was so, do you know what she says can you bring us one into school tomorrow <laughs> Oh. So I literally was, um, I was literally selling at the school gate, as uh, as the old saying goes. So, but it just shows, I think, this whole, you know, a lot of the country are getting back into the make do and men mentality. We've been doing a lot of crafts at home with the kids. Oh, yes, totally. Yep, so there's no reason to not, you know, if this is completely new to you, no reason not to get into this. Now, can you see, what I've done is, I'm just going to go, I'm going to do a little bit here, John. Leave this there. Yeah. Leave a couple of inches as a turn through gap and then back back down here and then I'm going to sew this last little bit together and just leave it ready to turn through. So uh, Pam's just made one of these. Did you know oh. that? She's just made one while we've been, while we've been doing but it. While we've been on air. Pam, yeah. I'm there impressed. She is, there oh, she is. Oh, Pam, <coughs> fabulous. So it's like the one that your dad had, look. It's the same one as me dad, the rainbow ones. Aren't they gorgeous? So that was the kit that we had on last time. And uh, flew out. But it's exactly the same technique. Uh, you're just going to do it with, you've just got the really nice pretty florals and whatnot this time. Now, oh, he's me dad. He's me dad with his rainbow one on. Oh. Right, so once you get it to this stage, I've left a very, very tiny little turning gap here. I'm not quite sure why I've left it quite as tidy, uh, quite as tiny as what it is. But you see, you can pull that elastic through and get the whole thing turned right through. So it becomes uh, just the whole project in one go. 
And this is what, again, if you maybe you maybe you know your daughter's at home or your granddaughter or something and is wanting to soap some face masks for the kids. And, you know, you could get you could order this kit and have it delivered to a different address. You don't have to have it delivered uh, to, this, to, to your same home. Oh, yeah, if you're self isolating, if your nan's self isolating, I mean, she wants them, just have them delivered straight to her. Have house. delivered straight there. Now, look at that. So I've done that really quickly and easily. Now, yes, I'm going to have to go and, uh, you know, top stitch around the edge. But for you to see, in principle, how we've made that whole mask. I mean, look, it took seconds. Yeah. So all I'm going to do from here, you see, is just go and top stitch. That's our little opening there. Top stitch all the way around the outside. But even without the top stitching, you can see how that whole mask was a two or three minute project. Yeah, and, and it holds its shape as well, doesn't around it? Yeah. The nose. Yeah. Brilliant. Right, very quickly then, these are the four different colourways. We've got the curved uh, blue, rounded blue ones there. They're all the same price. They're all £16 or uh, $20. Uh, you get the elastic and the instructions with it. You get the curved pink. There's your curved pink one. That's lovely, isn't it? You see, I thought that one would have been number one in the lead. But num blue... Then we've got the, um, very quickly, the uh, oblong ones in the pink. Pink square. And then last but not least, the blue square. As you can see, I'm running out of time, so I'm not folding. There's your blue square, upside down, but don't worry. I've cut it out, John, and I've made an extra one. Oh, Bernie, out thank you. End. We've got to say you goodbye to you as well. Thanks yeah, I've made here, an extra Bernie. one with the rainbows at the side, look. Just cut them out with a fabric cutter. Get, you have to get you everything for your money. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. No <laughs> wastage. No wastage, Bernie. That's what they call her. Uh, fabric coat, fabric coat, fabric coat. So with the fabric coat, you get a bog off. You get bog off. You get, it's $14.99 normally. You get both for $14.99. You saw Sarah's demonstration earlier. It turns any fabric you want to. All you need is a little spatula. Uh, it's like making, uh, putting butter on toast, or as my nan used to put butter on toast, spread it on, then spread it off again. Because if there's any excess, you just scrape it off and put it back in the pot and use it next time. It's a bog off. It's $14.99. Normally one would cost you that much, but you're getting both for £14.99 today. Right, uh, check in on Sarah. How are you? What are you up to, Sarah? Yeah, I'm literally just going around the outside and doing a little bit of top stitching, John, uh, which you don't need to see me completely finish. But, I mean, we're pretty much out of time, aren't we? It's we one o'clock. However, uh, so you are back again next week, aren't you? This I is am, way if back. You have we're me. back on regular. However, um, so a little birdie told me. Might be a big birthday between uh, now and next week's show. Is that right? Yeah, I'm 40 so on Friday. For, oh, 40. I, I was going to say, I was gonna say 50. I was, gonna, I was going with believable, John. I was going to say John's big 50th no, no, is on No, television Friday. years, isn't it? So I've been 39 television years up to now, so I thought the time went to 40. No, I'm 60 on Friday. I know, I'm true. No, no, you didn't have to tell them the real truth. Well, 50 would have been guessed, absolutely fine. Uh, so, yes, we've got a little present for oh, you. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Raptor's companion family. How fantastic. <laughs> oh, Are thank you, doing, you so uh, much. Uh, no air kisses from me today, John. Although no. I can blow some across the studio. Mwah, mwah, thank mwah. you ever so much. Excellent. Uh, are you doing anything great to celebrate your birthday this week? Uh, yes, because I'm a bubble, because I've been on my own for the whole time. My family from the Wirral are coming down for afternoon tea in my house on, um, on, oh, uh, on Friday. I fabulous. know. I'm a little bubble, you see. Oh, that's it's very lovely. strange, though, isn't it, seeing people? Right, everything from today's show, apart from my birthday basket, is all on the <laughs> website. Please make sure you check out your basket because the, well, everything's selling. Everything's selling. And we've got Sunny on the phone trying to get more and more of everything. But it's not always possible, especially that Gemini machine in the purple, because that is limited stock. We've got the last of stock there. So please, please get that. Christmas fabrics have all sold out. We've got more coming in. And so that's a delayed dispatch for if you order them now. But it's only next week. It's only Monday. So you'll be absolutely fine. So thanks ever so much. Thank you for all my lovely guests, to Louisa, to Bernie. Well, Sarah's not a guest. She's my boss, really, isn't she? But thank you to Sarah <laughs> ah, for her too. Don't you know it. <laughs> she, you don't know. And doesn't she work hard, though? That's what's, you know, that's what you... So brilliant. Right, I'm going. I'm going. I will see you same time, same place next week, Tuesday, 9 o'clock. Do not be late. <laughs>